Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a, a nice weekend so far. Me, personally, I woke up two hours ago. <laughs> Every time I stream, I end up sleeping until like 6 p.m. I'm actually the worst. And then I'm like, why can't I get anything done ever? And I'm like, oh, maybe if I, I don't know, fell asleep before 9 in the morning. <laughs> Man, you want to know what I had to do? I had to pay like $50 in customs for something. I just feel like that's a lot of money. It's like Canadian dollars though, so I don't know. I feel like the Canadian dollar is so bad. Um, I ordered a sweater a few weeks ago. Do you guys remember? I was tweeting about it. It's like the Killjoy hoodie and it's like really cute. Um, I ordered that a few weeks ago and I was like, it's expensive because like the shipping from the US and everything and it's like custom made or whatever and it's arriving and then but they didn't i don't know when they came to deliver it i don't know if i wasn't here or like they didn't ring the thing or whatever they just left a notice because i owe like almost 50 dollars in customs for it for like a 100 hundred dollar hoodie i'm like this feels like a scam to me so anyways that's how my weekend started having to spend 50 fucking dollars <laughs> to get a package um but i'm not gonna get it till monday anyways i hope you guys are having a good weekend pretty model oh my god thank you <laughs> yeah honestly like the the artist that did my model did such a good job and i i don't think she was like super experienced at doing a vtuber models at the time because like there's no way for the price that i got it for like it was a couple hundred dollars for the art basically which is so cheap for vtuber model art it's full body too it's not like it's just half body like i do have full body art and rigging and it was only a couple hundred dollars and i was like bro no way anyways i can't believe i feel like i somehow like scammed her or something <laughs> i've gone back to her for art like um since then and i like tip her and stuff uh, <laughs> she actually did the the art for my my um my daki that i have um the body pillow yeah she did that art too because i i was like i just like her art style a lot so i got her to do that but yeah anyways welcome welcome yoon um i think i saw that you got twitch partner so i assume your twitch your partner push went well i don't see the the partner badge so i'm like is that a fever dream that i had <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw on Twitter that you got it though. So congrats, congrats. Also, welcome Matthew. Welcome to chat for the first time. It's cute that you know Yoon as well. I like that. Um, I'm just gonna say hi to everybody really quick. Oh, Pickle got first. Congrats, congrats, Pickle. Welcome, welcome. Um, who else was here? I sorry I saw. Oh, Puppy was here. Hi, Puppy. You like the loading screen? Yeah. I there's like. <laughs> So every time I find an artist I like, I just like go back to them repeatedly. So uh, the artist who did the art for my my starting soon screen and I use it for BRB screens and everything as well. Um, that was like the third time I've commissioned them in the last couple months. I originally went to them just for like a random art piece. Actually, the art that's uh, my profile picture on everything is the same artist. That was the first art that I got from them and they did such a good job. And they also do like chibis and like loading screens and stuff. So... I went back to them and got a couple chibis. I used those for my alerts and stuff. And then I got the loading screen from them. They're like my whole Twitch page at this point. <laughs> no, no, I just undercover. Wait, you can turn it off? Why did I not know that you could turn it off? That makes so much sense now that you've said that. Because you can sort of choose which badge displays. I just never thought of that. I thought I was gaslighting myself. <laughs> I was like, I swear you got partner, but I was like, I want to see the partner badge. I didn't know you could turn it off. <laughs> Wait, that's actually so smart, though, because if you're going into, like, a new person's chat, I feel like the, the partner badge is so, like, noticeable and people will, like, pay more attention to you, which, like, I know when I go into other people's chats, I, sometimes I just want to, like, not be paid attention to. I actually think I was talking about this last stream. I said I had, I was telling everybody how I have an alternate Twitch account. <laughs> And sometimes if I want to go talk in people's chats without being noticed, I just, <laughs> I have an alternate Twitch account that I log into. <laughs> I don't do that that much, but I do have it anyway, so I think it's funny. I understand not wanting to um, be perceived once in a while. <laughs> Hello there, Venom. Welcome back. Nice to see you here again. We're playing Genshin today. That wasn't a typo, by the way. I hope you guys know, like, the meme, if you saw, like, the tweet where I was, like, playing Genshin. It's, like, a, it's, like, a meme. I think somebody mispronounced it once, and it's been a meme ever since. Anyways, yeah, I, I haven't played as much Genshin as, like, I used to. 
I actually literally decided to stream it for the sole purpose that I would actually like do something in the game. Because <laughs> okay. basically I've just been logging into the game to collect my Welcome Moon every day and not doing anything else. Um, but there's the the event right now for the the Lisa outfit and it ends in like a day and I was like I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it unless I stream it and I like force myself to do it <laughs> so that's why we're here playing playing Genshin today <laughs> don't want to be treated different also I kind of view it as sort of a self promo so I shy away from using it yeah I guess that makes sense especially if it's like your first time hanging out in somebody's chat I can see why that would be um, kind of funny like for me like the um my sister who a lot of people who's in my chat know who my sister is because she's also a vtuber she recently got twitch partner so like obviously if she shows up in my chat with like her partner badge like we it's not like a flex it's not a self promo we are already know who she is anyways so like in that kind of case it's like whatever i mean i wouldn't view it that way like if somebody came into my chat and they just had the twitch partner badge <laughs> like if i had the twitch partner badge i would always keep it on probably uh just because it's like it's a big accomplishment you know so it's like cool to show it off but yeah i get where you're coming from with that one I haven't played that game in a while, literally. I used to be, some of the OGs will remember, like I literally only streamed Genshin. Like that was what I streamed exclusively for so long. Because when I first started streaming, my whole thing was like, everyone who came to my streams was from my TikTok. And the whole reason I got into TikTok was Genshin. Did I do my dailies yet? All right, we should do my dailies first because I'm using my, my friendship team right now. <laughs> There's no reactions on this team. It's literally we've got Zhongli, the protector. We've got Wander. We've got Farazon. And I recently got Yao Yao. I was pulling on Alhatheim's banner. Um, I was hoping to get him, but I got a Chi Chi, unfortunately. But I did at least get this little cutie. Um, so this is my friendship team right now. I'll switch to like my other team once we do my dailies. But yeah, no, I got into TikTok because I started playing Genshin. God, I feel like I tell this story every time I play Genshin. <laughs> and like the people who've been here for so long, probably like, Callie, we fucking know. We know. Um, but I didn't have a PC at the time, right? I just played Genshin on my iPad. So I would make like a little stupid Genshin Impact TikToks. Just like no, you know, like no face cam, no VTuber, no anything. Like I wasn't anything at that point. I just like screen recorded some Genshin shit on my iPad and like posted it. Um on my iPad, edit it in the TikTok app. <laughs> and I I found myself with some followers on TikTok doing that. Like I was like 10 or 15,000 followers. And people were like, oh, do you stream? Like you should stream. And I was like, at the time I, I didn't even like really have a Twitch account. Like I think after people mentioned like, oh, do you stream? And I was like, uh, I don't really know much about streaming. I was like, I don't even have a Twitch account. So. <laughs> Not too long after I started playing Genshin and posting like on TikTok, I made a Twitch account and I would watch people on on Twitch who who played Genshin and stream Genshin and stuff. And I was like, oh, that seems like kind of fun. And around the same time, like my sister was um, wanting to stream too, because she was like, you know, really into like the VTuber thing. She wanted to be a VTuber. She wanted to stream and all of that. And so <laughs> eventually I just started streaming on like my iPad. <laughs> Oh geez, remember the iPad days. <laughs> I forget what the point of this story was. Oh, so when I first streamed, it was like on my iPad, I only streamed Genshin. <laughs> and it was like that for like the first, I don't know, several months anyways. <laughs> Eventually I did get a PC and I tried out other games, but for so long I was afraid to like stream other games because I was like, oh, people won't care. People won't care if I stream other stuff. They only watch me for like Genshin, you know? Um, luckily I eventually sort of maneuvered my way out of it, so people do come and hang out with me when I stream other stuff. Thank goodness. Because I, I was getting real burnt out on Genshin at one point. <laughs> yeah, only I, if I know the streamer and community, community of my cover boat. Oh, true, true, true. Well, that's what, like, when you came here, I was like, I thought I was losing my fucking mind, bro. I was like, I was like, I swear he got Twitch partner, but I also sometimes, like, I feel like I just imagine stuff in my head. Like, I'm like, I don't know, maybe I made that up or maybe I had like a dream about it and it wasn't real. <laughs> maybe I was just manifesting it for you. <laughs> 
So you just confused me for a minute there. I was like, wait. <laughs> You were living Genshin, bro. When I first downloaded Genshin, I shit you not, like I, well, it was during COVID, right? So at the time I had, I think I was like on a leave of absence from my PhD program. Cause I was deciding whether I wanted to even stay in the program. Um, spoiler alert, I didn't go back. <laughs> Anyways though, so I wasn't in school and because of COVID I wasn't working. So uh, when I downloaded Genshin, I just I loved it so much. I would play it for like eight hours a day, <laughs> every day. And I did that for like months. Like it was so fun when I first downloaded it. It still is fun. I just like, you know, when you've been playing a game for two years, it just becomes kind of a little more of a chore than um, fun, which is why like when I stream it, I feel like it becomes fun again for me. Like, cause I'm not just sitting here playing the game by myself. I'm gonna have to stream it more because I need to explore um, Sumeru <laughs> before the next area comes out. I only have like exploration just accidentally from like running around. So like all this exploration is just because like while I'm doing my commissions or something, I run across like a chest. I need to like sit down and just stream for like a whole day and just explore everything. I was living Genshin. I dead ass was living Genshin. It was like my only game that I played for a while because it was like one of the only games that I could. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> Why did I think I was gonna like have to fight something? All good. Look at how cute her little, her little spear is. Why am I slow? Bro, I'm usually good at this commission. Look at how cute the spear is. I saw somebody post a, a picture on Twitter and they had like, different sized characters with spears next to each other and it's cute because like the characters that are small the spear is like smaller on them and like on the taller characters like the spear is bigger and I just thought that was cute I kind of wish though that I wish she had like a bigger spear I wish it was the same size as it is on the bigger characters because it would just look so silly yo Fritz what's up welcome welcome you just reminded me Fritz about the um just by you showing up the uh, the microphone arm <laughs> i was thinking about it earlier when i was setting up for stream um because i when i move my mic into into the position it has to be to stream normally it just sits like sort of to the side of my monitor when i'm not using it and i had to move it so it's in front of my face bro this shit be creaking <laughs> it like creaks <laughs> And like, you know, it's like, I'm genuinely waiting for it to break. <laughs> no, 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 but it's good. It's, I appreciate that you, you got me another one. <laughs> this one actually scares me. <laughs> All right, uh, gotta finish my dailies. I don't know why I have to finish my dailies. That's like the first thing I do when I log into this game. It's just habit. I don't even do them anymore though. I keep saying I'm like gonna save Primo gems. And I just, I only get my Welkin Moon because I spent money on that. So I just log in, get Welkin Moon, just close the game. I'm so lazy. I'm so lazy. It wouldn't even take me that long to do like my actual dailies. Yo, me and who on Valentine's Day? Me and who on Valentine's Day? Like these cats are actually relationship goals. Like me and who? I don't know how close I can get before they run away. <laughs> this is how I'm trying to be on Valentine's Day. I don't want to disturb them. I gotta go down. Where am I going? I'm gonna die. Oh, I have to go up? I thought I was supposed to go down. I might be stupid, guys. I, I might actually be stupid. I swear it said down. <laughs> I give up. I'm going back here. <laughs> hey, yo. Yo, what's up? I just got enough nine hours of Genshin and I see this. What? More Genshin? Bro, it's so funny. I can't even remember the last time that I streamed Genshin. I have to do it, though, if I want the Lisa skin. The Lisa outfit. I only got one more day and I won't do it on my own time. And if you don't get it while it's like in the event, you can still get it, but then you have to pay money. And I'm not gonna pay money for something that I can get for free. 
so this is what we're doing. Bro, I'm actually stupid. It was right over here the whole time. All right, I'm gonna get back on. <laughs> what were you doing on Genshin for nine hours, bro? I guess like exploring and stuff. I can't spend nine hours playing Genshin anymore. It's just too much. It's such a long time. Like nine hours. I feel like I could do so much in nine hours. Like I could edit at least one TikTok. <laughs> It doesn't take me nine hours to edit a TikTok, okay? I, I promise. Hi, hope you're having a great day today. And how's the grind going so far? I mean, grind's going good so far. I mean, we just started. I haven't even finished doing my, my daily commissions, to be honest. I think this is only like the second one. I haven't been keeping track, though. Bro, I feel like I'm going to get so <laughs> so distracted. We're going to be in the middle of like the, the quest or the event thing. And I'm going to be like completely distracted. I'm rebuilding three characters and one coming up. Oh my, that is good luck with that. I don't rebuild any characters. I don't have the the time, the patience. They they get built once and then they stay there. Like I don't think I've edited some of my character builds ever. <laughs> and like this is what my Sean Lee's build is. <laughs> like <laughs> why the fuck he got two piece of the Shimanawa? <laughs> But it's like good enough and um, I've never bothered to change it. You know why it is that the way though? Is because these pieces are so fucking good. They're so good. There was like no reason for me to ever change it. Like what What am I going to do? Find something better than that? No. So we work with what we have. Okay, I have to go up. Can I get up this way? It's like up here. Why am I running around like the little small characters? Don't they climb slower? I'm rebuilding Yula, Shenha, and Shogun. Oh, good luck with that. I should probably rebuild some of my characters because I'm pretty sure their builds are not good. But I don't like use them. I only like they do fine. Like there's no reason. And I, I'm too lazy to do Spiral Abyss most of the time. Am I stupid? Wait, is it up here? Bro, how do I get up here? Like, yeah, I don't know. They're kind of good enough. And then I never touch them again. Like, I didn't even build Yao Yao. <laughs> you want to see what I did? <laughs> I'm pretty sure she scales off, like, HP for, like, healing and stuff. And I gave her a fucking Jade. <laughs> Primordial Jade Wing Spear, bro. And then I gave her, like, a bunch of random artifacts that I had lying around. <laughs> just so she does something. I don't know, she's cute though. I don't really need her to do anything. She just needs to look cute. All right, what am I doing again? I actually wasn't paying attention during this. This is, this feels like a long commission. I hate when commissions take more than like three seconds. Get him. I don't know why I would try to attack with her. I trust Gina as my healer, as you should. She's one of my, oh my God, that's so cute. Wait. That's her ability. It's so cute! I don't know what it's throwing out. They're like little turnips or... Do these heal? I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what they do. Alright. Good to know. You can tell I don't read the character talents. <laughs> like, I really don't. Uh, okay. Please tell me this is like all this commission entails. I should have just started on the event, honestly. Yeah, Jean is one of the healers I use as well. I mean, I don't really use healers half the time since I got Zhongli. See, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Them coming out with Zhongli. Because then I'm like, why would I get a healer? And then they came out with stuff in the game that forces you to use a healer. And I was like, fuck this. Bro, you can tell I haven't been playing the game because I'm at Battle Pass level 3. <laughs> The only thing I've been getting is like the login thing is login and that's it. I literally battle pass three. I normally finish the battle pass. That's messed up. Oh, I finished my commissions. Why did I think I was only on the second commission? I didn't even touch my Zhongli since January last year, bro. He's like never not on one of my main teams. Like never. I literally can't dodge because of him. I literally just don't dodge. I just tank everything. It's actually ridiculous. I 
All right, get my commission rewards and then do the event. I have like no attention span. <laughs> I like literally look away for two seconds and I'm like, wait, what was I doing? So wonder I get anything done ever. Waifu's first always. You know what? You're valid for that. You're valid for that. Who's the best waifu in this game? I'm not sure who my favorite is, to be honest. Like, I don't know. I've always been sucker for, like, the, the hot male characters. You know, like, Zhongli. I'm, a, I'm an Albedo fan as well. I've always been an Albedo fan. I have a C6 Albedo. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucked up for that. <laughs> Eula and Shenha? Yo, you're valid as fuck there for that. I have them. I literally pulled for Shenha. I wasn't even gonna get her because at the time I didn't have like Ayaka or anything. And she's a really good support for like Ayaka or something. I literally pulled her because she was so hot. Like, that's it. That was how I made that decision. I was like, mommy. And Eula, I don't even know either. I even got her her weapon too. Why? I don't know. Because she's pretty, I guess. I don't know. So many of these characters, I was just like, oh, they're pretty. I'm going to make sure they have, like, their signature weapon. <laughs> I'm the worst. You know who doesn't have the weapon? I tried for it on the rerun, but I didn't get the, the weapon, unfortunately. I would love to, though. I have my queen triple crowned. I'm using Gravestone on her. Oh, interesting, interesting. That's a pretty good weapon. I don't know. I guess it would work pretty well on her, too. That's probably what I would have put on her had I not gotten her signature weapon. I got pretty lucky with some of those. Wait, I didn't mean to open that. Okay, what, what character should I use today? Um, Let's see, I was using Nahida a bunch. I've been using Scaramouche or Wanderer a lot because he was like the most recent character that I got. I have so many characters, bro. <laughs> I should use like my my Hu Tao or something. I feel like she would go really well with my Yulon or something like that. Um, they're both on the banners right now. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. There's so many characters. Who do I feel like playing today? Somebody give me a character. It's the second best weapon for her. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Like besides her signature weapon. All right. Um, I'm gonna keep Zhongli on the team because I don't want to have to use a healer. <laughs> Eula, Shenha, Mona, and Jean. Oh. Does Eula go well with Shenha? I don't know if that works too well. Because uh, she's like a physical damage dealer. Bro, Mona? I never used my Mona. Oh my god, I was going to be a Kaching main for a while. Just because when she got the new outfit, I was like, oh, I'm a Kaching main now. I don't know, but I do it because mommy. <laughs> You're valid for that. Uh, maybe I'll use some characters that I haven't used in a while. Like, I kind of want to use my Hu Tao. I haven't used her in a while. But then I'd have to give her the the Staff of Homa. Because I gave it to my Zhongli. <laughs> okay, no. Um, maybe I will... Okay, what was the, the team I used to use? I would always run, like, my Albedo and my Zhongli. And then, honestly, like, random ass characters. Um, who are my best built characters? Hmm. Bro, they're all... Oh, wait. Oh, Ayato. He was one of my favorites for a while. Let's bring the Ayato out. Let's make sure he's built. My king. My king. I think he still has a good build. Okay. He, oh, he's built well. Who's trying to enter? Jean Gunnilder. <laughs> I don't think you. I don't think people can come into my world when I'm doing the event, or at least not the quest. Probably. I think. I don't know. I can't remember how that works. Um. Okay. Let's see. I could keep Nahida. Oh, bro! I can't see my note. Like my notifications. I I can't read that. That was so small on my screen. It's not showing my notifications. <laughs> I have to open it in a different tab. Uh, Auburn, Laxpro44, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. It's not showing in my, my main window. What the fuck? I'm so scuffed. All right, who we running? Nahida? Is Nahida good with uh, Ayato? Probably, maybe. 
Do I still have a build on her? Oh, I got her her weapon. I forgot about that. All right, yeah, let's run my Nahida. I'm trying to run some of my like newer characters. I don't know why. This is the team. This is the team today. I could run like all Archons if I wanted to, too. Holy crap, that's some high level characters there, bro. <laughs> you don't even know. Uh, is there like an easy way to see what level my characters are? I'm pretty sure I have like 13 of them at level 90. Like, I have so many of them at level 90. This is what happens when you've been playing the game for two years. Like, you just have, like, look at this. This is ridiculous. Even my traveler is level 90. Um, yeah, Bennett. Oh, Zhao is only level 80. Oh, I'm a fake. I'm a fake Xiao main. I'm not a Xiao main. <laughs> All right, where is the thing? It's this way. Bro, I still get lost in Sumeru. Like, I literally cannot find my way around this place. Like, the main part of the city in particular. Okay. It's lower. Oh, it's over here. I was like, who the fuck? <laughs> oh, it's this guy. This is the guy you talked to, I think, for uh, reputation stuff. Don't get mad at me, but my Bennett is C6, level 1, no artifacts. I mean, that's fine. Uh, you can do what you want. <laughs> I also have a C6 Bennett. He's level 90, though. I used him a lot. I still use him, actually. He always comes into the Spiral Abyss with me. How much money did you spend? Uh, it's a good question, because I haven't spent a lot of money in this game in a while, but sort of early on in the game, I did spend quite a bit of money. If I had to guess, overall, probably in the range of like a couple thousand dollars over the last two years. I honestly don't know. I wonder if there's a way to like look it up. Um, I did have a lot of luck though early on in the game, which sort of made it easy for me to like keep spending money on the game. So it's hard to say for sure. I wish there is, there probably is, right? A website you can look up somewhere that tells you. I don't know if I want the answer to that question though. <laughs> I ate replacing Dean, bro. You only use one healer though. Like, do you not need two in um, Spiral Abyss? Oh, should I pay attention to this quest? I forgot this wasn't like a commission. I was like, wait, I should actually maybe pay attention. Okay, wait, I might need to you move my, um, phone for my face tracking because <laughs> it's in the way of the text i can't read it i skipped coke me oh i also skipped coke me here let me see if i can put this somewhere where i can how's that i think this still works okay i <laughs> I forgot that I'm gonna be I have to have to read like dialogue in this game uh because my phone is what I use for my face tracking and it just kind of sits in front of my monitor uh my monitor probably should be higher than it is but I don't have anything to make it higher I don't have like fancy like the little arms that you use to like connect the monitors but uh yeah uh anyways hopefully I can read the the text now <laughs> all right what's the what's the point of this quest there are several researchers in Spantmad who specialize in studying ley lines, so there is a great demand for ley lines data. Researchers often need to enter domains to investigate ley line disorders. They have been understaffed for some time, even after recruiting a good number of their own students. So now they've turned to recruiting large number of volunteers. They offer substantial pay. Ooh, I like to get paid. But they also have strict requirements for the quality of the volunteers. Are you interested? Uh, what are the requirements? Surely I meet the standards. I am the highest quality. Yes, let's walk through the recruitment process. First of all, are you proficient with one or more types of weapon? <laughs> uh, I guess you could say that. I'm proficient with all sorts of weapons. I, I'm good with all the weapons. Very good. How's your understanding of elements? Are you capable of using elemental powers? <laughs> yes, I am experienced at using elemental powers in battle. All right, I'll put you down as the traveler, right? Okay, I finished the registration. I'll be coordinating the necessary supplies and payments for volunteers later. I don't think I want to know how much I spent on this. <laughs> 
<laughs> me when we talk about anime figures oh yeah it's really easy to spend a lot of money on those isn't it i used to collect um nendroids you know what nendroids are they're like the little they're kind of like little chibi figurines basically i think most people know what nendroids are i used to collect the, a bunch of those they are so expensive. I ended up selling a lot of them though because uh, I kind of needed the money and I didn't really have the space to keep them. According to the standard protocol for receiving visitors, he will most likely bring the visitor to the Paspa Cafe. You can go there and talk to him when his time with the visitor has finished. He sounded like he was in quite the rush to recruit volunteers when he contacted me, but now he's showing a visitor around. Seriously, who could be so important? Is this gonna be like Lisa? Is it gonna be Lisa? I assume since like it's like the Lisa outfit that she's in the quest somewhere, probably. Alright, we're going to the cafe. This and Gundam? Oh. Bro, it's so easy to spend money on like stuff. <laughs> like, I feel like anime stuff especially. Like a lot of people have anime figurines. Other people do like cosplay like nendroids i guess are kind of counted under like figurines bro everything is just so expensive it's just like why why can't it be cheap to have a hobby you know mm. i mean i guess that's what you get when you get really into stuff <laughs> yeah and then like me spending a bunch of money on this game probably shouldn't have spent that much money on this game but at the time i was like yeah of course, how could I forget? It used to be my go-to drink here. Oh, it is Lisa! And she's in the, the drippy new outfit. Listen, Gafor. Um, I suppose I should call you Professor Gafor now. We're old acquaintances, so how about we stop beating around the bush, hmm? Okay, is this like, okay. Maybe I'll just like move over here. If I didn't start watching anime in 2006, I would have been a millionaire. <laughs> Oh my god, all of us probably. Like, why Why is it such a expensive hobby somehow? You're like, oh, anime, like, it's just it's just a show, right? It's just a TV show, right? It's all good. It can't possibly do anything horrible to my life. And then suddenly you're like 6,000 hours deep into anime and you're like considering getting like an anime tattoo and you're like got like a whole wall of anime figurines and you've got a body pillow. <laughs> And a boom mouse pad or whatever. <laughs> it's such a slippery slope. Literally, like, being into anime was what made me, like, want to play Genshin. Because, like, the aesthetic is very reminiscent of anime. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, anime game, let's go. <laughs> that was literally, like, my thought process, basically. First, you wanted to catch up, and now the coffee. If you have something to say, just say it. I'm trying so hard right now not to spend money in Genshin. I will lose my free to play pass the next banner though. If you're gonna spend money on the game, just get the Welkin Moon. Like, that's what I have right now. I don't really spend any other money on the game anymore. Occasionally the battle pass if I'm feeling feisty. And I'm actually playing the game. Um, but no, the Welkin Moon is like a really good deal. You get like 90 primo gems every day. For like 30 days. I don't... Somebody do the math for me. That's a lot though. Callie, do you have an anime tattoo? I do not. I do not have an anime tattoo. I do have a couple um, pretty small tattoos. But they're not... <laughs> they're not anime ones. I did consider getting an anime tattoo for a while. Um, like especially when I was like really into Q for like a couple years. I was considering getting like a tattoo related to that. <laughs> Um, but in the end, I, I just didn't bother with it, and I don't know if I'm ever gonna get any more tattoos, to be honest. We'll see. It's not really, like, my style anymore. I, for a while, I wanted to be, like, cool and edgy and, like, have tattoos or whatever, but now I'm like, eh, they're kind of expensive, too, and, like, eh, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, that's Gafor. He's the one we're searching for, but he seems to be busy talking with someone else. Maybe we should wait for them to finish. Surely we recognize Lisa, right? Maybe not, because we haven't seen her face. Oh, well, nothing really. It's just that ever since you left the academia, our original projects and plans have lost their backbone, so to speak. Ah, she looks so cool in this new outfit. I'm thinking of getting some, but I want to make sure I'm in a good financial spot since there's a chance my parents would disown me or something. They would disown you over a tattoo? Really? 
is it like because like just tattoos in general that they're like against or like i don't really know because my parents never really had like an issue with it especially because like i was over the age of 18 you know and <laughs> it's like i moved out when i was 18 anyways because i went off to a university so even if they hadn't been okay with it i think i i still would have been chilling i think i still would have been fine but yeah i don't know i never really understand that i don't know what the reasons are that parents have like such an issue with their kids getting tattoos i understand if it's like a really like trashy tattoo and you're like hey please think twice about this because you're you're only 18 years old or whatever right you're, you're like pretty young still like you know um and you're gonna have this tattoo for the rest of like, your life so i understand them being like concerned if it's like a tattoo that is in like a really noticeable spot or it's like kind of like um a bit inappropriate you know how some people get tattoos of like naked women or something uh, but at the end of the day, like, it's not, it's not their body. <laughs> and yeah, if you're over the age of 18, you can kind of do what you want with tattoos. Nobody can really stop you if you have, like, the money to do it. Oh, that's cool. Anime. See figurine, food, body pillow. I'm never going to financially recover from this. No, it's literally, like, what happens, bro. I don't understand how it happens. Like, because it never, I never do that with, like, regular TV shows. Like, I don't remember ever being, like, so into, like, a random TV show like, with, like, real actors and stuff that's not, like, animated that I wanted to get, like, the merch for it. But maybe it's just because, like, anime merch is, like, so cute, too. Because, like, it's, like, the cute little, like anime characters and like the aesthetic is always really cool and like they just look cute right i guess it's like different that way maybe i'm not sure i really don't know what the appeal <laughs> is that's like different my mom at least is pretty conservative like she doesn't even like when people dye their hair non-natural colors oh but at the end of the day that's like her her personal taste like her personal preference like, there's nothing wrong with people doing those things. There's nothing wrong with people dyeing their hair colors for fun and getting tattoos and stuff. That's literally just her personal preference. And, like, I don't really... I don't know. I don't think she gets to say... I get, though, that, like, if you live under her roof, then, like, she could probably make your life very difficult. So I get where you're coming from with that. To be fair, my uncle has two full sleeves and my mom kind of hates him. So maybe that... Oh, so it's, like oh that's interesting so she associates it with somebody she doesn't like because she like already doesn't like him and then he just has tattoos and she's like clearly people with tattoos suck <laughs> uh correlation uh just not equal causation or whatever the saying is i guess cyrus is also disappointed he's always valued you as a proud disciple <laughs> to be honest it's a real shame that you left the academia lisa Ah, oh, she looks so cute in this outfit. I love it. I'm so excited to get it. This is going to be like a four-hour adventure for me, probably, because I'm really good at getting distracted. With your wisdom and intellect, had you stayed in the academia, you would have become a hairbed by now? I don't know what that is. It's Lisa! Hold on. That's Lisa? The librarian Lisa? Our Lisa? Yes, our Lisa. She's ours. My GF has a full back dragon tattoo. The head is on her right shoulder and the tail wraps around her left leg. Wait, that's a massive tattoo. That's so cool. What the fuck? <laughs> that is like really cool. Did you have to get that done in like multiple sessions though? Or was that like a whole day that she just sat there and got that done? Is it like colored too? Because that would probably take it even longer. That's crazy. That's so cool. That's badass as fuck. Oh my god, she can still disown me though. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, at the end of the day, like, there's nothing she can do about it. But like, yeah, she can disown you. I, that sucks though. Like, having to take that kind of thing into consideration when you're trying to like make decisions about things that you want that are like completely don't affect anybody else in any way besides like their opinion of it. And it just sucks having to take that into consideration because it's like if you want to get a tattoo because you think it's cool, especially if it's in a place that nobody's gonna really see anyways like a lot of people get tattoos on their back or like their arms which you can easily hide or like their legs or like whatever like people aren't typically going around getting like neck tattoos or face tattoos so like it's like you can hide it so easily so like who cares like I, I don't know it's just weird to me like caring so much about like what somebody else does with like their own body like in terms of tattoos and stuff like it doesn't affect you but it sucks though because like you have to consider that because like you don't want to get disowned over something which sucks 
full color and took four days over one month wow that's that's impressive does it look like really cool i can only imagine it looking like really fucking cool i get to get a dick tattoo <laughs> get a dick tattoo but it's just like a stupid little like scribble like you know when you go into a public bathroom especially like I don't know if yours was like this in high school but like the public bathrooms in my high school and any high school I've ever been in there's always like 15 million dicks just drawn on the inside of the stalls <laughs> and so like they all and they all look stupid right they're all like that very classic like you know two circles and then like a little like cylinder for like the dick part <laughs> Get one of those tattooed. <laughs> Get it as like a tramp stamp or something to boot. <laughs> That'll be extra cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Paimon heard that Lisa had studied at the academia before, but that was a long time ago. What's Lisa doing here now? If I'm reading the situation right, you're reminiscing about the past to convince me to come back, aren't you? Wow, you're smart, Lisa. Well, I heard that you're currently the librarian for the Knights of Favonius in Mondstadt. If you ask me, that's a tragic waste of your talents. <laughs> what if she's happy being a librarian? She's happy. Why waste your time and energy on something as trivial as taking care of a library? Your time is so much more valuable than that. Oh, question by the way, since we're doing like a lot of dialogue here today, I think... Um, do we like the music playing in the background still? Or is it, like, more distracting to you guys than anything? I don't really have, like, a preference. Like, we can just listen to, like, the in-game music and, like, listen to, like, the dialogue and stuff. But I was kind of thinking about it. I was like, wait, is this, like, distracting? Done planning it. <laughs> Make sure to show a picture of it. I honestly think it's very funny when people get like um, goofy little tattoos. I would never because I'm more of like a aesthetic type of like tattoos. Like I want tattoos that look like cool and like have like a certain aesthetic to them um, if I'm going to get them. But I always think it's funny when people get like goofy, stupid little tattoos, like whether it's just like a scribbled little thing or like something that like their kid drew or something like stuff that just like, you know, it like looks like small and like scribbled and it looks like funny that way i think i like those tattoos loki i would never get a tattoo like that because i'm not like the kind of person that get a tattoo for the for the meme <laughs> but i think it's cool we are taking care of knowledge i don't think this is a waste of time right like bro bro just said like fuck libraries fuck librarians their work don't matter their work ain't shit like what do you mean libraries are i would say like a pretty important resource you know like not everyone can go out and be be buying you know books for 10 15 dollars each you know go to the library you rent it and you read it for free i don't know man knowledge knowledge is power you know she's protecting the knowledge for everybody i would say that is an important job but this guy's just like ah you know being a librarian is a waste of time like, okay <laughs> like, damn okay dude if you're willing to come back to the academia i have plenty of projects for you to preside over right away the academia needs people right now and some of these projects are quite important yeah that sounds like a you problem <laughs> <laughs> the way she just yawned. <laughs> I love it. Yawn. So all this talk is to convince me to come back. I'm guessing Professor Cyrus doesn't know that you're talking to me about this. <laughs> I still can't believe she yawned. The, <laughs> the absolute disrespect. Yes, Queen. As a matter of fact, he has long awaited you to come back and work at the academia. Is that so? You know, Professor Gafoy, it isn't a good idea to lie to people. Oh. <laughs> Yo, this is some queen shit. I feel like I haven't seen Lisa in like a story, like a story quest or a quest or like anything in so long. It's actually nice to see her. I think she's a good character. Our teacher knows exactly why I left the academia after only two years. Uh, he would never ask me to come back. Ooh, are we gonna get to know, like, why? Giving up my life in Mondstadt and returning to the academia as a spantomad researcher? The price of seeking wisdom is no longer something I'm willing to pay. <gasps> Ooh, 
I hope we I hope we learn more about this. I really want to know. It sounds like we might. Because, like, it sounds like there's, like, some interesting reason why she left the academia. If somebody's already done this event, don't spoil it. <laughs> I'll figure it out later. Um, so, please, don't bother trying to get me to come back. Wow. So, Lisa used to be a Spansmad researcher? Paimon's never heard her mention it before. Yo, Paimon, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Paimon's gonna get a recover blown. Besides, taking care of a library is important work. I've never considered it to be a waste of my time. Interesting. See, running a library seems like it'd be like a pretty good job. I don't know if it like would pay well or anything, but it seems like it'd be a pretty chill job. Wisdom is hidden in every corner of the world. Never underestimate wisdom, no matter how small it may appear. That's what our teacher always said. A good scholar wouldn't overlook the small details, Kapoor. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm still not used to calling you professor. Nevertheless, the underlying meaning of what you just said is simply wrong. Tell him, Lisa. And there's one other detail you probably haven't noticed. Two people have been eavesdropping on us for quite a while now. Ah, so she did notice us. <laughs> we weren't as sneaky as we thought we were. Unlucky. Is there anything we can help you two with? Uh, <laughs> bro, getting caught eavesdropping is so awkward. I don't know what I would do if that happened to me, like, IRL. Because, like... Uh, I I like okay. <laughs> I like listening to people's conversations in public. Okay, I feel like I'm probably a little bit of an asshole for that. But bro, if you're having a conversation in public that's loud enough for people to overhear, just from being like in the near vicinity, then I assume that it's a conversation you're okay with people overhearing. All right, so <laughs> I think. I think I'm valid for that, all right? So if somebody's having a loud-ass conversation in public and, you know, they're talking about something spicy, you know, maybe they're talking about, oh, my ex was texting me or something, you know, I don't know, <laughs> whatever people talk about in public, I'm going to sit there and I'm probably going to, you know, have an iced coffee. If I'm out somewhere, I probably bought an iced coffee because that's what I do. <laughs> no matter where I go, I'm like, all right, where's the, where's the Tim Hortons? Where's the Starbucks? Where is, you know, I need the nearest place where I can get an iced coffee. So I'm probably just sitting there like hanging out, like, you know, eavesdropping, sipping my iced coffee. <laughs> I don't know what I would do if somebody like actually like noticed me like listening into their conversation and they like po they, like called me out on it. I don't do it in an obvious way though, okay? Like I I'm just like walking past, you know, I probably have headphones in if I'm out by myself especially. And I'm not like looking at them when I'm eavesdropping, you know, like I'm just doing it casually as I like sit nearby or like walk by, you know? <laughs> I'm not like doing anything like crazy. They probably wouldn't even notice me. But like if somebody happened to notice me eavesdropping and they like called me out on it, I think I would just like I don't know. I do like what they do in anime, in like ninja animes. They just like throw down like a smoke bomb and then like disappear. <laughs> I think that would be my only option. <laughs> like what what else am I gonna do? <laughs> I can't I can't take it. I don't know how, like, if some random person called me out, I'd be like, I'd have to disappear into the night. I have no choice but to disappear into the night, all right? <laughs> I'm not, like, what am I going to do? Be like, yes, I was eavesdropping on you. What about it? I mean, if you're having a conversation in a public space, loudly enough for me to hear, I don't think I'm in the wrong for <laughs> like, listening to it. Yo, Kaiju! Thank you for the raid! Welcome, welcome! As I'm talking about eavesdropping on people in public. <laughs> Guys, I promise I'm not a bad person. I don't think it makes me a bad person to, <laughs> to eavesdrop on people in public. <laughs> They're the one having a loud ass conversation, guys. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, though. How was your stream? What were you streaming? 
welcome in raiders callie is talking about how like she likes eavesdropping on people look 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 i don't think i'm an asshole for that though listen like it's not like i'm like walking up to somebody's like private residence and like sitting at their window and like eavesdropping and spying on them right i'm like at the mall right and i'm sitting in the food court enjoying my iced coffee maybe a snack you know maybe i got a pastry with it who knows you know sitting there enjoying my iced coffee and they're at the table next to me you know talking about some very interesting spicy shit that they shouldn't be talking about in public <laughs> you know somebody's talking about wanting to divorce their husband or something you know i'm, I'm interested in that i don't know these people but i want to i want to know like what did your husband do queen what did he do fuck that guy divorce right now <laughs> I, I'm valid for that. <laughs> Stream was good. Just grinding some Genshin. How are you? Oh, you're playing Genshin. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm doing today as well. Um, since there's like one day left to get this uh, this Lisa outfit, I'm doing the event. That's why I'm streaming it because I was like, I won't do this event if I don't stream it. <laughs> oh, I guess I should introduce myself to the raiders because um, I know some of you guys probably just uh, will leave right after the raid. Um, but if you do choose to stay, my name's Kali. I'm a VTuber. I stream variety um you know genshin valorant apex i've been doing some phasmophobia lately i don't know whatever i feel like at this point <laughs> um i i don't know how to describe myself i think my community would describe me as a gremlin probably <laughs> that's the best the best way i have to describe myself i'm a gremlin <laughs> gremlin with boob physics <laughs> anyways welcome in if you guys do stay i appreciate it if not i hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend i swear to god callie if i see you in the tree outside my room <laughs> i'm closing the blinds yo listen 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 i wasn't i was just climbing the tree for fun and your window happened to be there and it was open and you were like talking on the phone you know <laughs> i'm valid for that <laughs> I need to stop talking about being an eavesdropper. Guys, I just like, I think people watching in public spaces, in public places, like people watching, and if you overhear people's conversations, like I just think that kind of thing is always interesting, all right? Like, you know, you get like a little tidbit of what other people's lives are like people that you don't know people you would never see again that you've never seen before and you just like see this small tiny little window of their life and you're just like huh i wonder i wonder what their the rest of their life is like based on this conversation you know you know it just it's interesting one of the things i like to do <laughs> This is more like if I'm alone at like the mall, like if I want to go and I'm like sitting there and I'll watch people from like a distance um, if I'm, you know, bored of scrolling on Twitter or whatever. And sometimes I just like to wonder what people are like talking about, you know, with each other. You know, maybe they're just having a conversation. They're like, what store should we go to next? Or maybe or maybe they're talking about something spicier. They're like, you know, um, I think my husband is cheating on me. And... <laughs> you know i was i was in his phone the other day and uh he had this person in his phone named uh i don't know juniper <laughs> i don't know man it's just like it's just like sometimes my mind wanders and i'm like i wonder what they're talking about <laughs> he's staying out in the cold i'm an ice dragon i don't mind the cold the cold never bothered me anyways <laughs> imagine going to the mall alone bro going to the mall alone you guys don't go to the mall alone like do you guys not do stuff alone like that? Okay, I think this might be because I'm like sort of like an introverted person and I'm like very fine to be alone by myself. Bro, when I worked up the courage to go to the movie theater by myself for the first time, it was fucking magical, guys. It was fucking magical. <laughs> I, I shit you not. It was such a good experience, bro. It opened up a world of opportunity for me. I'm not kidding. <laughs> like, it was so enjoyable. I went to the theater. I bought my snacks, I sat by myself, and I just enjoyed a wonderful movie, a wonderful theater experience by myself. It was so nice. And then after that, I genuinely just went to the movie theater by myself all the time. Like, I'll go I'll go to a restaurant and eat by myself if I want to. I don't really do that one too much, because I, if I'm going to eat by myself, I'll just order. <laughs> I'll just order in and eat in the comfort of my own home. <laughs> But, like, I would do it. I would do it. It doesn't bother me. And, like, going to the mall by myself, I love it. You know, I can just sit with my headphones on, um, shop for what I want to shop for. I don't need, I don't need to anybody to come with me. <laughs> 
Nico, Cocker's plan. What's up? I am not late. You're not late. You're just on time. You know, you know, it's like, uh, what's the saying? A queen is never late. Everybody else is simply early. That's you. That's you. No, you're not. You're not late. Everybody else is simply early. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Thank you, uh, Lucidus Knight, for the follow as well, by the way. You want to play Genshin guess game? What's the Genshin Genshin guess game? Is that like... I don't know. You might have to explain it to me. I don't know what that could possibly be. <laughs> Anyways, guys, yo, doing stuff by yourself is so underrated. Like once you once you realize how enjoyable doing things by yourself is, like you're never gonna you're never gonna just like everything is great. You know, you don't have to like you're not hindered by having ha to ask other people to do things with you. Like you want to go to a movie and see a movie. You want to go to the mall and go shopping. You don't need to wait for somebody else to be available to go with you. Like you can just go. You can just go, guys. It's so freeing. It is so freeing. I'm literally not kidding. <laughs> I give you five hints about the character and you have to guess the character. You know what? I'm willing to try it. I am willing to try it. Excuse me, but what business do you have here? Uh, well, actually, we're here to participate in a research project on ley lines for Spantamad. We just finished registering with FND, which is when we happen to run into you, Lisa. We didn't want to interrupt your conversation. <laughs> oh, we, we played it off. We played it off. We're so smooth. I win a follow if I win. Ooh, wow. All right, all right. Let's see it. Let's see it. A research project on ley lines. Oh, darling. You haven't joined the academia, have you? <laughs> Only as a project volunteer. Imagine we joined the academia. Yo, yo, yo. You know who's in the academia, though? Listen. Al Hatham is in the academia. I would join the academia just for him. Okay? <laughs> right? Effendi told us a research project is looking for paid volunteers. Okay, is it a is it volunteering if you get paid? I thought volunteering was just like for free. I don't know how that works though. That's what we came to see Gafor about. Paid volunteers? Gafor, is the academia really that understaffed? Or are there projects that insist on the use of outsiders? <laughs> the academia is a little bit, uh, a little bit short stuffed, unlucky. I guess that has something to do with. Well, I don't want to give away any spoilers, but it was like the, the Archon quest, I think. Yeah, I think it probably has to do with that. No, no, the paid volunteers are for a conventional project to monitor the ley lines. All operations follow the prescribed safety protocols. We rely on a lot of manpower to collect the data. There's no way around it now. But if only you would agree to come back and preside over some matters, we wouldn't have to go through all this nonsense. Bro, bro won't give up. She already said she doesn't want to come back, bro. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> if memory serves me right, collecting ley lines data requires investigators to go deep into domains, which can be dangerous. We've seen our fair share of combat since leaving Mondstadt. Exploring a domain is like a walk in the park to us. It's true. It's true. It is like a walk in the park. I mean, there is a pharmaceutical group who pay you to test things, but call it volunteering. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Well, you do have to, I guess, do it voluntarily. Like, you have to volunteer to do it. So, I guess that's where that comes in. That makes sense, honestly. I used to do something similar to that. It wasn't paid, though. Um, when I was in university, you could get, like, credit. So, there was, like, psychology courses that I took. And you could get course credit, like an extra two or four percent added onto your grade just by like volunteering to go and do like a quick little thing for like other student like research thingies. I don't know what they were. And like you would just go in and it'd be like 20 minutes. You would sit on a computer and they would explain like the instructions to you and you just like click some stuff on the computer or something. So it was like nothing invasive or anything. It was like really straightforward. And yeah, you would do that like once and get like an extra 2% just slapped right onto your grade. And I was like, this is the freest, the freest uh, way to get course credit I've ever heard of. And uh, kind of reminds me of that, but I didn't get paid for it. But I got course credit, which was, you know, a banger at the time. It's been so long now. I can only imagine what wonderful stories you have to share. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing to worry about. 
Since you two are here to apply for the project, then please wait a moment while I talk to Lisa. Bro, give up. She already said she doesn't want to come back to the academia. Look, she looks so annoyed. I'm sorry, Gafur. My answer is still no. Bro, she said no like 15 times. He needs to take a hint. By the way, you have four guesses. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. All right. The character is super short, a boy, always bullied, stolen by Venti, Animo user, stolen by Venti. That's the, that's the one that I'm like, wait, what? Stolen by Venti. I might have to look at the, the character archive for like a, a hint. I don't remember that one. That doesn't ring a bell at all. It's probably it's probably like a story quest I haven't done or something. <laughs> always bullied. Who's always bullied and an animo user? I have to think about this one. Okay, let me let me get through this dialogue. I'll think on it. Aren't you even a little bit interested? I have never regretted my decision to leave the academia, and I don't think that will change in the future. I thought after all this time, you would have a different answer, but you're still as obstinate as ever, Lisa. Well, why would she want to come back here? She left for a reason. You've made yourself clear. I'll only make a fool of myself if I keep insisting. In that case, I still have unfinished business to take care of, so I'll take my leave. See you at the Darshan reunion in a few days. Oh, is that why she's here? For a reunion? I will give you one more hint. Ooh, okay. Yeah, because I don't know why, but the, the one hint just means nothing to me. Like, stolen by Venti. I'm trying to think who's always getting bullied, too. And, like, animal user. I can't think of the animal users. Besides, like the couple that come to mind but they they don't fit the bill like i'm thinking like wanderer i'm thinking farazan i'm thinking like sayu i'm thinking uh uh Hizo. like i'm like none of those fit the bill yes don't worry i'll be there on time as for you two please come see me later in the matima forest when you're free we'll need your help with the volunteer work oh and one last thing lisa yes I wish you the best of luck in Mondstadt. Oh, that was nice of him. Thank you. Is that the end of this? Look, he literally would not give up. Bro. She was like, I'm not coming back. And he was like, yo, but what if you did? And she's like, I don't want to. And he's like, yo, but what if you did? And she's like, yo, my answer is no. Leave it alone. <laughs> well then, cuties. Now that the recruiter is gone, we can sit down and have a good chat. Recruiter? Lead the way, my queen. <laughs> Much has been happening within the academia, and Gafor is paving the way for his future. He was originally in Leeway. Huh. The only person I could possibly think of is, like, Xiao, but I'm like... I, like, I don't remember him being stolen by Venti. <laughs> Like, I, I don't I don't remember that happening. That might have been in something that I didn't do. <laughs> but is he is he always getting bullied? I don't think he I don't know. It doesn't sound like he fits the bill. <laughs> oh, but you you follow. So maybe I did get it right. Thank you for the follow though. Is Xiao? Bro, I don't he's getting bullied? Who who's bullying Xiao, bro? I feel like if anybody tried to bully him, he'd just kick their ass. <laughs> By the way, Lisa, what brought you to Sumeru? Are the nights okay with you being gone? Of course. Jean gave me an extended paid vacation. It's rare that I get any time off, so I thought to myself, why not go on a trip and relax a little? Oh, paid vacation. I want one of those. Me acting like I, I, <laughs> I don't even have a fucking job right now. <laughs> me like, oh, I want a paid vacation. <laughs> The internet. Oh, are people bullying Zhao on the internet? What did he do? He's just edgy. He's just an edgy little boy. I mean, he's an adeptus or whatever, but he's so small. I just want to put him in my pocket. I don't know how much of our conversation you heard, but I studied in the Spantamad Darshan at the academia for two years. 
But instead of staying at the academia after graduation, I went back to Momstadt to become the librarian for the Knights of Favonius. So that's why you came to Sumeru, right? To walk around and meet with your old friends and teachers? Why did you choose to leave the academia? Will she tell us? I want to know. I love this outfit. Isn't it nice? I like it a lot. I'm never sure if I like the, the new outfits because they're new or because they're like actually better. But like I feel like most of the, the special outfits they've released in this game for both like four star characters and five star characters, like they're just so cute. They're so nice. Like, her regular outfit is nice, too, but this one just, like, really nice. And, like, the hat. The hat is fun. I like the hat. You'd like to know, wouldn't you? Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt if I told you. After all, it was ages ago. Alright, I'm gonna go play the guest game with someone else, okay? Have fun, have fun. If I recall correctly, I enjoyed this event. The events are usually pretty well done. Honestly, I'm just so lazy for doing them, but they're usually like really well done. Like even even since like the beginning of the game, like the events have been generally pretty well done. Like the first event I remember was like the official event. I think that was like the first event, if not one of the first events. And that one was like a banger, bro. That was a banger event. And yeah, most of the events are pretty well done, honestly. I'm just like so lazy <laughs> for doing anything in this game these days. If anything, it all boils down to a difference in philosophy. When I first came to the academia, Professor Cyrus really appreciated my work and invited me to participate in several major projects. But most of those projects ended in failure. To be honest, they went too far trying to achieve wisdom beyond mortal understanding, so failure was only to be expected. I didn't want any part of that lunacy, so I left. Anyway, now that I told you, um, make sure to keep it between us. Oh, is that all? I thought there was going to be like a more interesting story to that. The new one that's going on now, meh. Uh, didn't the other one just start? I just noticed it today for the first time. I don't know if it just got released today, though. But yeah, I haven't looked at it at all because I was like, there's still like eight days or something left on it. And I was like, ah, well, I need to do this one first. And then if I get to that one, it depends. Like, I usually try to do all the events, but recently, like, I haven't, I've skipped a couple in the last couple months. Like, I'm not going to skip this one because there's an outfit. You know how I like to get my drip? I always have to get drip, but like if there's if there's not like a new outfit or something like I just don't really I can't bring myself to care about it. I used to make sure I always did the ones with the, the crowns because those are kind of hard to come by. But now I just can't bring myself to even care about those that much because like even if I don't crown a character like they're still gonna be really strong so it's kind of like I don't know I just if I want to do stuff I have to force it I have to stream it <laughs> I have to just stream it and then I'll get it done hmm sounds like you've experienced a lot I don't wish to return to the academia, even if Professor Cyrus came to ask me personally. Good for you, Lisa. Good for you. Rather than conducting experiments day and night, I'm much more suited for working hours that start after 10 a.m. with regular afternoon tea every day. That does sound much better, honestly. Yo, I can relate to this, though. Because I, when I was um, uh, in like a, a PhD program, right? So what I would do is you don't really do like schoolwork, you don't really do coursework and like assignments the way that you do when you're an undergraduate student. Um, basically, I was just working in a laboratory the whole time. And so I had to like run experiments and you know, all that kind of thing. And it was like all hours of the day. Like there was some times where I had to like be in the lab like, <laughs> like late at night and shit like that. And it was like really, really time consuming and really obnoxious. Whereas like compare that to what I'm doing now where I like, <laughs> I wake up in the afternoon, I have like my little iced coffee, and then I like stream and like play video games and shit. <laughs> you know, Lisa's, Lisa's kind of relatable right now. It's always worth it if it's for the drip. You know, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Anything for drip, honestly. I just like, I really like aesthetics in video games. You know, like I just like looking cool. 
like ideally not spending money to look cool like this is great because i can get it for free all i have to do is not be lazy but <laughs> I uh, I just like like looking cool. That's unfortunate though, because I feel like I spend too much money on things. Because I'm like, ah, oh, skins! Wow, look at how cool this skin is. And then it's like, oh my god, I accidentally spent three hundred dollars <laughs> on skins. <laughs> I prefer to take things at my own pace when it comes to tiring tasks like uh, a job. And besides, being able to take regular vacations is also really important. Yo, no, she's speaking facts, bro. Like, I feel like so many people are, like, such, like, a, like, a grind, like, a grind culture type of mindset where people are, like, work, 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 like, always work, always grind, blah, 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 like, the grind never stops kind of shit. Nah, nah, that's not what it's about, bro. Sometimes you just gotta have some time to enjoy your life, like, vacations are great. It's always weird to me. I don't know anyone like this, like, personally. But I, I've, like, met them and I've, like, seen them around where they act like you're like a horrible person for taking like your paid vacation from your job as if you're not fully entitled to take it <laughs> they like act like you're like betraying the company or like you're being lazy or something when you take your paid vacation time like they think they're better than you because they work more hours it's weird people are weird i'm like yo your company doesn't care about you your job doesn't care about you if you died tomorrow they literally would not care they literally would not give a shit <laughs> Like, take your paid vacation and go relax, please. I am begging you. It's a pity I didn't even have time to visit that child in Gandharva Villa. Gafor found me just after I arrived in Sumeru. Damn, he tracked her down. That's boomer mentality right there. It is, like, a very boomer thing, honestly. I've seen it, though, with people in, like, younger age groups, too. And it's like, why? They don't pay us enough. <laughs> Like, none of these places, these workplaces, none of these jobs pay us enough to be that dedicated to the job. Like, it just doesn't matter, bro. It's just a job. Like, to me, in my opinion, most, every job that I've had is just a means to an end. Like, I've never had a job that I'm, like, truly passionate about. The closest thing, obviously, for me is, like, you know, streaming and creating content. But I don't know if I would quite call that a job. <laughs> I don't quite make enough money to be calling it a, a job. <laughs> but like every job that I've had is just a means to an end. It's just some way that I can pay the bills. I don't give a shit about the job. I don't really give a shit about the company. I might care about my coworkers if I have good coworkers, you know, that kind of thing. But like besides that, like I will leave that job and never think about it again. Except, you know, to use as like story time <laughs> on stream. <laughs> I don't know why people are so, like, committed to their employers. Like, what do they even ever do for you besides, like, not give a shit about you? You tell Lisa about all that's happened after coming to Sumeru. I see. Even I didn't expect them to be so bent on their pursuit, wanting to even surpass the gods. Sounds like you were involved in some remarkable events again. And I was completely unaware. It's okay, Lisa. You were in Mondstadt. And to think you were even able to handle a crisis of that magnitude. Cuties, your abilities are really beyond measure. Oh, thank you. I like what she calls I like what she calls us cuties. I don't know why. I think it's cute. I think it's nice. She's like, hey cuties. I wish I was like you know, one of those like cute girls that just like ran around calling people like sweetie and honey and cutie. That's not really my style though. I wish that it was though. I wish that it was. I wanna be one of those cute, cute girlies. Having accomplished such a feat, I'm sure you must have a lot on your plate right now. I was actually thinking about inviting you two to walk around Sumeru with me. What a pity. It's very rare for us to meet like this. I'm not that busy. I mean, what do, what do we really have to do besides, you know, this event? Oh? Then would you like to spend some time with me, darling? That would be wonderful. Oh my god, darling, that's another one. Like, sweetie, honey, darling, cutie. Oh my god, I wish I was like... I wish I used these words to, to talk to people, but I'm not, I'm not cute like that. I just like... It doesn't feel right coming out of my mouth. I feel like that's a MILF vibe. It is, it is. Like, the cutie thing, definitely. She definitely gives that vibe. If someone my age calls me that, I'm assuming they're trying to gaslight me or something. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Because I feel like all the people that call people like sweetie and honey and stuff and like it just sounds normal. I feel like they're all like older ladies. 
like i feel like older ladies do it a lot they're like hey sweetie like oh here's some cookies honey like you know i i feel like you can't get away with it as much when you're younger there is people that i've seen that do it only like once or twice that are like younger but i feel like they have to have like a very specific vibe about them like they have to like look like a fucking like angel like they're like very like sweet cute looking like adorable little like person and they're just like oh hey sweetie you know like i feel like they can get away with it too but yeah it's definitely usually the older ladies huh I plan to spend the next few days visiting around Sumeru City. At the end of my stay, I'll leave from Gondorvarville and return to Mondstadt via Leeway. Who knows? Perhaps we'll bump into each other again in Sumeru City or Gondorvarville. Hmm. Come to think of it, there's something romantic about such a chance encounter like this. It's like icing on the cake for this little vacation of mine. Romantic. Romantic. If you see me around, be sure to come and say hello. Otherwise, I might start feeling lonely. <laughs> Don't worry, Lisa. We'll keep you company. All right. Go to the Matiyama Forest. All right. Where's that? I don't know the names of anything in Sumeru. I know Sumeru has been out for like so long, but I don't know the names of anything. I don't think I know the names of anything, really. Even in like Leeway and Mondstadt, to be honest. I don't really pay that much attention. I just kind of go where I gotta go and I don't need to read. I'm <laughs> I'm illiterate. <laughs> I'm not actually illiterate, by the way. Probably. It's um mostly a joke. <laughs> Bro, why do I have like 13 DMs from the same person? I, I wonder if I should check that. Oh, it's a group chat. <laughs> I was like, why? Why do I have so many DMs? Is like something going on? But I forgot it was a, a three-way group chat. Um, so it's just the other two people talking in the, in the group chat. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. I thought I was like, some emergency going on. Somebody like that or something. Don't worry, nobody died. All right, what are we doing here? I forget the whole thing we volunteered for. Yo, what's up? What's up, my guy? What's up, Kafora? I forgot this guy's name. <laughs> there you are. Looks like you two are ready. We are. I forget what we're doing, though. Oh, we're going into, like, domains for something. Very well. Let me inform you of some details. Spantamad has been involved with the ley lines for a long time, and it's imperative that their current is constantly monitored. This research project was also organized to help meet this demand. However, because of abnormal fluctuations often occur in Sumeru's domains, we must regularly send people deep into various domains to record the situation with the ley lines. Ah, so that's our job. If you forgot it, it's probably not important. No, that's not a good rule of thumb for me. I'll forget anything, bro. Honestly, if I tried hard enough, I'd probably forget my own birthday, to be honest. Like, <laughs> uh, that's, yeah, that doesn't work for me. I'll just, I forget everything. Like, the moment it's said to me, I just forget it. It's actually pretty impressive, though. For someone who's very forgetful, I'm actually, like, really good at remembering, um, like, my family and friends' birthdays. Like, I don't know why. I don't even, like, put them into, like, my calendar or anything. Like, I just remember them somehow. Which is weird, because I'm, like, generally, like, very forgetful. But that's one thing I'm really good at remembering for some reason. It helps, too, if people have, like, a birthday that's really close to, like, a, a specific holiday. Like, I'll be like, oh, this person's birthday is, like, you know, three weeks before Christmas. Or, like, one week after Valentine's Day. Or, like, um, like their birthday is on the summer solstice. Or, like, whatever. <laughs> I don't know that's how I, or like if somebody's birthday is like a few days after mine or a few days before mine like I'll just remember it that way and that kind of thing I, I don't know I'm just like somehow really good with birthdays if it's only to one person like a partner I feel like you can get away with it but she call in everyone speedy yeah I don't know but like I feel like she gives like the vibe of like someone who who can do that like you know I don't know I don't know I sometimes forget my birthday. I forgot my keys once. <laughs> Bro, forgetting keys is pretty common, though. Like, what do you do if you lose your keys? Or you forget your keys and you, like, live alone? Like, you're just kind of, like, fucked. Because, like, 
For me, since I live with my sister, if I forgot my keys, chances are that she has her key or that, like, I went out by myself and she's just at home and she can let me in. Um, I guess I would have to, like, go to my, the office, like, the rental office of the place that I rent. I don't really know what I would do if I, if I forgot my key and I lived alone. I don't know. I don't have to worry about that. Um, I don't think I've ever forgotten my key, though, because I, I keep it right by the, the front door. So it's like right, right there <laughs> when I leave. I seriously suck at remembering birthdays. Yo, that's crazy. I feel like that's like the one thing I'm actually good at remembering is like birthdays somehow. But um, I was going to say something. Oh, my favorite thing to do. I think I'm so funny for this joke too. So me and my sister, we're twins, right? So we obviously share a birthday. And my favorite thing to do is pretend I forgot her birthday. It's such a stupid fucking joke. <laughs> and it's like not even believable. I just wait until like the very last minute, like on our birthday. And then I go on like Twitter at like 1159 when the birthday's almost over. I'm like, oh, happy birthday. I almost forgot. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's like the funniest joke of all time, though. I, I think, guys, maybe I just have a, a bad sense of humor, honestly. <laughs> call a locksmith yeah i guess that's what you would do if you locked yourself out no you know what i used to do so i've done this okay i have two specific stories related to this so one time when i was really young like probably like six years old um me and my dad we had to get something from my grandma's place like his mother and like for her but I don't know if she just didn't give us the key or we forgot to grab the key off of her or like something. And so we went to her house to grab whatever we had to grab from her place, but we didn't have the key. And so my dad lifted me up into like a window and he had little like six, seven, eight year old me, however old I was, climb through my grandma's window and like go unlock the front door. <laughs> And like, I don't know why I remember this so specifically and so vividly because I feel like I don't remember a lot of things from when I was little, but I remember very vividly my dad lifting me into my grandmother's window and climbing through the window. It was into her bathroom. It was her bathroom window. I don't know why I remember this so specifically. <laughs> and then there was another time when I was in university and I shared like this four bedroom house with three of my friends. And one time we went out like drinking or whatever. We went out to like the club, uh, all of us. And my one friend, she left before the rest of us, but she had forgotten her key. So I gave her my key so she could go home early and just go to bed. But I forgot because I was I was drinking. <laughs> I forgot that I had given her my key. And then when I was going home by myself later on in the night, I forgot that I didn't have a key and she was asleep. The only person that was in my house at the time was asleep. <laughs> And so what I ended up doing is that her window, she had a window at like the front of the house. And so it was like opened a bit. So I just opened it all the way. I climbed in her bedroom window while she was just sleeping in her bedroom. <laughs> and she was like passed out cold. Like she must have been drunk or something because she was passed out like super cold. And I came home. I had like a pizza that I had bought. So what I did, I don't know. I was drunk. I thought this was like the, the plan. I left her a slice of pizza on a plate beside her bed and a glass of water. So when she would wake up, she would have water and something to eat. <laughs> And then later on, it became like a story that we would tell at like parties and stuff because she called it like the pizza fairy story because I had climbed in her window and left her pizza. <laughs> I just I just think that's like really funny. Anyway, so there's like two instances where um, I've climbed in the window <laughs> because I didn't have a key. But neither of those times was my fault. I didn't forget my key. Okay. <laughs> I remember when my mom left our house to sleep over my sister's, I locked my keys in my truck and called her to come home to open my truck for me since it's also connected to my house keys. It took her two hours to get home. Oh my god, that sounds horrible. Yeah, I don't know what I would do if I got locked out. I guess I'd probably have my phone. 
so I would keep myself entertained probably just by like scrolling on Twitter and shit posting like I do. But damn, yeah, getting locked out isn't isn't fun. All right, we will continue the quest after a brief a brief story time adventure. Well, those are all the necessary details. When you're ready, you may enter the domain. In each second blooming event challenge, travelers must form three teams and engage in three consecutive rounds of combat. They must defeat all the opponents in the allotted time and can earn bonus points from the time they have left. You will earn different levels of insignias based on the score you obtain. Oh, is it a fighting event? I love fighting events. This is my favorite kind of event. Because <laughs> I can just go, like, brain off, like, just pew, pew, swing sword, do damage, and then be done with it. During the party formation process, linked characters will appear in the party multiple times per round and gain buffs. Okay. Each team can select two support skills to help them do battle. Alright, sounds fun enough. I feel like there's been events like this before. It like vaguely rings a bell. Alright, let's do it. Let's see it. I wonder how many parts there are to this event. Uh, five parts? Alright, this first one is called My Name is Violet. Apply a special mark to a random opponent, causing the opponent's physical and all elemental resistance to decrease by 30%. After defeating this marked opponent, all party members will enter a valiant state. When the current active character hits an opponent, a shockwave will be unleashed at that opponent's position. This effect can be triggered once every two seconds. A maximum of four shockwaves can be unleashed each time the team enters the valiant state. Another random opponent will be marked 10 seconds after the currently marked opponent is down. Uh, okay. What should I do for the score multiplier? Am I good at the game? I want to do the hard one. Surely I should be able to do the hard one, right? All my characters are like level 90, right? We'll see. Um, okay. I don't know what teams I'm going to use here. They're probably going to give me like some trial characters, right? Uh, can I see the... Okay, cool. I think I want... Ice characters in the third one. Oh, Lisa! <gasps> I can use Alathalim! <gasps> Which one will I use him in? I'm gonna use him. I'm getting him if he gets a rebound. I don't give a shit. Um, uh, maybe in the second part? I don't really... I don't really know. I forget how he works. Um, who does he work well with? He's a DPS character, I think. Another story. When I used to live with my cousin, we never had any keys to the door, but the window next to the door, the screen is bent. We would pop the screen out and climb in multiple times. <laughs> we had someone call the cops on us one time and we stopped for about a month before doing it again. Bro, <laughs> that's kind of funny. I guess I can see why they would call the cops. They just see some random person climbing in through a window. They probably think like somebody's breaking and entering, but... <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's like funny because I've done the same thing a few times and nobody's ever called the cops on me, thank God. Once when I came back from school, for some reason the lock didn't want to work. It's a lock with a code. I didn't have the key. I had to climb through the bathroom window and almost brute force it open so I could unlock the door for my sister. <laughs> Does everybody just have a story of them like climbing through a random window? And like why why is it always a bathroom window? Like, I feel like it's always a bathroom window <laughs> that you have to climb through. Um, okay, so I might put on the first team... I don't know, we might go Bennett. Uh, I'm thinking Raiden. Oh, wait, Bennett is on both teams? Oh, that's the linked thing. Okay, I can work with that. Let's do Alathime and... I don't know who else should go on this team. Um, pff, bro, I don't know. I have so many fucking characters. <laughs> Why do I have so many characters, bro? Um, do I do like... Should I put Nahida on a team? I don't know which team I would put her on. I don't need a... D uh, he's a DPS, right? I'm pretty sure he's a DPS. Um... 
maybe I'll just like do venti or something. Wait, what's in the first one? No, venti's not gonna be good there. I don't know, Yelan. I don't, bro. I don't know. I have too many characters, and I can't make a decision. I'll let that kind of go, Bert. Bro, I'm excited. I'm excited to use him. I'm glad they put him in here because I got a fucking Chi Chi <laughs> instead of him. <laughs> you want to have someone to enable Hyper Bloom? Oh, okay. So that's the Hydro. Okay, yeah, Yelan works for that. Um, and then this team. Me, like, thinking hard about, like, my character compositions. Like, I'm not just going to, like, brute force everything. Uh, okay. Um, my linked character? Who's my linked character going to be? Maybe I should just put, like, Kazaha or something. Um, I could do Nahida. Oh, I didn't click. I don't know. Nahida's cool. I like Nahida. And then... Who else? I don't know. Let's just put Ayato. We'll have some couple nice hot hot men in there just for the for the fun of it. Sixty two playable characters, and I'm only missing seven of them. Wait, I wonder how many I'm missing. I'm definitely missing like a handful of the five star characters. I think I should have all the four star characters. Maybe there's one that I'm missing. I can't remember them all anymore. <laughs> All right, and then on the last team, we will put... I know I wanted to put Shinha and Ayaka. I want them to be next to each other in the party, though. Can I do that? No. Okay, I give up. Um, Maybe Zhongli, you know? It feels weird not to have Zhongli in there somewhere. Uh, oh, and then I gotta choose... Skills? Okay... Bro, this is too much reading for me. I'm stupid. My team with him is Nahida, Althaim, Shinobu, and Zingsho. Oh, Sh Shinobu! That's the fucking four-star character I don't have. I don't have Shinobu. You can adjust them before the fight. Oh, okay, okay. I probably won't bother. Okay. Um, Attack is increased. Let's do that to... This team... I guess I don't I don't know uh let's see all parties elemental mastery is increased let's do that to this team hello hello oh I'm stupid I have to click equip <laughs> oh god uh dendro damage bonus okay we'll put that on probably the second team since there's two dendro characters there um electro damage there um What's this one? Crit damage is increased by 80%. That's fucking nasty. Um, normal attack damage is increased. And their elemental skill damage is increased. That's too much reading. Let's just do this one. <laughs> I'm sure this will work. This will be fine. I don't want to think anymore. I, this is good enough. Surely we can manage it with this. I'm pretty sure I don't have to do that much to get the Primo gem. So I think I'll be okay. I didn't like her before, but she heals really well. Bro, I just, like, I don't know if I just haven't pulled on any banners with her, or if there was maybe one banner I pulled on with her, but I just didn't get her. Alright. Get him, Yulon. Bro, my Yulon goes crazy. Alright, where's my... Here, we'll do this, and then we'll do all of them. Alright, let's see the damage. Oh my god, he's so fucking hot. He's so fucking hot. Oh my god, holy shit. Holy shit. He has no business being that hot. Alright, I'm gonna do it again. Oh my god. I love him so much, I need him. I'll have time rerun when. Oh my god. Please sir, let me have your babies. I mean, what? Did I say that out loud? No, I didn't. All good. <laughs> Alright. See, that was easy. I wanna play... I wanna play more with all the time, though. I wish I could. Alright, let's do... Ayato. Bro, I haven't used Ayato in so long. Oh my god, I love him. 
I remember I saved so long for Ayato. I was like so happy. Oh, I still have all the time in this. Oh my god, go crazy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, don't the hyper bloom thingies do damage to me? I gotta watch out for those. Wait, I'm pretty sure I can just hold left click and he just keeps going. Yeah, I can. Okay, <laughs> I forgot about that. Bro, I haven't used my Nahida in so long. I keep forgetting to use all the time. I'm a fake fan. Yeah, this is pretty... Pretty easy event. I don't really know how hard it is to get, like, the maximum score, though. Alright, Nahida. You got this. Uh, I gotta do Shenha, and then I do Ayaka, and she does big PP damage. Is my Ayaka even built right now? Oh yeah, okay. She has she has the right weapon. Okay, all good. I was worried for a second because I haven't used her in a long time. I probably should have checked before um starting, but <clears throat> I never claim to be a smart person. Bro, 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 fuck off. Alright, come here, Abyss Mages. You can't get me because I'm just gonna freeze you. Oh my god. Getting Ayaka and then going against Hydro Abyss Mages is my favorite thing. They don't stand a chance. They're just frozen the whole time. They get wrecked nerds. Is it just these guys? Okay. Uh, how long? How do I get like the maximum score on this? Like how quickly do I have to finish it? Bruh. Get out of your stupid little shell. I never like Abyss Mages. I will never like them. They're so annoying. Die. All right, what's my score? I got gold. I don't think that's the max. I think the max is like the pink one. Honestly, I don't care. I think gold is perfectly good. I don't have Ayaya. I didn't have her the first time that she came out. Um, Did she come out right... When did she come out? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I was saving for another character at the time. But I didn't get her the first time around. But the second time she came around, I got her. I think I won a 50-50 for her too. So that was like super great. Okay, let me see. What do I need to do to get rewards? Oh, okay. Is gold the maximum score then? I thought there was like a pink one. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. Actually, I don't mind this event. If this is all this event is, I don't mind this at all. Um, How many Primo gems do I get for this? 80 each time? All right, not bad, not bad. And then how do you get the outfit? Literally, that's it? That's it? You just do all the challenges and get a total of 10,000 points? Bro, this is actually really easy. Wait, this is a W event. I like this event. Ayaka came out after Yoi Mia. Okay, but who came out after Ayaka is what I'm wondering. Because I'm trying to think if that was when I would have been saving for Ayato or if that was like a different character that I was waiting on at the time because there was definitely a character that I just wanted more than Ayaka at the time but I can't remember who the fuck it was <laughs> I have so many characters now and all of like the order of the banners in the past is all just a blur to me at this point like I just pff, can't remember it bruh bruh I hate these guys these are my least favorite enemy because I fucking hate having to use healers all right um uh, my linked character okay we gotta bring benny boy because he's one of my only healers oh wait they get to go in every one w w um okay who else maybe i maybe i do like raiden and albedo and like some shit like that okay who else is going on my first team I want to do maybe Tahita, Raiden. Who? What else is the first one? Oh, I feel like a uh, Vinti or something might be useful here, or like Kazaha or something. 
And then I said, let's do, let's bring Albedo. I feel like I never get to bring Albedo anywhere anymore. And I miss him. I miss him so much. <laughs> Raiden Shogun. That's who I was saving for. That's who I wanted more than Ayaka. That makes sense. That makes sense. Because I definitely, I make sure I always get the, the um, Archons. I collect all the Archons, so <laughs> that makes sense, that makes sense. And also Raiden, I really like Raiden. I really like her, so that would have been who I got instead of Ayaka the first time around. Damage dealt by character set at, as linked will increase something something. I can't read it because my phone's in the way. <laughs> Alright, who am I putting on the third team? Uh, oh, it's these Spectre bitches. Um, oh, who can I bring? Oh wait, I can use Kokomi? I want to use Kokomi. Who should I put? Okay, I guess I'll do... This party is full. Fuck you. Okay, we'll put Kokomi on this team. Who is good with Kokomi? Maybe I just do... These two again? Or should I bring a Scaramouche for once in my life? Because he's a fun character. I just got him. I don't know who's good against these little fuckers. <gasps> Wait, Sino! I never use my Sino anymore. I don't know if he's built though. I don't know if he's built. Or like, I think he might be missing one artifact. <laughs> um, shit. You know what? We'll just bring these two. This will be fine. And then we'll configure the skills. Okay, so crit damage. Who do we want to give the crit damage to? I'll just give it to the third team. Attack increased. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Wait. No. Okay. That's fine. Um, pyro damage. I don't know which one. Animo damage. Who has animo? Okay. Elemental burst damage. Who has elemental burst? That would be good for that. Bro, I don't know. Deal more damage to frozen opponents. Okay. Oh, fuck. We'll give that to the third team. What else do we got? Swirl reaction damage. Okay, we'll give that to the Kazaha team. And then... I don't know. This one? I don't, I, I don't know, bro. I don't know. It doesn't matter that much, probably. <laughs> I don't like having to do like the the setup part of this. That's the least the least interesting part for me is like the setup, like choosing the characters, choosing the skills to give them. Like I don't care, bro. Just let me let me run around and just swing my stupid little sword at people. Um, every nine seconds, a dilapidated field will spawn in a random position. It will deal damage to all opponents within the field after six seconds and just decrease their defense by sixty percent for ten seconds. Okay, cool. Don't care. All right. Come here. Gather up. Alright, and then I have Nahida. There's so many. I would rather just a bunch of big opponents, if I'm being honest. They're so much easier to fight. Kali, you're making me want to play Kenshin now. <laughs> really? I feel like all I do is say how much I like never play Kenshin while I'm playing Genshin. I don't know how that would make you want to play, but... <laughs> Whatever works. <laughs> All right, gather up, gather up. All right, we'll do Nikita's ult, which I think increases like elemental mastery or something. Right. Yeah, I wish I could just fight like a couple big opponents. It's like way easier. Bro, I'm actually blind in the castle because of how old I can't see shit. All right, come here, come here. We gather them and then we do the damage. Wow, I'm so good at Genshin impact, guys. No time for Genshin when your heart's stuck in Valorant. <laughs> Bro, I haven't even played ranked Valorant. The last time I played ranked in Valorant was when I, I think when I did it on the ePal stream, to be honest. Because I've been spending all, all my time when I'm not streaming, I just spend like video editing. <laughs> like that's all I do. Bro, I hate these guys so much. Screw off, get out of my face. There's 17 opponents I gotta defeat. These are like my least favorite opponents. Get him, Raiden. 
Alright, we'll just heal. Everything will be fine if we just heal with Bennett. Bennett is our supreme leader. Yeah, like, I don't even know what rank I am in Valorant right now because I haven't played. Probably... I think I'm either Plat 2 or Plat 3 right now. But yeah, no, I literally don't play it. I don't play anything when I'm not streaming, I swear to god. Like, is there anything that I play off stream these days? I feel like I just don't. Yeah, no, if I'm not streaming, I'm just like making videos to post on TikTok, stuff to post on YouTube, or I'm like tweeting, or like I'm doing video editing for, for my sister's like content. Like, <laughs> well, that's like my whole life right now. It's just video editing, which is hilarious because video editing is actually like my least favorite part of content. Like I would rather just spend more time streaming, but I don't have anybody else besides myself to edit my videos. Bro! I can't see if my elemental skill is ready, by the way. My phone covers it. <laughs> so if I just like seem like I'm doing dumb shit, it's because I can't see part of my screen. Not playing Valorant? That's why the mental is better. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, I don't know about that one. See, I feel like my mental has been better lately, but I'm not sure. It's hard to tell what the reason is, because I started like new meds, so I'm like, maybe that's helping. But then I'm like, I also am not at my like shitty retail job anymore, which is also theoretically helping. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Oh shit, I'm gonna kill my Ayaka. Like, there's just, like, so many things that could be, like, helping my mental. <laughs> and it's like, I don't even know which one is, like, contributing the most at this point. Look. Pyro Ayaka. Where's the... Oh, that was the last enemy. Okay, banger. Okay, we got gold. Banger. Look, we're speedrunning this event now. See, this is easy. Once you get to the part where you just do, like, the fighting stuff, the event's just, like, boom. So easy. So fun. That's, like, my favorite... All right, should I just wait until the end to collect all the rewards? I don't like the notification sitting there though. <laughs> I can't stand it. I can't. Okay, let me see if my Sino is built because I would love to use my Sino. Okay. He does appear to be built. All right, yeah, we can bring him out and use him hopefully. I'm just trying to use all my characters right now. Like, what's the point of having all these characters if not to use them for an event like this? All right. Maybe I should use my Hutao too. Let's check on my Hutao. <laughs> Let's see what the Hutao build is. I can't remember the last time I used my Hutao. Oh no, it's looking, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Um. Okay, let's see. What should I, should I give my Hutao the Staff of Homa? Should we, should we use the, the Staff of Homa on her? And then, and then, um, Zhongli can just use whatever. I mostly use him for his shield anyway, so I think that'll still be fine for the purpose of this. Alright, let's build the Hutao real quick, because I want to, I want to bring her out of the, <laughs> out of the shadows. Um, do I have a crit rate hat? Bro! All right, let's see what I have for other pieces. Okay, one of these is really good for Hutao. I can't remember which one it was. No, maybe it was a feather. Okay, we'll give that to her. There's a feather here somewhere. Oh, it's this one, because it's all HP and like crit. And I was like, that's good for Hutao. Um, she builds with HP, right? Which one of these is better? Okay, this one's fine. And what do I have? How do I filter this? I never filter it this way. Pyro damage. Okay, what do we got? Oh, that one's kind of nice. I don't need crit damage though. I need something with crit rate. Bennett has that one. Bro, this was so much crit damage, but I don't have a crit rate hat. I don't have a crit rate hat if I do that. Bro, what the fuck was my old Hutao build? I don't even remember. Maybe I don't have like... Maybe I just do two piece of something and two piece of something else. 
I need crit rate. She has no crit rate. <laughs> I'm allergic to crit rate. Okay. Um, what about these? Crit rate. That's good. Oh, I could give like the this type of. Um, okay, I'm lazy. Let's just do that. And we'll give her this one, and then I don't know if I have maybe one of these. The one on Ganyu is really good. Um, I don't know. This should be fine. <laughs> okay, like the the jank tooth owl bill. <laughs> she has no fucking crit rate, bro. Where's the crit rate? Is there something with crit rate? Okay, maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll do this. Then she actually has some crit rate. Okay, I think this is good. This is better. This is this will be something. Axel underscore QT, thank you for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. All right, hopefully we can use our hotel now. Um, I'll probably put my hotel with a uh, Yelan or something. Okay, who do we want to put on what team? Okay, let's put the Hu Tao in one of these slots so we can use her a couple times. Um, yeah, let's put her. She can go in the first slot here. Where the fuck? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? I lost my Hu Tao. Okay, we'll put Hu Tao and Yelan on both teams, maybe. And then... Who else? What is the ley line thing for this? I didn't read it. I don't care. Okay, and then... Probably I should have a healer or a Zhongli. <laughs> I literally don't know what I want to play. Yo, just like me for real. Just like me. Um, oh, I could put Nahida on a, one of the teams. Nahida. Okay, maybe I put Bennett. Bennett's always good. And then maybe Zhongli on this team. And then I don't have to have a healer. <laughs> Just no healer meta. Um, who will I put with them? Maybe I will have a healer. I could put my Jean. I could put my Jean. We can have Jean. Not on that team, though. Not on that team. Wait. How do I remove a character? Fuck. How do I remove a character? I didn't mean to put Jean on that team. Fuck. You know what? It should be fine, right? Okay, I can remove her. I'm just stupid. Who reads anything? No, literally me. Like, why would I read when I can simply not read? Um, I said I was going to use Sino, so I can use him on the third team. Yeah, we'll do... We'll use Sino. We will use Nihita. And we have a healer. Who else? Who else would be good on that team? Sino's the DPS. Bro, I don't know. Albedo? Wait, he's linked to the first one. Ooh. Alright, we'll put Zhongli and... Who are the trial characters? Hmm. I don't know. Kazaha? I like Kazaha. He can stay. Kazaha stays, always. Oh, I gotta do the skills. Fuck, I keep forgetting about the skills. I actually read things. Gotta read my Star Wars books and Dojin somehow. True. I feel like the only thing I ever read these days is, like, manga. <laughs> I literally... I used to read so much when I was a kid. Like, I would sit down and read, like, a whole, like, 300-page book in, like, a day. And now, bro, I can't remember the last time that I was... I read something. Um... Give these crit damage. Attack increased. Uh, I don't know. This team? I don't know. I'll skip that one for now. Pyro damage bonus. We'll give that to this team. Hydro damage. I don't know. Electro damage. That's got to go to the Sino team. After, for eight seconds after a character uses an elemental burst, regenerate five energy for themselves every two seconds. Okay. 
All parties' elemental damage burst, uh, damage is increased by 40% with a 15% cooldown reduction. Uh, let's give that to the first team, I guess? I don't really know. All right, and then we'll do hydro damage and this one, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> uh, towards the end, I just kind of start throwing them in there. I, I kind of give up mentally. I can barely cut, read anything that doesn't catch my interest. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I feel like reading especially, too, is just, like, I feel like it's just such a time-consuming hobby for me these days. Like, I, reading is enjoyable. It's not like I don't enjoy reading anymore, but to, like, sit down and read a book for, like, an hour or a couple hours, like, I feel like I just have other things I would rather do <laughs> with that time. Like, you know... So, like, I, I can get video editing done, I can play a game, like, I can do literally anything else. She just like me, for real. <laughs> I'm nothing if not relatable, I guess. For every 20 seconds, or every 20 seconds, the current active character will enter a heightened verve state for 10 seconds. The character will deal 80% more damage to the opponents at the expense of the opponents dealing 20% more damage to the character. Well, that's okay, because we're a Hu Tao main now, so... Okay. Let's see, let's see the Hu Tao. How's my Hu Tao do? Ooh, look at the crispy Hu Tao damage. Ooh, look at look at her go. She's so strong. Alright, fuck him up. Alright, he has a shield and we didn't crit. <laughs> we tried it. Yo, Luna! Thank you for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. Alright, we'll get the the Hu Tao will pop off one day. Alright, come here, who's out? Alright, where's somebody I can fuck up? Come here, rune guards. You don't stand a chance. Okay, we didn't crit again. <laughs> My Hu Tao's allergic to critting, apparently. That's what you get when you only give him 50% crit damage. <laughs> My bad, Hu Tao. My bad. That's on me. Alright, we'll get him this time. Maybe. Alright, let's see it. I mean, she does good damage, I just can't get her ult to crit. Yeah, like, I'm literally allergic to critting, apparently. Heightened verb has ending, has ended. I didn't realize it ever started. Hello, Kalyan chat. Yo, Kev, what's up? How are you? How's your weekend? Blah. Wow, when I take damage, that's so rude. All right. Do I have my ability up? I do. <laughs> I hate that I can't see part of my screen. Alright, a crit? Bro. <laughs> I don't think I've crit once with my Huta. Not not on the ultimate ability at least. Alright, all good. I didn't want her to crit anyways. I back with some popcorn. Ooh. Just like regular popcorn or what? You know what I bought at the store the other day? Um, I was talking about it on stream the other day, and then it made me like crave it. So when I was at the store the other day, I bought the the Chicago mix. You know, it's got like the cheesy popcorn, and then like the um, the caramel corn as well. It's so good. Ooh, look at my Sino go. He's so strong. What a strong boy. Yeah, get him. Ooh, these thingies. I don't know what they're called. I just call them like the triangle thingies. All right, let's see if I can not kill my Nihira. That would be super poggers. Thank God for Bennett, because I don't touch. <laughs> I literally don't. W, P w damage, let's go. Is this the last enemy? Heightened verb has begun. Well, that's cool. Where'd this guy go? Did he disappear? The audacity. Fun fact, I've yet to play Genshin to spite my brother. It's just a running gag between us. I still won't play it because I'm already trapped in other grinding gacha games. <laughs> That's funny. So what's like the... Why are you, Why is it to spite your brother? Is he like really into Genshin or something and he like really wants you to play it or something and you're just like, nah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's kind of like my sister. She doesn't really like Genshin much, so she started playing it with me in the beginning when I first started playing it. 
Um, but eventually she just kind of just stopped playing it and I don't really try to force her to play it or anything. Um, I let her know when like cool new characters come out in case she wants to try to pull for them or something. But yeah, she doesn't really care that much about the game. She plays a Destiny though. Yeah, she does play Destiny. I mean, we do have some different interests in games. Like I play Genshin and Valorant um, are like kind of my two main games, I guess. I don't know. I play so many games now that it's hard to say games are my main game. But I play a lot of Valorant, right? Um, for a long time, she was like really into Apex, actually. And but now she like she plays Destiny, she plays Overwatch, and those are kind of like her main games. She's also been playing more Monster Hunter lately. So like I don't know, we do, we have like overlapping games as well. Like we both play Apex together sometimes, and I do play Overwatch and. Um, she did re-download Valorant. She saw a, um, a cute thing that she liked in Valorant, so she re installed the game. Uh, and yeah, yeah, so we do have some overlapping games that we play. And she did agree. I asked her if she would play Phasma with me one time, because I want to play Phasma again. Um, now I have the, the heart rate monitor thing, so I would be doing it with the heart rate monitor, but I want to get four people together to play Phasma next time. So she did agree that she would play that with me one time so at least we have that uh i think i want to bring my venti low-key just like group up these bitches or maybe these guys i'm gonna bring venti on one of these teams or maybe he can be like the linked character on one of these somewhat like that he doesn't play rocket league so i don't play his genshin <laughs> keep up the great work, oh my Carly. god love your streams hey. Nine boop. Yeah, thank you, Benda. Thank you for resubscribing. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, you play Rocket League? I uh, Somebody told me I should try Rocket League, but I don't know if I would be that interested in it, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know, though. It's hard to say. Okay, who am I bringing on this team? Um, all right, let's bring back the... Oh, should I bring that? Hmm. Who should be my linked character? Bro, this linked character thing is so... It's like, who? Who should be the linked character? Probably, like, Venti or something, right? Okay, um, I will bring... I haven't brought Scaramouche anywhere. Oh, and I could also bring, like, these characters. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this is so hard. There's too many decisions to make. Uh, okay, we will do... Let's see. Okay, Venti, maybe there. Who's a strong character of mine? Oh, I haven't brought Ayato in a while. Let's bring Ayato. Um, and then we'll do Venti. Um, psh, psh, oh, God. Do I need a healer? Maybe I should bring a healer. All right, should we bring out the Jean? All right, we'll bring out Jean. I hope she has a build. <laughs> I think she usually does, so we should be okay. And... Uh, Bro, I have too many fucking characters. This is horrible. <laughs> this is atrocious. I need, like, I need to just stop pulling for characters. I have too many of them. Uh, maybe just Raiden, I guess. I don't know. Alright. Should I bring Eula? Maybe I'll bring Eula. She's one I haven't brought out. Okay, who's uh the second? So many bitches. Okay. Uh we will bring mm, maybe Yolan on this team. Oh, we'll bring Bennett. Let's bring Benny Boy. Bennett's always a good choice. And then we will bring what if I brought Scaramouche? Who would go with him? Maybe we do like something like that. That might be fun. Let's try that. And then I said I would bring Eula. Let's bring Eula and who would go well? She's physical damage. Bro, I don't know. Wait, what's in the, the third chamber? Gotcha mentality. It traps us. <laughs> it truly does. It truly does. Um... Hmm. Maybe I'll bring like Ganyu or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I've mentally I've given up. All party members' attack is increased. Increased cryo damage. Okay, we'll give that there. Plunging attack damage. Oh, that's like if I brought Shao. I didn't bring Shao. 
after you trigger a swirl reaction, all party members will deal 40% more damage. Okay, let's give that to that team. Elemental burst damage is increased by 60%. Uh, okay. Animal damage bonus. Okay, so then we'll give them crit damage and that one, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Is this the best setup? Probably not. Rocket League is fun, but I'm so far out of touch with it that I've decided that I'm just going to sit out and not have to deal with peeps telling me I suck. Yeah, that's the shitty thing. Like, if you play a game and you're, like, new to the game and you obviously don't know how to play the game because you're new to the game, sometimes people are so fucking mean. It's like, bro, relax. It's just a video game. Have you tried the card game yet? <laughs> In Genshin? No, I haven't. I haven't done the quest or anything. It's just sitting there. <laughs> Maybe I become a, a full time Genshin streamer again just so I can get some shit done in the game. I, I swear to God. Uh, the existence of a pivot opponent will enhance all other opponents. What the fuck is a pivot opponent? Their physical and all elemental resistance are increased by 50%. They will restore 20% of max HP every 10 seconds and deal 20% more damage to your characters. Defeating the pivot opponent will unleash a shockwave that deals damage to all the opponents with all their buffs removed. What the fuck is a pivot opponent? How will I know which one's a pivot opponent? How do I know? Does it tell me? <laughs> like, I don't understand what's a pivot opponent. We may never know the answer. I suppose it doesn't matter. I'll just do big PP damage to everybody and then the problem will solve itself. All good. Alright, Ayato time. Why don't you pivot these? <laughs> Guys, not everything is a D's mess joke. Uh, Alright, here. Gather up these little bitches. W Venti. W G. Not that she needs built. Good for her. Alright, die. Yo, I didn't pick my Zhongli. It's like, who even am I? Like, I don't even know myself. I'm just gonna kill him with Jean, apparently. Everything is a D's notes joke if you try hard enough. That's true. That sounds like something I would say, actually. <laughs> like, everything's a D's notes joke if you try hard enough. True. Yeah, I still don't know what a pivot opponent is, but we made it through regardless, so everything is fine. Rude. Alright, Wanderer time! He's such a fun character. Oh, I accidentally clicked his elemental skill again. Unfortunate, really. Alright. Bruh! She leaves, like, the second that I, I try to attack her. They always be doing this shit to me. Oh, you got Yolande. Get wrecked, nerd. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's so fun. He just flies around in the sky. What a fun character. Wait, where's my opponents? Oh, it's the invisible guy. He's so annoying. You're going all in <laughs> that Minotaur's cheeks, Jesus. Oh, I always prefer someone else watch the game. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I don't even try that hard at the game anymore, but like, like just like two years into the game, your characters are going to be pretty inherently strong if you've been keeping up at the game, so it do be kind of fun just doing big PP damage on everybody. <laughs> like even my, my Wanderer isn't built that well and he still does pretty good damage. Like look at him go. I think my favorite people are the people who named their Wanderer Baby Girl. <laughs> I haven't even done the quest yet to name him. I'll definitely do it on stream though. And maybe you guys can help me decide what to name him. Cause if it were up to me, I would probably just name him like Scaramouche. Like I would just name him his name. <laughs> I'm so uncreative, but baby girl. I like baby girl. <laughs> that shit is hilarious. All right, you guys want to see if I can make my Eula do big PP damage? I didn't even check if she's built, but we'll figure it out. Yo, this guy just healed. He must be the... Ooh, big PP damage. W, W, Eula, W, Eula. All right, I'm a Eula main. All right. Eula main, Eula main. Ew, there's three of these guys? Disgusting. Disgusting. All right, Pyro, Eula. 
Bro, these guys are everywhere. Get, get in there, get in there. Don't come for me, you're distracted. Get out of my face. I don't like these guys. Bro, the guy's healing, the guy's healing. I don't like it. I forgot you can do that. All right, we'll, we'll get him with the Eula. We'll get him with the Eula, all good. All good, all good. They'll all die to my Eula, all good. Oh, there's like a million of them. All right, hopefully I got the one that keeps healing. I don't know, I, it doesn't tell me. I wish there was like something above its head that would like show me which guy I'm supposed to kill. Cause they be healing. All right, where is he? he? He's over here. Bro, he just healed? I think he just healed. He's a bitch for that. All right, hopefully I don't kill my Eula. <laughs> I was like, hopefully I don't kill my Eula, and then I immediately killed my Eula. Okay, so this is the guy that's healing. Bitch! Oh yeah, I killed my Eula. Bro, he's not dead! He's not dead yet! Die, bro, die! There's gotta be a way to tell which one is like the the one that does that, right? Surely? Wow, this is... It's fucked up, man. That's fucked up, man. All right, well, we'll just solo them with Bennett. Everything's fine. Bennett solos. Gone you solos. Bro. Bro. Or kill the one healing the guy. I don't know which one it is. It's like the thing for this is like there's a, a pivot opponent that like heals themselves every so many seconds or something weird. And I don't- there's nothing like to tell which one it is besides when they heal, but when there's like three of the same guy running around, <laughs> I'm too stupid to pay attention. Like guys, 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 listen. I'm trying to fight them. I'm also trying to talk to you guys and read what you guys are saying while also trying to figure out which one of these three guys that looks identical to each other <laughs> is the- is the one that keeps fucking healing. <laughs> Bro, it's too much for me. I'm a horrible multitasker. I can't keep up with it. Yo, GTY67HDF, thank you for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. Never seen you lose these. I mean, even with all of that nonsense, I still got the, the gold, so. <laughs> I don't think the event is meant to be that hard, if even I can do that. How's the night so far, Callie? Pretty good so far, pretty good so far. I mean, all I've really done is play Genshin. I woke up late, I woke up late again today. And then I just kind of ate breakfast, drank my coffee, cleaned up around my apartment a bit, and then I just been uh, streaming and playing Genshin since. <laughs> I'm such a degenerate, bro. Um, yeah, and we're like almost done this event, I think. I don't know if there's like a little bit of like dialogue or quest after we finish this part, but I think once I finish this, then I just get the outfit. So we're almost to the Lisa outfit. And then maybe we'll just become a Lisa main, you know? Maybe we'll just be a Lisa main for a while. Run around with a new outfit and do something. I don't know what I'll do after this. I honestly thought this event would take like a lot, lot younger. The words are hard. I thought this event would take a lot longer than it's been taking, but it's not that long of an event actually. So we might be, we might be chilling. We might have time to do something else. <gasps> Yo, <and> Mia! <gasps> I want to play with Yo, and Mia. Okay, who should I use Yo, and Mia on? Um, I don't really know what Yoimi is good against. Maybe... Okay, wait. Maybe I'll use her where I can use her on two teams. Then I can have some fun with her. Um, and I'll put her with, like, Yolan or something, maybe? Oh, maybe I'll put, like, Yolan, Yoimiya here. That seems like a fun combo. And... Who else? Who else do we have? We could put, we could put like Nahida. I feel like Nahida might be fun. Um, and then we probably need a healer. So Bennett. And then who else? We either need a healer or I just put like Zhongli on this team. Yeah, let's do that. What's the thing? Elemental skills and elemental bursts deal damage to it. Okay, that's too much to- I'm not reading that. I'm not fucking- <laughs> I'm stupid. Stop making me read stuff. I just want to swing my stupid little sword and hit people and do damage and be done with it. 
Uh, okay, so we got Bennett, Nahida. Maybe we will run Sino again? Sino has been pretty fun to run. Who was in the first one? Okay, yeah, Sino should work here. Um, so we'll do Sino and... I don't know, Raiden. <laughs> I just choose these so arbitrarily. I'm only playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond here to capture my last shiny legendary that I want shiny. Ooh, bro, I still have to play more of um, Shining Pearl. I still have to play more of Scarlet, bro. I just... <laughs> So many games and so little time to play them, I swear to god. Alright, crit damage is increased. Normal attack speed is increased. Let's give that here. Normal attack damage is increased. I don't know who that's good on. Uh, hydro damage. Pyro damage. Maybe there. Elemental Mastery. Oh, that'll be good for this team. Attack is increased. Or normal attack damage is increased. Why wouldn't I just give them this? And then Hydro damage. Okay, well. We'll do that one because they <laughs> don't have Hydro damage. For real, Pokemon Days lasted one two hour stream. Ah, uh, see this is the problem. There's so many games. Like, I literally just, I swear I'd be playing a different game every stream, and I still don't have time for all of the games that I want to play. <laughs> I I also probably want to play, like, Valorant again. Maybe next week I'll play Valorant. Because, like, I haven't really been playing the game off stream, but that makes me actually want to play the game again. <laughs> it's, like, one of those things where it's, like, um, what, what's the saying? Where they're, like, oh, if you love something, set it free. If it comes back to you, like, it's it's yours. <laughs> That's like the relationship I have with Valorant right now is that I haven't been really playing it because I haven't had time to do it and I haven't been streaming Valorant really. And now that I haven't been playing it, like I want to play it so badly. Uh, all current opponents on the field are coalesced. When your character is normal, charged, and plunging attacks, elemental skills, and elemental bursts deal damage to an opponent in the coalesced state. They will also deal true damage to all other coalesced opponents on the field. This effect can be triggered once every two seconds. This effect cannot be triggered by dealing damage to constructs on the field. I see. All right. I feel ya, though I completed Pokemon Violet already. 100% complete Pokedex with 16 hours of playing it. Bro, that's not even that much time playing it for like that much. That's crazy. I can't even see what I'm doing right now. Alright, get him, Sino. Oh my god. Look at his damage. What a good boy he is. W Sino. I'm a Sino main. Sino main. Yep, mm -hmm. real. Alright. Uh, uh, I don't like dodging. Don't make me dodge. I'm a horrible dodger. Alright, we'll hit him with the Sino again. I haven't played a Pokemon game in years. Bro, that's crazy. I feel like Pokemon's like so popular lately. Especially with like the games that just came out. I swear everybody I know has been playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But like, I feel like I started it so late. I finally got around to playing it. And like, I've only played it the once on stream and I haven't really played it since. I've been doing other shit. And then I'm like, oh my God. Like I need to do it. I need to play it more. All right, let's use Yoi Mia on these guys. I don't know how she works, I'm gonna be honest. Like that, I guess. Look at her go. W Yoi Mia. What does her burst do? Does her burst do anything? Uh something, probably. I don't I don't really know. <laughs> I don't have Yoi Mia and it shows. Ooh, W Yelon. Ooh, this guy's scary. Scary. Stay away from me. Let's see if we can kill him first. No, aim at the guy in the sky. He's scary. Yeah, get him. Yeah, I don't like the Ruin Hunters. They just be like, in the sky, shooting at you. They're scary little bitches. Alright. Get him, Yoimiya! 
she Ooh, she does pretty good damage, honestly. What do they have her built like? Damn, not sign out getting the free good boy. <laughs> you don't think he deserves it? I feel like the uh I feel like he does deserve it. I'm firing my laser, bah? What are you firing a firing a laser? Don't shoot me with a laser. I've done nothing wrong. The only Pokemon game I played was Ruby Omega. That must be an older one because I haven't played that one. And I didn't really get into the Pokemon games until I was older, so <laughs> I feel like everybody else who plays Pokemon like grew up on Pokemon, but I like really didn't. I think I might have played like one of them when I was a kid and like that's it. But I didn't really grow up on it the way I swear everybody else has. Alright, Zhongli. Get him! Oh, I love Geo. What a W element. Oh my god, look at my, my Albedo. W Albedo. <laughs> Did he even do any damage? I'm like, wow, Albedo, he could do like one damage and I would be so proud of him. Like, good job, Albedo. I appreciate you. It was on the 3DS, oh my god. I had a, um, I don't know, was it a DS? I don't even remember what it was. It was like dark gray and it like had like a little flip. It flipped. That's all I remember. And I think I had one Pokemon game that I played on that, but I wasn't like super into it. Like, I, I played it, but it wasn't, like, my thing. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, was that with 3DS or was that something else? Bro, I have such a horrible memory. I, like, remember what it looked like, but I don't remember what it was called. Alright, I think we finished the event, W. We get the Lisa skin! Yeah, let's go! I think, I think we get the Lisa skin. Let me go collect my rewards. Oh, did I? W, W. Lisa skin, Lisa outfit. <gasps> Yay, we got the Lisa outfit. All right, let's go put it on her so she can look super cute. How do I close this? Oh, probably the X button. Mm, yep. Um, Is there like a quest to finish the event or is like that literally it? Gotta get rid of these notifications though. I can't stand them. Wow! Battle pass level five, bro. <laughs> I should I should play this game more. I mean I usually do, but I've just been like just been slacking. I just haven't had the energy. Alright, where's my Lisa? She's right down here. Oh god, what level is she? She's level 40. <laughs> My level 40 Lisa. Alright, what wings do we give her to go with that? I don't have the Sumeru one still. I've been slacking on that too. Okay, um... Those ones look pretty good. Those look pretty good. Yeah, I think I like the... Dragon Spine wings. Okay, I think that's what's already... On her. Damn, five. <laughs> All right, how do I level up my Lisa? Should I level her up a little bit? All right, let's see what we have. Let's build my Lisa a little bit. We'll we'll bring her out for a spin. Um, We could give her this weapon. We could take it off of my Scaramouche and give it to Lisa. Oh, it looks good with her new outfit too. Okay, let's give her the, the, the wreck, the refinement five lost pair, by the way. <laughs> This is the weapon I get when I'm pulling on the weapon banner for a weapon that I actually want. This is the one I always get. <laughs> That's why it's a refinement five, by the way. Not because I want it to be refinement five. It's because I always get it when I want something else. All right, what's the what's the Lisa build? Do I have any of the electro? What's a good build for her? I don't think I have, like, a lot of good artifacts. Maybe I'll give her... I don't think Elemental Mastery matters for her. Um... Okay, what do I have for Electro Goblets? Let's start there, because I don't have that many. Okay, so that's the one that's on Sino right now. This one... It's not on anybody right now. This is the one that she currently has. I think the best one is probably the one that's on Kaching right now. 
Yeah, we'll give her the one that's on Kaching, and then um, I don't know. I don't have a, like any of the Electro set. I think I have like a Feather somewhere. Oh my god, it's so shit though. It's so shit. <laughs> okay, do I have um one of these? Oh. Yeah, they're not very good. I guess I could give her this one. And then I can give her this. And then maybe I give her like, I don't know, uh, attack or something. The most I have is R2. Yeah, I have a good chunk of weapons though. I do pull on the weapon banner quite frequently, even though I don't spend as much money nowadays. I just, I just pull on it because I'm a psychopath. Okay, so she has a lot of crit rate. Okay, she's fine for crit rate, so... Oh, that's because she has that. Maybe I should give her a crit damage one. Oh. Yeah, that's shitty. Uh, what do I have for these ones? Crit damage. Crit rate. Do I not have a crit damage gladiator? Weird. Okay, I guess not. So maybe she will get this one and then I mean that feather could work. Honestly, I think this should work. This is okay. This is like a, a pretty, pretty decent build, honestly. <laughs> She's like level 40. <laughs> She's gonna get one shot out in the wild. What are her talents? Level one. For some reason, this is level four. Bro, I can't even... <laughs> oh, that's because she has a constellation. Right. I was like, oh. All right, so we'll put her on a team with, like, Zhongli or something so she doesn't immediately die. And then we'll go, we'll go, I don't know, do something, I guess. Why does this Genshin quest have me reading, like, two 10-page essays? <laughs> Bro, why do they do that? Like... That's the thing I that I don't like about some of these quests, and that's why I put off doing them, is because I don't want to spend like 15 million years doing a quest. Like it's just, it's so, I don't want to read, bro. If I wanted to read, I would go read. Um, okay. Is that it for the event? Like I don't have to, I, usually there's like a quest that they make you do at the end of it, but maybe not. This is the trading card. This is a trading card quest. All right, what do I have left that I should do right now? I haven't done my weeklies, but I don't know if I feel like doing my weeklies. Guys, I don't, oh my God. I need to do quests. I'll do these on stream one day, maybe. Uh, maybe. My story quests are starting to, um build up a little bit because i still haven't done yulons i haven't done sinos i haven't done nilus i haven't done nikitas <laughs> and i just got it out of times and i haven't done it uh that's your quest log yeah yeah it's not that bad i i can't tell if i'm being insulted right now or like you're like oh my god that's so many or if you're like that's not that many i i don't i don't know what what i don't know what your your reaction is for <laughs> Basically, the Belladier was around somewhere like 400 years ago. Oh, interesting, interesting. All right, should I do the the TCG thing? I haven't done the TCG thing. Is this gonna be like a long quest or or what? So the cards Sucrose received are Genius Invocation TCG cards. Why not try the Genius Invocation TCG and become a player yourself? It's not long. Okay, maybe we'll do that then. Maybe we'll do that. And we'll run around in our Lisa, our Lisa fit. Oh, uh, you know what I also haven't kept up on, which is going to bite me in the ass later, is gathering resources. Like, some of the ones that are really annoying to grab, I used to keep on top of it. Like, I would grab them um, yeah, every couple of days. Like, I would log in and just do that kind of thing. And I know there's going to come out with like a character that I'm going to want and I'm going to get them and I'm going to have to go and spend like my entire life searching for their resources. I know it's going to happen. 
Hey, Callie. Yo, Z King. What's up? What's up? Hope you're having a, a nice weekend. And I hope your week was good, too. All right. So I'm taking your word on this, Wolf, by the way, that this is not that long. If this takes me longer than 10 minutes, I'm, I don't know, blaming you and then, I don't know, never bringing it up again, probably. <laughs> Go to the cat's tail. Wait, where the fuck? Wait, bro. Where do I go to go to the cat's tail? Where is that? Bro? Wait. Huh? Oh, it's around the corner? Bro, I've never been to the cat's tail. Wait, it's here. Bro, why did I not know that this is where the cat's tail was? Oh, look, there's cats. Yo, this is my ideal bar. This is my ideal bar. You go to the bar, right? You're going out, you're gonna go have a couple drinks and there's just random cats everywhere for me to pet. There's nothing more enjoyable to me than when I'm at somebody's house drinking it or whatever. I mean, this doesn't happen that much anymore because I'm boring these days, but there's nothing more fun than going to like a house party, getting drunk, and then just petting the random cat that lives there. <laughs> I fucking love it. Damn, Callie, didn't wish my week was good. About to toast your bounce for real. Bro, I can't I can't see every message ever and wish everybody. I mean, I feel like at the beginning of the stream, I always say, you know, hi to everybody. And then I, I wish everybody had a good weekend and a good week. You know, that that covers everybody. You know, that that's everybody. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Yo, this is what the inside of the cat's tail looks like. It's cute. I like it. I would go here. If this was a real place, I would live here, honestly. Like, I don't even need to drink. I just, I'll go hang out for the vibes. Welcome to the cat's tail. Oh, it's Callie and Paimon. What a nice surprise. Like, look at this little cat in the background with a... Is that a little cat? A little hat on the, the cat? Or what? I don't know what it's supposed to be. It looks like a tiny little hat on the cat. Look at how cute it is. I want to find a TCG bar like this. Bro, I would actually go there, unironically. I would actually get into a TCG if I could go to a place like this and play it. <laughs> like, unironically. Oh, and Sucrose the Alchemist. It's been a while, hasn't it? Oh, look how cute Sucrose is when she blushes. She's so cute. Bro, I forgot about Sucrose. I haven't used her in a while. Yo, zero underscore Izanagi. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a great weekend. I'm afraid I've already told you before. Fur from the cat's tail staff is not for sale. <laughs> no matter how much more you offer. <laughs> Wait, are the cats employed? Are the cats the employees here? Wait, they pay the cats to work here? Oh my god, that's so cute. Cats with jobs. I would absolutely go here unironically. No, literally me too. I would actually go here. Like, I would spend all my time here. Like, you guys would never see me again. If this was a real place, you would never fucking see me. <laughs> you guys would be like, yo, Callie, what's up? And I'd be like, I'm at the cat's tail. I'm at the cat's tail. Again. And you guys would be like, all right, GG. <laughs> It's a cat made cafe, bro. <gasps> Wait. Oh my god, that makes it even better. So there's cat maids. There's cats. Bro, this is the perfect, the perfect place. I would literally live here if I could. Don't worry, Margaret. We're not here for that research project I told you about last time. Um Sucrose? What kind of experiment were you trying to do at the cat's tail? Yeah, I'm kind of curious now too. They have cat cafes, but do they have cat cafes where the employees are also cat mates? Like, I know cat cafes exist, guys. I, I know, but do they have cat made girls and cat made boys serving you? That's what I need is like both of those things together. <laughs> She was trying to create cat girls. <laughs> Wait, was Sucrose? Imagine. Yo, Sucrose is onto something with that. Creating cat girls. Yo, she's big brained as fuck for that. Oh, I just wanted to test out some hypotheses and I needed some materials, but uh, we can talk about that later. <laughs> Wait, what was she do? Surely not actually creating cat girls, right? Yo, Sunrise Sin, thank you for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. 
Elon was slacking, so Sucrose was trying to make it for them. Yeah, honestly, if I was a billionaire, my first priority would not be to buy Twitter. It would be to make cat girls real. Like... I don't know. I just think personally that billionaires need to get their priorities in order. But I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> cat girls already exist in Genshin. Yeah, that's true. Because I know like Diona is a cat girl, whatever. But like, if I could make cat girls, I would make cat girls. Yo, what is Sucrose, by the way? Like, she has like these little ears. What's her deal? I always forget. Or maybe we don't know. Actually, Margaret, we're here to learn more about the Genius Invocation TCG. Sucrose explains everything to Margaret. Ah, Genius Invocation TCG. We were just talking about that game. You see, more and more people have been gathering at the Cat's Tale to play, and so I thought, why not have a dedicated staff to serve the new customers? Ooh. A fox? She's got the same ears as Yai. Oh, you could be right. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything in the lore about it. I don't, like, keep up with all the lore nearly as much as I, like, probably should. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I'm just not, like, familiar. She could be a fox, actually. She does have the, the same kind of ear style. Man, well, what do I have to do to get isekai and wake up as a cat girl? Like, am I, am I really asking for so much? Like, it's like, come on. You know how many times I've almost accidentally been run over by a car or, like, a truck, like, unironically? <laughs> and I always, like, make sure, like, I always, like, jump out of the way or whatever if I have to. Um, but then afterwards, I'm like, bro, that was my isekai moment. Like, I, I just missed out on the opportunity to get isekai and wake up as a cat girl. So, kind of have some regrets there, but it's all good. She doesn't have a tail, like, yeah. Mm, true. I don't know if that matters, though. Like, she could still be a fox. Because, like, I don't know what she would be. Because everything has a tail. Pretty much everything has a tail. But I don't think she has a tail. I'm going to be honest. I haven't really spent a lot of time looking um, at the back of Sucrose. So I have no idea. I don't think she has a tail, though. Speaking of which, I believe you've already met. Hmm? Met who? You know, Prince. This is the cat's tail, after all. So I thought having a cat take care of our new customers would be a nice touch. A cat? It's... <laughs> it's the little cat with the hat. Wait, have we met this cat before? I don't remember him. Callie, do you have a tail? I do not have a tail. I do not have a tail. I know, isn't that crazy? Like a dragon without a tail. Like, who am I? I don't do I I don't think I have wings either. Look, I have no wings. Who am I? I'm like the shittiest dragon ever. <laughs> Budget dragon, bootleg dragon, fake dragon, meow. Hi Prince! This cat's so cute. It makes me want to put a little hat on my cat. I don't think my cat would like it if I put a little hat on her. I did though, one time. I actually think I forgot to post the pictures because they were on my sister's phone at the time. Um, because I used her phone, it takes better pictures. It was before I got the the newer phone that I have now. And anyways, I should go see if she still has those on her phone because I want to post them on Twitter. Anyways, so I put these like dinky little bat wings on my wish list around Halloween time. And they're like they were like ten dollars or twelve dollars or whatever off Amazon. They're like just stupid little wings. They're like cat size, dog size, and just like put on your like pet, you know, just have them wear around and look like a little dragon, right? Or like a bat. And someone bought me them off my wish list. And so as soon as I got them, I put them on my cat. My cat, she's like this little black cat. I think most of you guys have seen like pictures of my cat, but if you haven't, she's like super cute and she's a little black cat. Anyways, so they were like really cute pictures and <laughs> she didn't like the wings though. So I basically put them on her for like 10 minutes just so I could get pictures of them. And they were so cute. Like, she looked so cute in the little wings and it was so cute. So I need to go find out if those pictures are still on my sister's phone and and I'll get her to send them to me so I can post them. Because they were so cute. They were so cute, guys. I shit you not. It's like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Anyways, this just reminded me of that. <laughs> ah, allow me to interpret. Ahem. Prince says that the word customer is much too loose of a term. And we should instead refer to anyone who loves dueling with cards as TCG players. I'm sure. Is that what he said? 
bro literally said meow but apparently it was like a whole fucking essay <laughs> I love this cat. He's so cute. A little voidling. No, literally, my cat is like a little voidling. Bro, I was telling my sister today. She didn't. She didn't know that my cat did this. So when I'm trying to sleep in the morning, my my cat will like sit by my head, and she takes her little claws and she like pulls at the back of my hair. I don't really know why she does it. I think it's like either she wants like attention. Or she wants me to fill up her food bowl, even though they have, like, a whole bucket of food that they can, like, there's always food. But, you know, when they can see the bottom of the food bowl, and so they think they're going to starve to death because they can see a tiny little hole in the bottom of the food bowl. Um, yeah, I don't really know if she, like, wants attention or it's that. Um, but she just sits there and, like, takes her claws and pulls at the back of my hair. And I always joke that she thinks she's, like, a hairbrush. But it's actually, like, really fucking annoying. Because, like, you're trying to sleep and somebody's just pulling your hair, bro. <laughs> she's lucky she's cute. She's lucky she's cute. Hmm. My mistake. So it seems I haven't introduced you yet. This is Prince and Shuyun. They will be in charge of taking care of our TCG players. Ah, I'm afraid I must correct you there, ma'am. Only Prince, the strongest and most formidable TCG player of us all, is capable of providing valuable guidance to our new players. Bro, this cat is the strongest and most formidable TCG player? Damn, alright, this guy's gonna fuck me up. I'm about to lose a game of cards to a cat, unironically. The average player is incapable of grasping the subtlety and sheer genius behind Prince's every play, and he has no choice but to rely on me to communicate with everyone. I am merely Prince's lowly assistant, that's all. <laughs> Yo, this cat, this cat's on something. This cat's like the, the fucking Albert Einstein of cats or some shit. Wow, another guy who can understand animals? How can you use such a crude word as animal to describe the one and only prince? He is special and the only one of his kind. Such a remark is an insult to prince. <laughs> the cat is smarter than me, bro. Cat is smarter than all of us. It, it makes me think of... Did you guys ever watch the show? I think it was called Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? It's like that, but it's like, are you smarter than a cat? And unfortunately, the answer is probably no. <laughs> Yo, I keep saying, I said this before, actually. I want to make like a stupid little like game show that's kind of like that. But it's like, are you smarter than a VTuber? Um, except that everyone would probably be smarter than a VTuber. <laughs> Hello, yo, Julianne Nessius. Uh, hopefully you just go with Julian because I'm illiterate. Hello, welcome to chat. I hope you're having a great weekend. I don't know if you play Genshin, but I mean, if you're here, chances are likely that you play Genshin. I hope your Genshin polls and whatnot are going well. Meow. Meow. So true, Prince. So true. <laughs> I remember watching the French Canadian version. Oh my god. I, did, wait. I don't know if I ever saw the French Canadian version. That's actually, I didn't know there was a French Canadian version. Interesting. Yeah, I remember watching that show and I was like, there's no way that these kids know all this shit because, like, I was watching that show and I was trying to answer the questions and I would get them all wrong. Like, most of the time I was just getting them wrong. <laughs> I was like, there's no way that the average fifth grader is this fucking smart. I was like, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. Yes, it's just Julian. And yes, I joined because Lisa was in the title of your stream. <gasps> oh, you're just in time because we just finished the event for getting the Lisa outfit. So I have my Lisa in the outfit. We're running around with Lisa. I don't know how much we're going to see her, though, because for some reason I decided to do this TCG thing that I haven't done for months. So, but yeah, yeah, we got the Lisa outfit. It's so cute. I like I like it so much. I'm a Lisa main now, so not really, but I you know, maybe I am now. Maybe I am now. I'm not an anything main anymore. I have so many characters and I just swap them all out all the time that I just if somebody asks me who my main is, I just say like Albedo or something because that's like was my original main, but bro, I just I don't think I have a main anymore. Imagine being French Canadian. Damn. Are we insulting French Canadians? Yo, should we just start making fun of, like, Quebec or... <laughs> I'm not from Quebec or anything. I'm Canadian, but I'm not from Quebec, so... I'm fine with making fun of Quebec. It doesn't affect me. 
<laughs> you can be a Lisa main, but I am the Lisa main. You're the Lisa main, bro. You got like a level 90, like triple crown Lisa or something. C6. I better see it. I waited till 4 a.m. till the last domain opened to get the skin. Bro, that's dedication. Meanwhile, I had to force myself to stream so that I would actually finish the event. <laughs> I was like, oh, I guess we're streaming Genshin. Otherwise, I'll never do this event. <laughs> it was quicker than I thought, though. If I knew it was such a quick event, I actually might have done it off stream, to be honest. All good, though. All good. I haven't streamed Genshin in a long time, so it's nice to play the game again. Um, and actually play it instead of just logging in for five minutes and then closing it again. Oh, what's that? Shuyun, in the eyes of the common folk, I look no different than any other ordinary cat. It's a natural mistake to make, and you shouldn't overreact. Ah, understood. I do apologize. Wait, so this is not a regular cat? What is this? I mean, he does have a fancy looking hat. Sadly, not C6, but she is triple crowned and has a C2 Kagura's Verity. Ooh, I don't know which weapon that is because I don't know the all weapons all by their names. And if I don't have it, I definitely know it. But I assume that's um one of the limited weapons off the weapon banner or something. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. Besides two cons from the shop, I haven't gotten her cons. Aww, that's unlucky. You will eventually though. Like even I have a C3 Lisa. I think it was C3 when I looked earlier. And I don't think I bought her from the shop or anything. I think that's just from pulling, like, the standard banner pulls when I get them and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, you will eventually. I hope you get I hope you get your C6 Lisa someday. You'll be, like, the strongest Lisa main ever. Oh, it's Yaimiko's weapon. Ah. Oh, oh, yeah. So you got her, like, a really good weapon. Holy shit. Give me your constellation. <laughs> You can have them. I don't really use them. You can have them. If only it worked like that. Hmm. It seems he really is capable of communicating with the cat. Could this be the result of some modification to the language center of his brain? Seriously, how can he get all of that from a simple meow? <laughs> this makes me wonder. Like, when my cat says meow to me, like, are they actually saying, like, an entire sentence or something? Earlier, you want to know what I did? I thought it was funny. This was really easy to interpret from my cat because I grabbed her. I picked her up, right? She was sleeping on the couch in the living room, but I always make her come into my room and I shut the door. Um, so she has to stay in my room while I'm streaming just because uh, sometimes she'll like chase the other cats or something and piss them off. So I just keep her in my room when I'm streaming because <laughs> so she doesn't cause trouble. Oh, um, so I went and I grabbed her from the living room and as I was like, you know, carrying her back to my room, I said to her, I was like, aren't you excited to come hang out with me in my room? And she's normally pretty quiet. She doesn't say anything, but she fucking yelled, bro. This cat was like, Row! <laughs> it was loud enough that my sister heard it from her room and she was like, <laughs> I guess she doesn't want to hang out with you. And I was like, I guess not. Damn, she didn't have to be so rude. <laughs> Are you the type of person that meows back at your cat? Yes, absolutely. Sometimes, okay, I do two things. One, I either meow back at the cat. So the cat will be like, meow. And I go, meow. And we just meow back at each other. And the other thing I do is I just talk to them like they're a human being like I just pretend that they said something to me. Like I'll go, hey, how was your day? And the cat will go, meow and I'm like wow that's really great I'm glad that you did that <laughs> so those are like my two moods basically one meow back at the cat or two just have a full-blown normal conversation with the cat <laughs> I feel like everyone does that to their pet though you're right honestly I feel like a lot of people baby talk to their pets I do baby talk to my my cat once in a while but I normally just talk to them like <laughs> like they're a person <laughs> <laughs> or I meow at them. Yo, Yoimiya's band-aids. Thank you for the follow. Interesting username. <laughs> yes, it was the sacred duels of Genius Invocation TCG that formed and cemented our bond of mutual understanding. It's my firm belief that by simply playing the game, players can develop a deeper understanding, a deeper level of understanding between one another. Wow, that's deep, man. So playing a Genius Invocation TCG fosters some sort of a telepathic link between players. Yo, is playing this card game going to make me smarter? I could use it, honestly. I could use it. <laughs> hey, uh, yo, welcome to chat, yo, Amy's band-aids. 
<laughs> I like the people who have like funny little usernames like that. It's cute. I definitely do that to my sister's dog. <laughs> I like how we're all like the same like when it comes to pets like we're all just like the same it's just like I don't know like it makes no sense if you think about it like why would you talk to your cat they can't understand you and you can't understand them but like it just feels right bro it just feels right especially like I talk to myself anyways like <laughs> talking to my cat is just like a slightly better version of talking to myself really if you think about it hmm somehow Paimon doubts that no, shh, Paimon, don't doubt. I need to believe that I can play this game and get smarter. <laughs> so, if you didn't get it by this point, this whole TCG riffs on Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious, bro. That's hilarious. It was that or Yulon's armpits, people. <laughs> Personally, I would have gone with Yulon's armpits. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Or was that one taken? Bro, there's no way that one's not taken, to be honest. I feel like with the Genshin community, somebody out there has already named Yulon's armpits. <laughs> Honestly, maybe that's maybe I should change my um my alt Twitch account. I'll just change it to Yulon's armpits. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> Imagine though. Alright. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Anyway, if you'd like to know anything about Genius Invocation TCG, then please ask Shuyun, uh, who will ask Prince. <laughs> Though I'd love to explain more myself, it's time for my daily walk. I'll let Prince play a game with you and walk you through all the rules. Ooh, we're gonna learn how to play the card game. I think I'm gonna be bad at this. I don't think I'm gonna be good at this. <laughs> Wait, you externally talk to yourself or like internally? I mean both. I was talking about this the other day, I think, where I was like, sometimes I just talk out loud to myself because I don't talk to a lot of people in a day sometimes. So like if I'm, it's a day where I'm like not streaming, like the only person I might talk to out loud is like my sister. So like, I don't know why, sometimes I just walk around my apartment saying things out loud to myself. I do it in public sometimes too. <laughs> Usually not when anybody's around, but I'll just like, say something out loud to myself and i won't even notice that i'm doing it sometimes because i'm so used to it at this point um so i gotta be careful because i feel like i'm gonna accidentally talk to myself in front of people one day and they're gonna be like but like okay listen listen i'm pretty sure at this point in time if you just talk to yourself out loud in public like people will just assume you're on the phone like with your like airpods <laughs> airpods or something like I don't even think people would think you're weird anymore because they would just assume you're in a phone call or something so I have that in my favor but yeah no I just like talk to myself out loud sometimes you know why not uh, otherwise I'll forget how to talk you know <laughs> I won't really forget how to talk but I don't know it's weird if you just sit in silence for an entire day right so yeah I'll just like talk to myself and say stuff out loud to myself while I'm like cooking or watching TikToks you know just like wow that was a like a funny little TikTok. <laughs> like nothing nothing wild that I'm saying out loud to myself. Like usually just observations of stuff or like saying like, wow, that was fucked up or something, right? But it's just like, you know, so I don't forget how to talk out loud on days where I'm not talking to anybody. I don't go outside because people scare me. You're valid for that. You're so valid for that. <laughs> I I feel like okay. I don't I feel like it's always weird when I say this because I, I obviously stream. So I clearly you know like people to some extent but i'm like very antisocial. like i don't go and mingle with people if i don't have to and i i don't keep like a lot of friends because i don't really need to like i'm pretty happy just being by myself and doing things by myself so i'm very choosy with who the people are that i keep in like my close friend circle but like i feel like it's like a weird sort of a weird thing to have because i i think people assume a lot of the time that if you stream like you like being sort of like you know in the limelight of being a streamer you know you're, you're inviting other people to come talk to you and you're talking to other people for like hours and hours at a time sometimes like for like 40 hours a week or more depending on how much people stream i can't stream that much because i need to do other stuff but i would if i could and it's weird because i'm i'm super introverted i'm super antisocial too like i'm very happy to just spend all my time like alone but yeah, no, no, I um, somehow really like streaming, so <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain that to you. Um, any psychologists in chat that can explain that one? Because uh, I can't explain it, really. But what if people are eavesdropping? <laughs> 
Is this because I said I like eavesdropping on people's conversations earlier? Bro, if somebody wants to eavesdrop on me talking to myself, good for them. I'm sure I'm not saying anything interesting. <laughs> like, I literally don't say anything out loud that's like weird. It's usually just like observational stuff. Like, like if somebody like, um, you know, sometimes people like drive by on the street. You know, when people like honk at you when you're just walking on the sidewalk because they think they're funny because they're like 16 year old teenagers or something. And so somebody goes with something like that. And I'm like, well, that was weird. Like, I'll just say something like that out loud. So there's really not much to eavesdrop on. <laughs> All right. Meow. Just as a seasoned warrior can foresee the path of his opponent's sword, so too can I, as a TCG master, predict my opponent's every play. It would be improper to pit a newcomer to the art of the card against one such as myself, and I must therefore politely decline. <laughs> Bro just roasted me. Damn. Sorry I'm not good enough to play against you, my, ch my cat god. Ahem. That's what Prince said. Oh, Prince doesn't want to play with us, huh? Fine. Then Prince doesn't have to. We'll play you instead. <laughs> I can't believe I just got insulted by a cat, bro. I'm sorry, but from the day I met the mighty Cardmaster Prince, I swore an oath that my hands would live solely to hold the cards and not to play with him. I will never play another match of my own again. Bro, this guy is so serious for no reason. Like, just play the card game. It's not that deep. What a backstory. <laughs> it is quite the backstory. I'll give it that. If Prince is unwilling to play, then I guess we should look for an alternative. How about this? Diona! Oh, Diona! Oh, she's here. I guess this is her bar, huh? Everyone enjoy comforting pets. Meanwhile, my parents won't let me get one. Oh, no! That's unfortunate. Yeah, pets are nice to have, for sure. I mean, they can be a lot of work, though, so I understand like you know not wanting to get one as like a parent because you know you're probably already doing so much you know keeping up with the household and stuff so like i get it i get it but hopefully um someday you can get a pet um even if it's like after you're out on your own you can have like a pet of your own yeah they can be a lot of work that's why i keep cat uh, cats cats though i have two cats they're a lot less work than a dog i don't think i'd have the energy to keep up with a dog <laughs> at least cats spend like most of their day just sleeping and then you just play with them a little bit and then they snuggle you and then you just gotta make sure you like you know they're fed and their litter box is clean and all of that every day but yeah they're like they're still like a decent amount of work and all of that bro just basically said skill issue <laughs> he literally said skill issue and i was like damn okay yeah blah 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 what is it i'm pretty busy over here you know diona do you want to play the card game with me ulu Hmm. Why is it that every player that sets foot in here to play Genius Invocation TCG has to have a drink? Uh, don't they have any clue that the key to playing a game is the ability to think straight? <laughs> I forgot Diona hates alcohol. Seriously, games and drinks don't mix. Don't they get that? Ugh. <laughs> She's adorable. What can I say? As the tavern owner, I can't help but feel happy to hear this. Anyway, I see you've been working hard, so I thought you could use a break. So why not come over here and teach these customers the rules of genius invocation? Yeah, Diona, come teach us the card game. Games and drinks absolutely do mix. No, they absolutely do, in my opinion. I literally used to have, like, when I was in university, me and my friends would get together, like, once a week. And we would drink and play games. Like, we would literally just have game nights. And that was the whole thing, was just drinking and games. <laughs> literally just those two things so i would say that drinks and games definitely go together but i guess it depends on the kind of game but like it's a game at the end of the day like even if you're trying to win and it requires like some intellect and some skill like if you're just playing for fun it really doesn't matter it's all about just having fun so if you want to drink while you play the game then go for it i say ha 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 yeah what kind of break is that i'd rather not hmm damn okay you don't you don't have to i guess damn oh why are we letting all these loafers come in here to play genius invocation tcg anyway all it does is encourage more people to come to the bar for a drink <laughs> um maybe i i need to brush up on my lawyer but why why does she own a bar 
if she doesn't like people drinking, <laughs> like she knows she has to, people have to come in and buy drinks if she wants her business to stay open, right? <laughs> I don't know. I, what do I know? I don't own a bar, you know? Who am I to tell her how to run her business? Sigh. You know, if drink sales keep going up like this, pretty soon, Monsat's alcohol industry is going to reach new heights. See, any other person who owned a bar would be, like, happy about that. They'd be like, yeah, business is booming. But meanwhile, she's like, ugh. <laughs> Girl, looks like my first step in destroying Monsat's alcohol industry should be stamping out the spread of genius invocation TCG. Is that the logical conclusion that we've drawn here? Meow. My dear, you are quite mistaken. You said it yourself. A clear mind is necessary to win. Soon, their thirst for victory will overcome their thirst for alcohol. <laughs> Wow, that's deep. That's deep, man. I heard some competitive gamers saying that they play better when they smoked weed. Interesting. I've seen people say that, at least for, like, Valorant and stuff, they're like, yeah, like, I, I play better when, you know, I've had a few drinks. And honestly, I've played after, like, having some drinks. And, like, genuinely, I swear I'm, like, a better player sometimes. And I don't think it's because of the drink so much as, like, it's the boost in confidence. Because I know that's, like, one of my biggest issues. Like, that's the thing I struggle with a lot in games. Like, competitive games is, like, confidence. Like, I just have none. And a lot of the game is just, like, if you think that you're better than the other people, like, you probably will be better than the other people. Like, if you just swing things with confidence, like, you'll probably win your gunfights. A lot of the time and i just don't have that so drinking actually does help me a little bit in that regard but it's like a fine line because if you drink too much then you can't fucking aim <laughs> could could it really sure why not Alrighty then our two customers are waiting to learn i feel like they just lied to diona they just said whatever they <laughs> they're like let's just like convince her that you know oh wow their thirst for victory will overcome their thirst for alcohol they just said that literally to get her to agree to it like damn is it really that easy to gaslight somebody guess so huh um shuyun let's put you on drink mixing duty for now meow but shuyun is destined for a far greater purpose <laughs> Okay. Shuyun, drink mixing. Now, bro works at a bar and he didn't want to mix the drinks. Like, uh, I feel like, you know, you're going to have to do that from time to time. Being a bar bartender seems like a kind of interesting job. I've never been a bartender. I don't think I would hate it completely. Because I think it'd be interesting to learn how to mix all the different drinks. And I think sometimes you would meet, like, some interesting people working at, like, a bar. But also, drunk people are so obnoxious. Like, even even dealing with my own friends when they're drunk sometimes, like, they just get, like, a little too obnoxious, and I'm like, oh, God. So I can't even imagine dealing with, like, drunk strangers consistently. I'd be like, hopefully the tips are good or something. You can probably taste your own creations. Oh, probably. Like, especially... I don't see why not, honestly. I mean, you probably can't get drunk at work, but... I don't see why you wouldn't be able to try a drink from time to time. I honestly, I feel like what I should do is get like, you know, you can buy like books. They're like a little recipe book, but for, for alcoholic drinks. I feel like I should just get one of those and just try like a bunch of random different drinks from time to time. And then I could get the experience of being like a little bartender, but without the obnoxious drunk random people. The, the, the what? Oh, the cum cookbook? Huh? What is that? Is that the what? I'm sorry, is that a typo or did you mean to say that? <laughs> you don't know about that? Wait, is that a real thing? Um, <laughs> I'm afraid to Google it. <laughs> I feel like that's something that my sister would know about it. I just get the vibe that she would know what that is. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> no way, it's actually like recipes. What? 
And this is like a real thing? Or is it like a gag gift? Is it kind of like a meme? Like, I feel like that's the kind of thing I would get somebody as like a joke gift. But like, are the recipes genuine? Imagine the recipes are actually like bussin. Like, and you just like leave that part out. <laughs> Imagine having that cookbook sitting in your in your house. Imagine explaining that to somebody. <laughs> somebody comes over and they're like, yo, what's this? What's this cookbook? And you're like, it's exactly what it says. It's just... And then you, cause they come over for a dinner party and they see that cookbook and then they're like questioning everything. And they look at the food that you've served them and they're like, was this from the... um?" the cum cookbook and you're like why do you ask and they're like um <laughs> no <laughs> i can't believe that this is a real thing that exists imagine making something from it for a first date or something <laughs> <laughs> you bring a girl over to your place for a date, right? And you cook her a meal from the cum cookbook. And you hand her you hand her the meal, right? You're like, I made it I made it with love. I made it with an extra special ingredient just for you. <laughs> nah. And then you never get another date again. <laughs> I made the ingredients myself. <laughs> no, it's I made it from scratch. <laughs> no. <laughs> Imagine she's like, damn, that was really good. <laughs> she's like, wow, that's the best, the best meal I've ever eaten. <laughs> no, there's reviews. Wait. Guys, is it? Do you think it's a get? Is there anything inappropriate in the reviews? I kind of want to see the reviews. <laughs> but I'm like, is it something that I can pull up on stream? Or is, is Twitch not going to like it? <laughs> hey, okay, I haven't opened in like a, another tab. I'm going to see. No, oh, okay, this is so fucking funny. I'm pulling it up on the <laughs> It's an acquired taste. <laughs> All I've read so far is it's an acquired taste. <laughs> it tastes like an orgasm in my mouth. <laughs> Bro, imagine. I mean, that's what it literally is. So I guess that wouldn't be incorrect to say. <laughs> All right, let's read this review. I want to see. They actually wrote like a whole... Wait, they actually wrote like a whole review on this. All right, let's see what it says. My girlfriend and I just love this cookbook. She takes care of the actual cooking part. And I am responsible for gathering the ingredients. <laughs> Stop! This is not real. I refuse to believe that this is real. <laughs> oh, hi Yoko. Welcome. You picked an interesting time to drop by. We were delighted to find the ethnic food sections and are exploring the Asian cuisine this week. I gotta tell you though, the cream of su Samyangkai. <laughs> Wait, that's the actual name of a dish? Is not for the faint of heart. It called for a half cup of the er special sauce. <laughs> what? <laughs> she said it was divine, but honestly, I was just too tired to eat. This is not real. This is not real. This has to be a joke. This ha can't be a real review. <laughs> I mean, he might have actually been too tired to eat. Bro had to come up with half a cup of the special sauce. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> mm. 
update so it's been several months and i need to update my review because the book doesn't have any specific disclaimers i think it's important that readers be warned of potential issues the first issue i experienced was forearm imbalance my coworkers started noticing that my right forearm was considerably more defined and at least three quarters of an inch larger than my left forearm. <laughs> what is this, bro? <laughs> it's not like Popeye big, but it's pretty embarrassing. I tried some, shall we say, load balancing by switching arms for the collection process, but I find my left arm is just inattentive. Always in a hurry and not tuned into my knee. <laughs> Guys, there's no way this is real. <laughs> Inevitably, I have to switch back to the right arm to get the job done. <laughs> Does the girlfriend not help out with the um ingredient collection at all? Ever? Or... <clears throat> the second issue is I have recently been diagnosed with low T. Now, I'm not going to come right out and say this book is caused by condition, but darn it. If there were health risks with gathering ingredients for this book, there needs to be a warning label. I mean, even my aspirin bottle says, do not exceed XX number of pills per day. Can you overcook with this cookbook? We need to demand answers. I was extremely close to investigating to investing in a food truck and taking some of these dishes and a few I came up with to work sites and carnivals all over my state. <laughs> no, that's not real. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> I had already lined up several work from home employees to supplement my ingredient supply line. No, that's not real. <laughs> I just can't in good conscience ask these young men to work six, seven, eight hours per day if there is even the slightest chance of adverse effects. So the bottom line is this. Use this book with caution. Use your hands. Moderation in all things. This is the best possible review for anything ever. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm gonna keep that tabbed open for later. I don't know if I might use it for anything, but I want to read more of those reviews, but I won't make you guys sit through them. <laughs> I cannot believe what I have just read today. What an interesting... Well, we learned something today, that's for sure. All right, back to the, back to the wholesome, wholesome game. All right. Let's go through the rules. First things first, you'll be needing your deck, so place that on the table. A deck? Uh, yes. You should have built a deck, you know, a set of cards that meets the bare minimum requirement to play the game. Bro, how would we know what to put in our deck if we don't know how to play the game? Come on, get it together, Diona. Haha. Uh -huh. What's with the blank stairs? Come on, don't tell me you came to learn Genius Invocation TCG without bringing any cards. Yeah, don't you have um some we can try? Yeah, we need a practice deck. Can't you just let us use one? There's no such thing. What do you mean there's no such thing? Surely there's a practice deck for people who maybe want to play the game, but don't know if they like it enough yet. I feel like my shit posting leads to amazing places, bro. Shit posting is the best. I love shit posting. <laughs> I I have some questions though. I like I want to know where you found that in the first place. Like, how do you know about that that cookbook? You know, I got some questions. <laughs> Last time we learned about Callie's foot fetish. I don't have a foot fetish, guys. That's not real. I don't have a foot fetish. Don't listen to anything that anybody says about me having a foot fetish. That's not real. Okay, there is no foot fetish. There's no foot fetish. Nobody has a foot fetish. Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, let me think. To learn this game, you'll need at least two character cards to switch between... Oh, oh, that reminds me. A few days ago, when I was closing up in the night, I noticed a customer had left a couple of character cards at the bar counter. Haha, <laughs> maybe you could use those for now. Okay, so we're just stealing. Guys, I don't have a foot fetish. Stop telling people I have a foot fetish. <laughs> Are you sure that's okay? 
Hey, it's already between been a few days, and he still hasn't come back to claim them. Who knows? Maybe he left them here on purpose. They're probably shit cards. Honestly, if he didn't care about the cards, they're probably not good cards. You told people you had a foot fetish, though, Callie. No, I didn't. I specifically said that I I didn't have a foot fetish. You know what I'm saying? Aeneas Moralda. I don't know who this is. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle of learning the training card game. Yeah, I definitely didn't say that. I, I definitely said I didn't have a foot fetish. <laughs> There's an entire YouTube clip of me telling people that I don't have a foot fetish. <laughs> you said you liked some feet a normal amount. Yeah, a normal amount. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's a normal amount. That's not a foot fetish. That's, you know, a normal amount. Um, Moving on. All right, so now we have two character cards. That's everything we need, right? Yep, so are you ready to start? Sure. She's gonna tell me how to play the game, right? Character cards and attack types. I'm gonna forget everything she tells me. She's gonna teach me how to play the game and I'm gonna completely forget. Haha, <laughs> welcome to the world of Genius Invocation TCG. Simply put, this is a game where you control character cards to duke it out with your opponent. Pew pew pew! Sounds fun to me. Yo, this Diluc card though is fire! Yo, this Kaya card kinda... Kinda nice too. Wait, how do I get those cards? I want those cards. Once you've defeated all of your opponent's character cards, victory shall be yours. Now then, you're going to need a character on the field to start with. Oh wait, these are the cards somebody left behind? Nah, no way. Um, What does this say? Active character. Confirm your selection. Okay. Bro, I'm trying to read this, but my my um phone is in the way. Come okay, I gotta click that button. I actually like this game, it's not difficult. <gasps> Wait, do I get to keep these cards? Wait, the Diluc one is so so nice looking. First we roll eight elemental dice at the start of every round. Okay. These dice correspond to elemental energy. We'll be spending these dice to perform actions. Okay. What do I... Okay. Once the roll phase is over, you will enter the action phase where the real game starts. During the action phase, you can spend elemental dice to perform various actions. Okay. I would like the game if I had the attention span to listen to what she said. I just skipped through. Ah, uh, yeah, see, that's what I would do if I was doing this off stream. I would just like keep clicking and I would have no idea how to do it. But since we're streaming, I'm actually paying attention ish, kind of trying. I run Zingcho, Ayaka, Chang, and Freeze. Ooh, interesting. I don't know what like the meta is for this. I'm sure there's a meta. There's probably honestly people out there with like whole YouTube videos on how to be the best at this. All right. Of course, the most common action is to use character skills. Okay, what does this say? Select Luke's elemental skill. Okay. Diluc's elemental skill will cost three pyro dice. After selecting the skill, you will select the elemental dice that must be spent by default. Okay. Searing Onslaught can deal three pyro damage. Okay. Yo, what was the... Oh, Julian, thank you for the follow. I was like, what was that noise? Oh, he took three pyro damage. Banger. Use Searing Onslaught against the opponent's active character. Fuck him up, Diluc. Get him. Oh, oh, the number is like... Oh, so he only has like one... I don't know, health left? Is that health? I don't know what to call it. HP, maybe? 
Noelle is extremely OP, apparently. Oh, interesting. Interesting. How do you get more of the cards? I guess I'll figure that out when it becomes... I gotta get through the tutorial first. Let's start there. He, not bad. You just made your first attack. During the action phase, both sides will take turns making their moves. After you use a skill to attack your opponent, it's their turn to attack. Okay. Ouch! He hit me. Mom, he hurt me. And as you can see, once the enemy finishes their move, it's our turn again. Okay, so how many moves do we do? I guess until we can't do anything else? What are Omni Dice? Are they just kind of like wild cards? Like they can be anything? Now, these Omni Element... These are Omni Element Dice. They can be spent on any move regardless of the elemental type. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, so it's kind of like it can be any element. Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, you buy them with the coins or earn them. Oni dice can be anything. Oh, yo, wait, that's sick. Okay, so I can do another elemental skill. So we're going to use them to pay for the pyro dice needed for this skill. Go on, give it a try. All right, so we're attacking this guy. I guess he dies. Banger! We're so good at the game. We're literally just doing what the tutorial says. So I'm like, wow, I'm so good at the game. As if it's not like literally made for me to like win. Haha, <laughs> that was pretty good. That's one opponent down for the count. Kabam! But the game has only just begun, remember? You have to defeat all opponents to win. Alrighty, so what happens now? Because there's no more like dice that we can use. Hmm, as much as we'd like to attack again, seems like we run out of usable dice. In that case, let's end this round. So the, what do they call this? The action phase? That ends when nobody can do anything else, I guess. After you end round, you won't be able to do anything else this round. And once everyone chooses end round, we can move on to the next round. All right, makes sense. Pretty straightforward so far. Oni dice can be anything. They are the best roll to get. Yeah, that makes sense because you can kind of do whatever the fuck you want with them, which is sweet. All right, here we are. A fresh new round. Woohoo! And a fresh new round means time to roll the dice again. That's how we're going to get the elemental energy we need, after all. All right, honestly, the game is pretty straightforward. I thought it would be more complicated than this, but so far, it's... I don't know if this is like pretty much all there is to the game it's not as complicated as i was thinking it would be yay more dice rolling yes banger except we got shit rolls ew that's some terrible luck there's no way we'll be able to use dilu diluc's skill now but don't worry situations like these are why we have the re-roll option haha <laughs> oh you can re-roll um, okay, so I guess it doesn't matter what we reroll as long as it's not the pyro one. Once per round, you can select all the dice that you don't like and reroll them. Wait, I can reroll. Oh, wait, that's busted. So we can reroll all of them that aren't what we want. Ooh, well, that's better, I guess. Nice! So we have five pyros essentially that we can use. When the action phase begins, the player who first chose end round in the previous round takes their turn first. Uh, is that me? This means that since you finished the first, first the last round, you will be the first to start this round. Alrighty then, let's learn a little bit about energy and elemental burst. Oh, we can use elemental burst too. Each time you use a skill, your character will gain one energy. Oh, wait, that's this thing on the side here. Oh, wait, that's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't even notice that until she pointed it out. This game is low skill floor, high skill ceiling. Oh, okay, that's kind of good though. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like there's some people who are like really into this card game because I see a little bit about it on like Twitter and stuff. But I, yeah, I had never even done the tutorial. So I was kind of like, I don't know what any of this means, but cool. Glad you guys are having fun. I guess it's like a cool way to like 
add like an interesting new element to the game like you know for people who sort of i don't know like some people i know do like all the exploration like really quickly when new areas come out so they're kind of like nothing to do in between so i guess now they have this that they can do so that's good last round we use two skills which means that we have obtained two energy once Luke's energy is full he can use a powerful elemental burst but we're still one short never mind let's start with a normal attack instead Luke's normal attack only needs one pyro die and two other dice of any type oh wait that's cool Yo! <laughs> Big thank you for the gifted to Fennix. Appreciate it. I want a Nun Rewards Endless Abyss. What? I just want to slaughter everyone. Are you okay? Are you okay? The only reason I even do the Abyss anymore is for the fucking Primo chat. <laughs> and half the time I don't even bother with it. How's it going again? pretty good pretty good we're finally we're doing this this is my first time doing the the tcg in genshin we're learning how to do it it's pretty interesting so far i actually can't believe i waited this long to do it somewhat daily gift sub <laughs> is that a thing now a daily a daily once per stream gift sub is that a thing <laughs> good thing i only stream three times a week huh in any case your normal attack needs fewer pyro dice than your elemental skill um you can also click the skill button again to use the skill ah okay so i can just like click it again and it'll just attack the guy so my normal attack does two pyro damage i think my elemental skill did three and i wonder how much the burst does just like elemental skills normal attacks grant one energy after using them oh so now i can use my burst Ooh. <laughs> Now we have three energy, plus we have enough pyro elemental dice left over. It's time to use your powerful elemental burst. How many does that use? It uses four? Jeez, that's expensive. And it does four pyro damage? Deals eight pyro damage? Damn. This character gains pyro infusion. The character to which this is attached has their physical damage dealt converted to pyro damage. Damn, okay. Use your elemental burst to wipe out your opponent. Bro, that's so much damage. Damn, get fucked, nerd. Genshin Hearthstone Simulator. <laughs> yeah. Alright, this game isn't as complicated as i thought so that's good i mean i don't think i'm ever going to be particularly good at it but that's not bad switching characters and elemental reactions okay now we're starting to get complicated actually all right i'm probably gonna start losing it i'm gonna forget to you activated my trap card pot of greed which lets me summon pot of greed <laughs> Man, I remember watching like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh when I was a kid. I should rewatch it though, because I don't remember much of it. But I don't know. This kind of reminds me of when I used to watch Yu-Gi-Oh and be really into it, and it kind of makes me want to rewatch it. Honestly, I remember like loving Yu-Gi-Oh, but I don't know. Maybe if I rewatched it, I wouldn't love it as much. I don't know how good it actually is. It's like one of those things where you're like. You remember it so fondly and being so good when you were a kid, but like, is it like you watch it when you're an adult and you're like, oh, this is kind of mid. I don't know though. I haven't seen it since I was a kid, so it might actually be really good. Isn't Kokomi basically Pot of Greed? Bro, I don't be knowing. We'll find out, maybe. In an actual game of Genius Invocation TCG, you need to use multiple character cards to form a party. Next up, it's time for your second character card, Kaya, to take the stage. All right, Kaya time. Let's go. Seems like any move by Kaya is going to cost quite a lot of cryo dice. Guess we will re-roll all of these. Well, that's better, I guess. All right, so we have two pyro ones, three cryo ones, and an omni? Is that what it was called? I don't know, the wild card one um okay so we'll use his elemental skill it wants us it deals three cryo damage 
When you deal cryo damage, you will cause your target to be affected by cryo. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, and then... Oh, so you can use elemental reactions similar to how you would, like, in the open world. So I can do, um, like, melt or something. Good, now our opponent is affected by cryo. This is a good time to learn about elemental reactions. Different types of elemental damage affect enemies with different elements. When a character is affected by certain elemental combos, an elemental reaction will be triggered. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> you activated my trap, trap hole, to summon Gemini elves to use their holes. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much the same. Okay. So how much to make you do an entire match doing an impression of Yugi? Bro, I don't remember it well enough to do an impression of Yugi, even if I wanted to. <laughs> Let me go rewatch the fucking show and then we'll come back another day and I'll try to do it. All right? At the moment, your opponent is affected by cryo, so we should try and use a pyro skill on them. Looks like we have to switch active characters though. Oh, that reminds me. Both sides must have one active character, while others are considered standby characters. Active characters will be in a more forward position compared to the ones on standby. Normally, we can only use the active character skills. Now, if we want to use the skills of our standby character, we'll have to switch them to the active character. In this case, we'll have to switch to Deluc in order to use his skills. We can just switch to him? It's just that simple? Oh, I see. You can spend one elemental die of any kind to switch a standby character to the active character. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I was gonna say, I was like, we can't just do that like for free, right? Surely? Oh, and that counts as like our, our turn. Ah, oh, interesting, interesting. In the anime, it is basically screw the rules for majority of every plot. Savage Kaiba the best. <laughs> Bro, I want to go rewatch it now. Maybe that's what I'll... I hope it's on Crunchyroll. I think it is. Because I do have a Crunchyroll account. And I was kind of wondering the other day uh, what anime I should watch. Because I've been watching some newer animes recently. But they only have like a few episodes each, so I just kind of watched up to where they, they're out. And then I'm like, now what? And I rewatched the Demon Slayer anime. I finished, I caught up on whatever's out of the Demon Slayer anime. Because I was rewatching that. So now I'm kind of like, what next? Switching characters is an action, just like using a skill. So once it's done, it's your opponent's turn. I see. All right, good to know. So now I can fuck this guy up. Most skills can only target the active character. As you can see, your opponent just attacked Deluc. All right then, now that Deluc is our active character, it's time to use his skill. All right, what happens when you do elemental reactions? Does it do more damage? Unlike Kaya's elemental skill, Deluc's will deal pyro damage. Oh, wait, it'll do five because... So normally it would do three, I think. But because we're doing a reaction, it's going to do five? Bro, that's busted. Because the opponent is already affected by cryo, dealing pyro damage triggers the melt elemental reaction. When triggered, melt increases damage dealt by two. Ooh, okay. This is going to be hard to remember all of this. <laughs> Have you seen Black Lagoon? I have not seen Black Lagoon. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh is on Crunchyroll. Banger! Okay, that's probably what I'm gonna do when I'm not like video editing or something. I'll just, I'll just go watch Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't even know how many episodes are in that show, honestly. I don't remember. There's like quite a few, I think, though. So it should keep me busy for a while. This will allow you to deal loads of damage in one go. Haha, -ha, Genius Invocation's elemental reaction system is pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's kind of the same as like the regular game, but uh... What do you say, Diona? Black Lagoon is amazing, especially the female character forgot her name. Why does... Why does it sound familiar? Maybe somebody I know watched it and they were telling me about it. Is that one on, um... What, Crunchyroll? I assume that's an anime. A lot with a lot of seasons. Let's go! Yeah, I need something that'll keep me occupied for a while because it's really easy for me if there's only like a few episodes of something 
to just kind of like sit down and like spend a whole afternoon just like binging it. All right, next up, let's learn how to use card types other than character cards. These cards are all known as action cards. Each time a match starts, you have to draw five action cards to form your starting hand. Oh, we're getting more complicated. Oh no, and I'm stupid. It's on Crunchyroll too? Okay, okay, okay. I will have to watch either that. I don't know what I'll- oh man. What should I watch first? Black Lagoon or rewatch Yu-Gi-Oh? Gamers Forever 36, thank you for the follow and welcome to chat. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. You know, playing a little TCG in Genshin right now or like learning how to play it, I guess, since I have never played it before. <laughs> I hope you're having a nice weekend. Uh-oh, looks like we don't have any elemental dice we can spend to make an attack. Guess we'll just have to re-roll them all. Man, that's actually busted that you can just do that. All right, what did we get? Bro, still fucking nothing? Damn, unlucky. This is, this is scam. Seriously? We still don't have any usable dice? Even after that reroll? Bro, that's what I'm saying. What are the chances of that? This is rigged. Yu-Gi-Oh! for the editing anime, Black Lagoon for the eating anime. <laughs> I like that idea, I like that idea. I don't really watch anything while I'm editing though. It's usually like while I'm eating or if I've just decided I'm not doing any video editing. If I'm video editing, I will listen to music and depending on what the editing is, sometimes I'll watch like a Twitch stream or something. But a lot of my editing is like captioning the words that I'm saying or that somebody else is saying. So like I have to be able to like tell what's being said in the video. So it's kind of like hard to listen to like somebody else talk or like watch an anime. So that's why I usually just listen to music in the background. But yeah, for eating, eating, I definitely watch anime while I'm eating. <laughs> Black Lagoon is also on Crunchyroll and has 28 episodes. Oh, 28 episodes isn't that much. That's like probably the shorter of the two, so maybe I'll start with Black Lagoon. Um, I should write that down somewhere or I'm gonna forget. <laughs> no, no, I'll remember, I'll remember. I'm super good at remembering stuff. Well, never mind. Even in cases like this, we can still attack. We just need to put the action cards in our hand to good use. Don't underestimate action cards. They can grant all kinds of support and buffs to your active character. Take this one, for example. Uh, select White Iron Greatsword. So, playing this action card will require two times... Oh, it's Elemental Dice. So, yeah, that means we'll need to play Elemental Dice of the same type. Oh, so you have to use two of the same type. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Um, so what does this do? Uh, the character deals plus one damage. Only Claymore characters can equip this. A character can equip a maximum of one weapon. So you, like, equip this, and then whenever you do your other attack, it just adds an extra damage to it. Interesting. Okay. So we'll use this. Some other cards will cost you two black squares instead. The cost requirements for that are much more lenient. You can spend any kind of elemental dice. So if it's the little white square, there's two, gotta be two of the same. And if it's a little black cube, it's two of any sort. Okay. Okay. Or whatever of the same. Okay. Okay. Noted. What about Inuyasha? Oh my god, I remember loving Inuyasha too. I should rewatch that as well. <laughs> How am I ever gonna watch any new anime if I just go back and rewatch all the old anime that I used to watch? All good. Honestly though, like the nostalgia of watching an old anime is just like, it hits different, man. It just hits different. It's so nice rewatching old anime that you used to love. Cause you, you know that you're going to like it. You know, you don't have to start a new anime and wonder if you're going to like it, if it's going to be good. Like you already know it's going to be good, you know? We'll cross that bridge when we get there though. For now, just play this action card. Uh, drag this card onto the field to play it. We need to spend two elemental dice of the same type to pay the cost shown here. Uh, okay. So I guess we're using the Geo ones. It doesn't really give me a choice. Select a character to equip with this Claymore. Well, it can only be Diluc because it has to be a Claymore character. So, Okay. So playing an action card from your hand is a form of fast action. Fast actions do not end your current turn. 
so I could just like keep doing these forever theoretically I mean I think you can only have one weapon card on a character so I guess there's like a limit to how much you could do but uh comfort anime yo comfort anime hits different you know what was my comfort anime for like a really long time is Haikyuu I rewatched Haikyuu so many times and I like read the whole manga and like everything. I fucking loved it. Every time I needed to watch an anime and I didn't want to sit and watch a new anime. I didn't want to think about watching a new anime. I just wanted to like watch anime for the sake of watching anime. It was always Haikyuu, bro. I fucking loved Haikyuu. That shit hits, bro. It was the first sports anime I ever watched. Cause like, I don't know. Before that, I didn't really think I'd be into sports anime. I was like, I don't know, man. I don't really care about sports that much. Like I like playing sports to some extent but like oh bro, sports anime bro i'm like i don't know it doesn't seem like it would be very good but bro sports anime that shit fucking hits it has no business hitting as hard as it does i don't know how they do it either it's just like they're literally just playing like volleyball bro like, <laughs> but that shit feels life or death bro <laughs> Callie is very normal about Haikyuu, bro. Haikyuu is so good for no reason. I don't I don't know how to tell you. I don't know how to explain to you, but Haikyuu is just hidden. That actually, now that we're on the topic of sports anime, though, that does remind me. I wanted to watch um, Blue Lock. I think it's called Blue Lock. The, the soccer one. The soccer one. It looks really good. And I've seen it on Crunchyroll. And I keep, I keep telling myself I'm going to remember to start <laughs> I need to just write down a whole list of the animes that I keep telling myself I'm gonna watch. So yeah, I've been meaning to watch that one because I've heard really good things about it and it looks really good. And especially like I know sports anime be hidden, so I definitely want to watch it. Turned one game into a whole season. <laughs> Bro, literally. <laughs> one volleyball match somehow is like 12 episodes of the anime and i'm like how do they do that and you would think it would feel dragged out and like boring but it doesn't bro it's insane how they do it but it's so well done and it's so good Callie enjoys sports revoke gamertag yeah i like sports i don't really play a lot of sports these days um i used to when i lived right next to i used to live right next to like a gym and they had like a volleyball just like you could go a couple nights a week and just play recreational volleyball. I used to do that. It was so fun. I loved it. And I'm not really like a gym goer. I don't really like the gym because I don't know. Everyone at the gym makes me anxious. Like the gym bros. I really don't like the gym bros. I don't like people looking at me while I'm like trying to like lift weights or whatever I'm doing. Like I just want to be left alone. But for volleyball, I was willing to go and just like play volleyball with random people like twice a week. And it was really fun. Um, I used to do a lot more sports when I was like a kid though. When I was like young, I did Oh god, what did I do? I played soccer for like a decade. I did hockey for a few years when I was little. Um, as a Canadian should. <laughs> so, if nothing else, uh I at least learned to skate because of hockey. So, now I can at least skate. So, in the winter time, like if there's like skating and stuff, I can go do that for fun, which is nice cuz I do have a pair of skates. I have hockey skates lying around, so that's always fun. Yeah, so I did soccer, hockey. Um what else did I do? In school, I think I did like basketball, volleyball, hockey. Don't make fun of the way I say hockey. <laughs> fuck you guys yes yeah, so i did like volleyball i played some basketball um oh i did dance my i used to have an aunt that had she owned a dance studio i forgot about that actually and so me and my sister did dance for like a decade actually for free since it was my aunt's studio she let us take dance lessons for free so i did like all of them honestly i did this is actually i completely forgot about this but i'm like wait i did like so many i did tap dancing for a time i did jazz I did, uh, I think it was called acro or something where you do like, you kind of do like, you know, cartwheels and flips and shit kind of stuff. Like it's not quite gymnastics, but you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I did a bunch. Oh my God. I completely forgot about that. Cause I'm not really like a dancer anymore. <laughs> like I don't, I would not consider myself like uh, any sort of dancer, but I forgot that that's something that I did for a long time when I was a kid. <laughs> hockey. <laughs> guys, how do you guys say hockey? How, how do other people say hockey, bro? <laughs> I didn't realize there was another way to say hockey, bro. <laughs> so Canadian, bro. It's not. I'm just. How do? You, how else do you say hockey, bro? It's spelled 
Hockey. <laughs> I don't understand. Hockey. <laughs> Guys, I'm saying it the same way that you're saying how to say it. Hockey. I don't understand. We're saying the same thing. We're saying the same thing, guys. We're both saying hockey. <laughs> I'm getting bullied, bro. <laughs> Fuck you guys. If you guys are Canadian, you don't get to tell me how to say hockey, bro. That's our sport. <laughs> Anyways, fuck you guys. I'm playing the card game. <laughs> Do you say bagel differently too? Bagel. 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 I don't know. <laughs> When somebody tried to tell me I say um milk funny. They tried to like gaslight me into saying that um I had said milk. <laughs> They're like, you said milk. And I was like, no, I said milk. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm getting gaslit right now. <laughs> bagel. <laughs> Guys, how do you how else do you say bagel? It is bagel. Has a Canadian you pronounce it right? <laughs> I don't understand. I feel like I'm just saying things in a normal way. And you guys are like saying like I'm I'm saying it in like you're acting like I'm saying like oh let's go out in a boot for let's go for a rip but like <laughs> You're acting like I'm just saying like the most Canadian shit and I'm literally just saying hockey bro. I'm just saying hockey. It's more like bagel. I, I don't know man, that just sounds like I don't wanna have to pronounce letters that much. I don't want to just say, I mean, I also mumble um, my words a lot, so I like tend to just skip over syllables. <laughs> I don't know if that's part of like, uh, like the Canadian accent type of thing or if that's just like a me issue, but I do mumble a lot. So it's something I have to be a little bit conscious of because I just kind of mumble words and then they sound weird. A Canadian gangbang is when a chat gangs up on how a Canadian stream pronounces words. <laughs> Like, I feel like I'm pronouncing things in a perfectly normal and acceptable way. And you guys are just sitting here like, hockey, 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 hockey. <laughs> and I, I'm not even saying it like that. I'm just saying hockey. <laughs> nah, I think it's funny though. I think it's funny. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, also, do we like dad jokes here? Because I have a lot. I love dad jokes. I am the kind of person that likes all the worst type of jokes. Like, really bad puns. Like, dad jokes. Like, anything that's basically, like, makes somebody roll their eyes when you say it is my favorite type of joke. <laughs> like, that's, that's the, to me, the measure of a good joke is somebody rolls their eyes at you while they're laughing. They, like, they think it's funny, but they roll their eyes because they're, like, annoyed that they thought it was funny. That's the best kind of joke. That's the best kind of joke. <laughs> All right, all right. Simply put, you can continue to act even after playing an action card. Well then, you have your blade. Time to test it out. But wait, Diluc's elemental skill costs three pyro dice, and right now we don't even have one. Not a problem. This is where we can use a more advanced mechanic known as elemental tuning. Interesting. By discarding one card from your hand, you can convert one elemental die into the element of your current active character. So if I, yo, can I just get rid of three cards and get three pyro dice? Is that how that works? And this card isn't useful right now, so we might as well use it for elemental tuning. Okay. Drag this card to the elemental dice zone to use it to conduct elemental tuning. Select one elemental die. I guess it doesn't really matter which one I'd use. Wow, now we have a pyro die. Banger. So I've been asking around what LGBTQ stands for, but no one has given me a straight answer. Is this going to be a dad joke? I, I hope this is part of a dad joke. <laughs> Sometimes you won't be able to perform any actions you want to because you didn't roll the elemental dice you wanted. Oh well, moving on. Ingenious Invocation TCG, keeping up a constant flow of combat is much more important than the number of cards you have. In this case, well, let's just take all these useless cards and use them for elemental tuning. 
Just like playing cards from your hand, elemental tuning is a fast action. Come on, hurry up. Use elemental tuning to get yourself three pyro dice. Damn, okay. Yo, what does the little Paimon thing do? I want to see what the Paimon thing does. Rude. All right, Um. so we will get rid of this one. Select a die to transform, did I not? I thought I clicked it. That already was the joke? Oh my God, I didn't even, oh, I'm so stupid, but no one has given me a straight answer. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I didn't even get the joke, bro. <laughs> Guys, I might be stupid. No, I, I <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> bro, <laughs> that's a good one. Is Paimon this game's Karibo? Who knows, honestly. This card's really cute, though. I like it. Well, well, well. Would you look at that? Finally, we now have enough elemental dice to use Searing Onslaught. Collapse hand. Use elemental skill. Get fucked. Damn, we just one shot this poor Hillichurl. Bless his heart. He's doing his best. Victory! All right. So we learned the basics of the game. Do I remember it? Uh, not necessarily. Now comes the final part. Booyah! In a real match, you can make adjustments to your initial hand. At this time, we can select any number of cards in our hand to shuffle back into the draw pile and then draw the same number of new cards. What? Uh, okay. Select Sweet Madame and Favonius Cathedral. Interesting. I don't know what any of these cards do, but... Some of them look pretty cool. The joke was too straightforward. <laughs> I can't, bro. I can't. Oh my god. Time to just throw down random cards. No, literally. That's like, I'm like, I'm not a, a strategic player for anything. That's probably why I don't play trading card games. It's because I'm just not a straight, like, I don't do strategy. I don't really play strategy type stuff. Like, even when I'm playing Genshin, sure, you can do, like, you know, like, the elemental reactions and do, like, really intense combos and get, like, the most out of your characters and as optimal builds and optimal team comps and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I can't be bothered. I'm like, I want to use this character because they're hot and they have big boobs or whatever. <laughs> I'm just, I'm a simple woman. Once you have confirmed any adjustments you wish to make to your starting hand, both players have to select their starting active character at the same time. Oh boy, this one's a real doozy. We've got to take it out pronto. Let's see how you do this time. Remember, start by selecting your initial starting character. All right, should we make Kaya our starting character? Or should we do Deluke? Because I feel like we should use an elemental reaction, you know, like they taught us to do. For Genshin, I just spam right. <laughs> That's a good strategy if I do say so myself. All right, we'll use Kaya first. I attack first. All right, roll phase. Bro? I'm getting scammed. All right, uh, right, let's re-roll literally everything except the two Omni dice. Uh, all right, this game hates me. Confirmed. I just spam Lisa, so kind of same. <laughs> I hate literally me. I just pick a character and I just spam them. I'm too stupid. I'm small brains. Hey, look at you. You sure are getting the hang of these rolls. Now, let me teach you one last trick, free of charge. You can preview your opponent's actions. I mean, that is to say, you can read their intent. What? Um, so here's where you can see all your opponent's intentions for this round. All your opponent's intended actions for the round will be listed here in order. References to come up with effective countermeasures and easily defeat your opponents. Well then, that's the end of the tutorial. You're on your own from here. May victory be yours. I hope so. <laughs> I hope I can win. <laughs> oh my god. All right, what are these cards? So this deals plus one damage if I give it to my character. 
When a character uses a skill or equips a talent, spend one less pyro die. What is this? I will probably give this to Deluke when he's my active character. What's a talent? Do I have a talent? Convert the elemental dice spent to Omni element times two. Uh, okay. Okay, so none of these cards I don't think are useful for Kaya. So... Should I use one of these to, like, convert some dice to something? Wait, what does this one do again? Convert the elemental dice spent to omni element times two. Wait, let me see. Elemental tuning cryo. Oh, I see. Okay, no, I don't want to do that. Wait, what do I want to do? I guess I just attack with the omni dice? Bro, what? Okay, this will hit him with a... No, this doesn't even give cryo damage. Bruh! This game is so hard. <laughs> Don't tune Paimon. Ayo, is that Clee's mom silhouette? Oh, maybe. Um... Okay. Wait, what is... Hmm, should I convert something to a cryo die? I'm gonna do it. I don't think it's that serious. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Callie, what happened when the blue ship and the red ship collided at sea? Their crews were marooned. Oh my god. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. Alright, we're gonna do uh, cryo damage. Absolute banger. And then, ideally, I will switch to Deluc. How do I switch a character? Uh, yes. Okay, I think I, I got I got the the plan in mind. I've got the plan. All right. So, what was this one again? When a character uses skill or equips a talent, spend one less pyro die. How do I use this again? Uh, I will equip Deluke with it. And then I want to equip... Oh, it took a couple dies to do it. I see, I see. Ah. Oh. I forget. <laughs> I forget how to do everything. Okay, okay. Um, I can do a normal attack or no? No, I don't have enough to do anything. Um, oh wait, I could convert. Should I though? Which one? This one. Maybe. Yeah, we're gonna do that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing what I should be doing, but I'm gonna do it anyways, because I feel like it. What's the difference between a guitar and a fish? You can tune a guitar, but you can't tune a fish. <laughs> I can't. I can't row. All right, we can end the round now. All right, I think I'm doing pretty well, okay? Wait, wait, wait. There's one more thing I almost forgot. Every time you hit an end phase, you get to draw two cards from your action cards pile. Remember, you have to make use of both your elemental dice and your action cards to win. Uh, what does the sweet madame do? I bet Kaya would make these jokes, bro, probably, to be honest. Alright, um, I'm gonna reroll these four. Pyro dice, I beg. All right, well, I got one. That's something. Okay, how long does this artifact thingy stay equipped? It looks like it's still there, which is a banger. Um, can I... What does this do? 
When a character uses a skill or equips a talent, spend one less cryo die. Oh, okay. So that'll go on Kaya eventually. What does this one do? Heal the target character for one HP. Okay, I don't really need that one just yet. All right, so I guess I will just use Deluke's ability, elemental skill, I guess. Pay to Pyro. Did I not? Am I stupid? Look at me go. I'm so good at the game. All right. Your opponent declared... What did he say? I don't know what he said. Okay, what does this require? Wait... I want to use my elemental burst, but I don't. Well, that's fine. We win anyways, I think. Get fucked, nerd. God, I'm so good at this game. I'm actually insane. Kylie looked like me when I was learning the cars game in the Witcher. I've never played any of these, like any card game. So I'm not familiar. Like there's nothing for me to reference it to either. So it's like completely new to me. So I'm just sitting here, I'm like, hmm, wait, what were the rules again? <laughs> Yo, I figured it out. I mean, I think they make it easy so that you can like actually win. So I don't think I was ever meant to lose. Genius Invocation TCG is a tightly paced, heart stopping table top card dueling game. Utilize your decks by constructing them around character and action cards and go toe to toe with various opponents at the table. They make it sound so intense. You will roll eight elemental dice at the start of each round. After throwing these dice, you will have a chance to choose any number of elemental dice and re-roll them. Each elemental die is eight sided and can roll any one of the following uh, eight elemental attributes, cryo, hydro, pyro, electro, animo, geo, and dendro, as well as the omni element, which can be regarded and used as any basic element. Various types of action require elemental dice as payment. This is just a review of what I just learned, which I think I remember the gist of it anyways. Yeah, I'll just, if I ever play this again and I get confused, I'm just gonna Google it, honestly. <laughs> like, there's no way I'm gonna remember all of those details anyways. All right, cool. Those are the basics. Did you get all that? Nope, definitely not. But thank you. What we just played was an adventure challenge designed specifically for new players. Genius Invocation TCG can be played in dual mode where each player brings three character cards or an adventure challenge mode with a fixed deck for each challenge okay can you play like other people like actual other people like pvp with the tcg i can't remember if that's a thing i i think it would be but i don't know but the rules are all the same as long as you understand the basics then you should be able to take on any of those rowdy booze hounds <laughs> Although I feel there are still many details to grasp, I think I understand the basic premise of the game now. Yeah, you can, yes. Oh, there is PvP? Bro, I know if I did PvP, I would just get dunked on. <laughs> probably everybody doing like the PvP in the, the TCG in this game is probably like so good at it because they like actually are interested in it. I feel like if I tried to do it, I'd just be confused and I'd just get dunked on. To be honest, I never noticed Sucrose's ears. No, I literally, they're so hard to notice because they blend in, like, almost perfectly with her hair. Like, it almost just looks like part of her hair. So, like, it's really easy not to notice, honestly. What? What? Oh? When did you get here? Oh, hey, Deluke. I stepped in while you were in the middle of your explanation. I hope I didn't dampen the mood. Yo, Deluke's here. What's up, Deluke? Uh... <laughs> no, not at all. You snuck in without making a sound. Yeah, he's quiet. He's sneaky. Anyway, what are you doing here? Yeah, why is he here? Uh, a game and a game are always either ways too easy or way too hard to understand the first time. It kind of makes sense. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's, I just I just think everything's confusing. But maybe it's just because I've never played a card game like that before. So, like, everything is so new. Like, it's just completely new to me. So, it's, like, confusing for me. But I don't think this card game is actually very difficult. I mean, at the, the base level. I think it's, like, a pretty simple game. But, yeah, I think somebody said earlier that it's, like, a low skill 
I don't know, like low entry skill, but also like there's like a really high sky uh, ceiling, really high skill ceiling. Bro, words are hard. Why am I? Anyways, yeah. So like it's like relatively easy to get started, but there's also like a lot of potential for what you can do with it, which is like pretty good, I guess, for a game like Genshin where there's like such a like a wide range in the player base, basically. Makes sense. The cat's tail is a player in Mondstadt's alcohol industry. Naturally, you have some collaboration with my winery. I'm here today to discuss a few items of business with Margaret. Too bad she just left. But if you head off right now, you might still catch up with her. Never mind. It's nothing urgent. In fact, I think I'm now more interested in this card that you're using to teach them the game. <laughs> he's like why why am i on a card low investment yeah low investment deluke about to microtransaction the blue eyes <laughs> yo what's the what's the card name it's like um blue eyes white dragon or something <laughs> that's like the one thing i remember from uh Yu -Gi -Oh. wait this card it's deluke's character card bro this card is so nice like, this, like, looks really good. Like, everything about this card, like, Luke himself, like, his hair, like, the background, like, it's such a good card. Although I have some degree of experience with Genius Invocation TCG, seeing this particular card is a first for me. Uh, a customer left it behind a few days ago, but he wasn't even playing the game while he was here. <laughs> so this guy showed up, didn't play the game, and left his cards behind? That's suspicious if I do say so myself. Say bye-bye to Exodia. <laughs> you can actually get animated card scans? Wait, that's sick. How do you get those, though? I guess you probably have to grind something for it and it's like do i want to commit to grinding something or do i not probably not but maybe it's something i can do on stream from time to time at least oh and what sort of customer was he uh he wasn't wearing an eye patch okay wait why would he be wearing an eye patch am i missing something he had a light complexion and a super serious look on his face he wasn't much of a talker and looked like he was just drinking his worries away. Hey, never seen him around here before? Interesting. He had an eye patch? Or he didn't have an eye patch? He had an eye patch? I thought it said he didn't, bro. I'm illiterate. <laughs> I'm actually illiterate. <laughs> That's Kaya. Wait, it was Kaya? God, I was trying to give the opposite description, but I just ended up giving it away. Sorry, guard captain. So wait, she did say that he didn't have an eye patch. Bro, she's such a horrible liar. She literally made it so obvious. She's like, just for no reason, mentioned that this guy doesn't have an eye patch. Like, yeah, most people don't have an eye patch. <laughs> like, you literally could have just described him any other way without ever mentioning an eye patch. And she's like, no, he definitely didn't have an eye patch. Like, what? That's so suspicious. Don't worry. Somehow, I don't think he'll be giving you any trouble over it. So, what about the Duluth character card? I don't mind. It's just a card with my image on it. It's a nice card. It's really nice. It makes him look good. Callie, what did the seal with one fin say to the shark? If the seal is broken, do not consume. <laughs> Where are you guys getting these jokes? You're just like Googling dad jokes and then like typing them, copying and pasting them into chat or what? <laughs> literally, if she called him pale, I'd never guess Kaya. Yeah, literally. If she just said like, he's, he's pale. It was a random pale guy. Like that's literally all she had to say. She could just say some, I don't know, some random dude. He was like pale. Um, he, yeah, I'd never seen him before. Like literally just like the most vague description possible and just mention it was like a pale dude. Boom. Not Kaya. Damn. Could be anybody else in Monstat, but not Kaya. <laughs> I didn't expect a Luke to be familiar with Genius Invocation TCG. The game has been catching on lately. It's hard to go anywhere without hearing it mentioned. Every now and then I'll sit down and play a game with the customers and Angel share. <gasps> so Luke knows how to play. I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> what in the Yu-Gi-Oh? Literally, if she called him pale, I'd never guess Kyle, yeah. All right. 
Jesus. I was hoping we could play a game, but this issue of someone leaving a character card with my image at the cat's tail is very intriguing. It's getting late, and someone has some explaining to do. We'll have to... We'll have to have that duel another time. Aw, oh, man. I wanted to duel Diluc. Good. Then I'll take my leave. Bye, Diluc. Thank you for visiting, Diluc. You know where the door is. Don't let the door hit you where Lord Barbados split ya. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's such a funny little saying. I've heard people say that before. Not like Lord Barbados, obviously, but I, I think that's a funny way that they decided to word that. <laughs> we can duel him. Yo, wait, do I get to duel the characters in this game? I can like go around challenging people to duels or what? Uh-oh, guard captain. I hope Kaya will be all right. Well, now that we're familiar with the rules, why don't we try playing a game of the Genius Invocation TCG? Ooh, are we gonna play somebody else? Bro, I didn't think I was gonna spend this much time playing the TCG. <laughs> I mean, it's my fault, I keep getting distracted. Challenge random children to boost your ego. Yo, go out on the street, just challenge some like little kids. Like, yo, kid, I challenge you to a duel of the Genius Invocation TCG. <laughs> just like dunk on some kid and they just like start crying and they go running away, crying to their mother. Like, I would do it, honestly. I would, I would beat some kids in Genius Invocation TCG. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Ooh, two new players having their first ever duel. Haha, <laughs> this sounds like fun. Wait, so am I gonna duel Sucrose? But in order to play an official duel, you'll need to have three character cards. Remember, a complete deck has to have three character cards and 30 action cards. Got it? Damn, that's a lot. Then let's use my cards. These are mixed in with all the others I had received, and I didn't know what they were for at first. But now that we've learned the rules, I can see that this one must be the Sucrose character card. Oh, there's a character card with Sucrose. Now, it looks like we each have the Kaya, Deluke, and Sucrose character cards, so why don't we have our first duel? All right, should I do it? Do I win these? For a deck, 30 cards is actually really small. I guess that makes sense. I just don't know where you get the cards from, so to me it's a lot. I'm like, oh my god, 30 cards. Where do you get 30 cards? Yeah, fuck them kids. That's what I'm saying. Alright, so we have the same character cards. What does Sucrose do? Okay, this is my starting hand. What does this one do? Um. Oh, this is like the one that I use, but it's for Animo. Um, what's this one? Create Omni Element times two? I feel like this one's useful. I just don't understand how. Choose one summon on the opposing side and destroy it. I don't know what a summon is. Do any of these have summons? Paimon is really good. Yeah, Paimon looks really good just from reading it and just from like little, very little knowledge about the game. It seems good, but I don't really know how yet. Um, I think I, I don't have, need a spear. None of my characters are spear characters. And I don't really understand this one, so I'm just going to swap them. Basically, you pay three of one thing to get four of anything? Bro, that's actually busted. What the hell? Okay, what do these ones do? I didn't get the chance to look at them. Unlike the adventure challenge you tried previously, duels are true tests of strength between two players. In a duel, your opponent can also use action cards, and they will also be able to grab new cards during an end phase. At the same time, your opponent must also spend elemental dice to take action, so you will never be... You will be unable to view their intent. Are you ready? It's time for some exhilarating fights to the bitter end. Meowza! <laughs> Alright, do you think I win these? Um, okay, which character should I use first? What does Sucrose do? Wait, let me double check the cards that I drew. I can heal my character for 2 HP. Oh, this one's not going to be useful to me. Okay, good to know. Okay, don't we like... Roll the die first. Hmm. Okay. Um. I haven't used Sucrose yet, so I'm gonna make her my active character. I think. Maybe. 
The target is forcibly switched to the previous character. Wait, that's interesting. So maybe I'll save her for later. Okay, maybe we'll start with Kaya. Bro, I'm not- I'm too small brain for this game. <laughs> I'm like hurting my head. Oh, wait, this is a good- this is a good roll. Um, here, let's reroll... this one? Wait, should I reroll some of these? Because I started with Kaya. So maybe I should reroll some of these. I think. I'm not really sure, honestly. Well, I don't know. I hope I did the right thing. Because I think... Oh my god, I can't remember. I can't remember the order of things. All good. We'll figure it out. All right. Um, okay, are any of these useful to me right now? I don't think so. All right, so we will simply do... Can I do his elemental skill thingy? Yeah, so I think we do that. I guess we do it to Sucrose? I don't know if it matters. I don't know who to attack first. I don't know anything about the game. Oh, I don't have any of those like... Oh, I wish I had like an artifact thingy. Ow! Oh, it was only one damage. That's fine. Okay, um... What can I do? Mm, do I want to switch to a different character? Yes, I want to switch to Deluke maybe. Wait, I should have kept the pyro dice. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. Okay, wait. I think I fucked up. Um... <laughs> I think I made a mistake. Oh well, that's fine. I have learned from this. I didn't learn anything. I'm gonna fuck up again. <laughs> okay, um... In that case... Honestly, I might just end the round. I think I fucked the round when I did that. I think I fucked up. I think I lost the game. Unlucky GG go next. All right, never mind. <gasps> Wait, what's the Noel card? Wait, it looks cool. I want to see what the Noel card does. It's pretty. Okay, so we've got. We'll reroll these ones. Give me Pyro. Well, it gave me one, which I think is good because I need that. Um. Okay, which is my active character, Kaya? Oh, I didn't switch it to Luke. I'm stupid. All good though. All good. All right, we'll do... Wait, let me check what these cards do. Uh, oh, I want that on my Kaya. Obviously I want it on Kaya. Who else am I gonna put it on? And what does my Noel card do? The next time you perform switch character, this switch will be considered a fast action instead of a combat action wait how do i play this does it just go anywhere it's just oh wait that's sick because then i can switch to my deluke and it doesn't count as like a wait that's a that's a sick card okay so we will i guess just use kaya since he's out and we'll use those boom bam get fucked and then when i switch to my deluke it won't count as my whole turn i think is how i understood that to be which is like, that's sick. Switch, selected character. Okay. Uh, and let's see. Um, I can't use this for anything, so I'm gonna use it to tune this die. Banger, look at guys, I'm so good at the game, bro. I'm so good at the game. Oh, this is the active character now, bro. I want, I want Sucro, bro. There, I'm getting trolled. I'm getting trolled. I'm getting trolled. So there's a card in this that is good. Jade Chamber. Basically, if you play it for the next roll phases, two of the dice are guaranteed to match the type of your active character. <gasps> Wait, that's sick. Okay. Um. Let's see. Should I? What should I do? I guess I could switch a character. No, I can't because I need to use a die. Okay, I guess I can't really do anything now then. I don't think. Um, I don't think any of these are useful to me right now. 
When action phase begins, create two Omni Element. Yeah, I don't think I need that just yet. I don't know. We'll see. I'll use that when I need... I don't know. Die, I guess. All right. Banger. Ooh, the Yai card is pretty. All right. I attack first. Sick. All right. Give me... This is not what I wanted. <laughs> um, okay, wait. I'll keep that. And I'll reroll these. Come on. Give me what I want. Bro, I'm getting trolled. Unlucky. Okay. Um, wait. Let me see. I want to use this card. Okay. I think I... So like these three. I hope I did this right. Play three same element. Oh, they have to. Okay, I have to choose three of the same element, and then I can turn them into the Omni dice. I see. Okay, what does this one do? Shift one artifact equipment card that has been equipped one of your characters to another one of your characters. Okay, that's not really useful to me because yeah, I don't know. Uh, when a character uses a skill or equips a talent, spend one less Hydra die. Okay, that card's not really useful to me either. Um, okay. Let me turn... No, actually, that's not what I wanted to do. What do I want to do? I guess... Bro, what can I do? There's not, like, much I can do. I guess I could switch to, like, a different character. Like, cause I, then I can use sucrose or something. Um, so maybe I'll do that. Bro, <laughs> this game's trolling me. Remember, this is the starting deck. It's not the most powerful. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I don't know what's going on yet, so it doesn't really matter that much anyways. This takes three. Okay, wait, let me turn. Okay, so I don't need this, right? So let me just get rid of that and I don't think this one was useful to me either uh you know what I'll save that one because I might use Kaya after okay so we're gonna use this I guess wait it did damage to the other characters wait that's sick Wait, that's busted. Okay, um... Can I use Kaya's Elemental Burst? How much does his thingy take? I think it, I can't use it yet. Wait, maybe I could actually. Okay, let's switch to Kaya with this. And then... I don't know if I have enough for his burst. Oh, I do! Wait, that's a banger! Yeah, look at this. Wait, I'm going crazy. It's swirl. Wait, that's crazy. That was sick. I have to read more about what these cards do. Um, okay, I think that's all I can do. Yeah, I can't. I literally, I have no dice. I can't do anything. <laughs> I was like thinking real hard about that one. All these cards are really nice though. They're like really pretty. I really like the art that they dumped for them. All right, give me something good. Okay, that's not really what I was going for. All right, well, I guess that's something. The art is so nice. The art is so nice. Okay, what was the this card? Draw two cards. Oh, that's sick. And what was the other one I got? Oh, it was the Rosaria one. The next time you perform switch pair character, spend one less elemental die. So then I just don't spend. I should put that out there. And what was this one? Draw two cards. I guess I should just use that. Oh, wait. Do I have to use a, a die for that? Play card strategize. All right, sure. I'm down. L fuck me up. Let's see it. All right. Choose one summon on the opposing side and destroy it. I don't know what a summon is. I don't know what that is. Okay. Um. Okay, so I'm on Kaya right now. What can I do with Kaya right now? 
I can do his elemental skill. Sure. I guess we'll just kill Sucrose. Bye, Sucrose. Darn, I didn't factor that into the equation, bro. She didn't factor in that I'm super good at the game. <laughs> I feel like they just, I feel like this is like the easiest mode possible. Like, if I was actually against Sucrose, I would lose for sure. No doubt about it. Um, okay, so maybe I switch to Sucrose. Switch selected character to active character. Okay. Wait, what? Switching to her did damage? You can tell I don't understand what the fuck is going on because I'm like surprised when anything happens. Um, okay, so I have some cards I don't think I can use. I don't really know what that does. So I will do some elemental tuning. Um, how much do I need for sucrosis thingy? Three? Yeah, that works. Yeah. All right, fuck him up, Sucrose. Damn, Sucrose goes crazy. You win these? Bro, I hella win these. I'm amazing at the game. Her elemental burst is ready, but I don't think there's really much else I can do. Um, oh, wait, I should have equipped this on my Sucrose. Damn, that's my bad. Um, heal. No. Okay, I think my turn has ended. I think I've done what I can do. All right, you think I win on the next round or what? Oh, that Paimon card is so cute. I love that little Paimon card, that was adorable. Use those tuner monsters to synchro summon. Bro, nothing you're saying makes any sense to me. <laughs> Literally nothing. Okay, I think I still have that card where I can turn like three of these into like Omni dice or something. So I think I'll just keep three of the same if I remember it correctly. Watch me, I misremember it and like, I fucked that up. Um, which one was that? It was this one, right? Ouch, fuck off, Kaya. Okay, I think it was this one. Did I use it correctly? I don't know if I used it correctly, because I'm confused as fuck now. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. All right, whatever. I'm using Sucrose's thingy. Wait. Hmm. Yeah, I don't understand what I just did. Now the next two turns you get two Omni dice. Wait, dead ass. That's how that works. Bro, I'm confusion. All right, we're using the elemental burst. Die. W, W. Haha, <laughs> Deluke died. Oh my God, I'm so good at the game, bro. I barely know what's going on. <laughs> I barely know. Um, is it my turn again or are they going? Oh, they ended their round. All right. Um, what is there? Anything I can do or what? I can heal my character. Oh, I'm, I should have put this on my character. Unlucky. What was this one? Oh, I could have equipped that. Oh, I'm a clown. All right. I guess I can't do anything. Yeah, I guess that's it for me. All right, one more round, hopefully. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I don't, I don't entirely know what's going on right now. Oh, but I won, bro. I'm just so good at the game that I don't even, I don't even have to try, bro. I don't even have to try. It just, it just comes so naturally to me. <laughs> I don't understand what just happened. I thought I was gonna have to play another round. Um. We take those though, we take those, I guess. I can't believe I lost when we had the exact same character cards. There must be more complicated than I first thought. The the rules must be more complicated than I first thought. No, I'm just simply I'm just simply better, you know, I'm just the best that ever was. <laughs> me me winning against an NPC like once and I think I'm good at the game. <laughs> I definitely would lose in PvP, 100%. Every decision is a difficult trade-off in this game. If there was only a way to transplant the arms of the two standby characters into the active character's body. What in the... Alchemy? That's not how the rules work, Sucrose. Don't be a sore loser. That kind of thing is looked down on in TCG circles. 
Oh, no, I know I'd be a, a sore loser. I'd be like, fuck this. This game is rigged if I lost. Oh, I'm sorry. I was beaten fair and square. I know that. I just can't stand losing. I mean, nobody likes to lose, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm sure there's people out there where they're like, oh, you know, like, I'm happy just to, you know, be playing the game or like, blah, blah, blah. And they don't like care if they lose. Nah, couldn't be me. I want to win, bro. I'm competitive as fuck. <laughs> Diona isn't wrong. No, she's not wrong. But it was a fun match. You went easy on me. She definitely went easy on me. There's no way I would actually win against Sucrose if she tried. Paimon didn't know you could get so competitive, Sucrose. I always get a little upset when I lose. Yo, Sucrose is valid for that. Me too. In competitive TCG environments, you can actually get penalized for that. Oh, really? They take it that seriously? I mean, that's good. Because, like, yeah, it's like... I mean, you know, being upset that you lost is, like, whatever. But, like, I guess being, like, a sore loser is, like, a whole different thing. Like, you know, actually, like, saying anything about it. Like, if you lost, you lost, bro. Like, especially, like, there's, like... Isn't there... There's, like, an element of luck and an element of skill in these games, right? So it's kind of, like... Like, sometimes you're just gonna get, like, a little unlucky or, like, whatever, so... Sometimes you're just gonna lose, like, even if you're, like, the best player. I think that's how it works. It's like, when you're drawing cards and stuff, like, if you get shit cards or, like, shit dice, there's only so much you can do. Hey, Callie, how's your day slash night going? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. We've just been playing Genshin for the last, what, four, four and a half hours? Which has been pretty fun. I'm catching up on some, some stuff, which has been nice. I slept in real late today, so that was a banger. I actually kind of feel bad about that, actually. <laughs> I always feel guilty when I sleep uh, too late into the day, and then I'm like, oh, shit, like, I'm a waste of space. Uh, you lost me at alchemy and experiments, but I'm pretty sure it's normal to feel that way. Playing cards is no different. Each game you lose makes you want to win the next one to settle the score. And the desire to win pushes you to improve your strategy and build a better deck. Ooh. This almost makes me want to get into, like, TCG games, but I don't, I don't think I can afford to be doing that. Wait, how am I AR58? Now, AR58? What are you, a virgin? <laughs> I'm literally AR60. I'm such a... <laughs> I'm like the most virgin player in the game. Seizing victory through a winning combination of luck, skill, and experience is where all the fun of genius invocation lies. But what if you keep trying and trying and never win a single game? Okay, well that's a skill issue at that point. <laughs> if you play this game repeatedly and you never win once, I think that's just a skill issue at that point. Sounds like a nice day. Yeah, I mean, it's a, like stream days are always a nice day because I feel like um, I usually like sleep in a bit and like I might edit like a little bit of like videos or something, but sometimes I'll just like chill and watch like a little bit of anime before stream or like something like that. So yeah, it's, stream days are usually like my favorite, honestly, because <laughs> I, I usually use like the fact that I'm streaming as an excuse not to do like other stuff as much. Um, because, yeah, it's, like, the end of my day is when I'm streaming, right? So I want to take, like, a chance to do something chill in the middle of the day. Whereas normally, I would just spend my, like, whole middle of my day just doing, like, productive stuff. Like, out cleaning, editing videos, like, whatever it is. Um, whereas this, this when I have stream days, I just kind of chill a little bit in the middle of the day. Which is kind of, like, a nice break. <laughs> Imagine Callie calling someone a virgin. What is that virgin corner even for? <laughs> Yo, I, I spread out the virgin corner a little bit, though. I did. I, br I broke it up a little bit. It was getting, like, there was so many plushies in that corner of my bed that every time I had to, like, wash my sheets and, like, change them out, like, it was so obnoxious. So what I did is I moved them around. So I have, um like, some of my plushies in different areas now. So, like, I have, like, these little boxes, I guess. I don't know what to call them. They're kind of like a cat tree. Or you can, like, stack them on top of each other and make them kind of into, like, a... a makeshift cat tree they're just little boxes though with like holes and shit in them um but i have some of those in the corner of my room like behind my bed or at the end of my bed and i put a couple plushies on there there's still a couple on my bed a couple of them are like in these little baskets in my closet now yeah they're just spread out a bit more so it's not like as hardcore of a virgin corner anymore guys <laughs> It's still a little bit it's still a virgin corner but it's it's a little less virgin-y <laughs> It's still a virgin corner, though. 
Hmm, you make a good point, Yona. Besides, you're gross. You're already making great progress. It'd take at least eight of our regular booze hounds to match your level. You played well this last match. Yeah, just go against some of these booze hounds and you'll feel good about yourself. There you go, problem solved. So now it's the virgin tree. <laughs> no! <laughs> Guys, you know, you know I'm not actually a virgin, right? <laughs> Real and true information, guys. I, I promise I've had so much sex before. <laughs> like, real and true information. I don't know how I would even prove that to be true. It's not like I have, like, a sex tape. <laughs> you guys just gotta trust me. You guys just gotta trust me. <laughs> I know, I know I have a virgin corner in my bed full of plushies. I know I play Genshin Impact. I know I play Valorant Ranked. I know I'm a VTuber, but guys, I promise you, I've had, I've had sex before. I just, it's real, guys, I've had sex. <laughs> I feel like, like, nobody believes me. <laughs> I feel like nobody, everyone thinks I'm, like, some, like, 30-year-old virgin or something. <laughs> X to the fuck you guys. You know, I wasn't always a VTuber. I wasn't always a gamer, guys. There was a time before what before I was like a VTuber gamer person where I like went out, bro. I, I talked to people. I had sex. <laughs> I get mad sex source, dude. Trust me. I know that's what it sounds like. <laughs> Guys, I, you know what? Fuck you guys. I don't need you guys to believe me, you know? I I know that it happened and that's all that matters. <laughs> I don't need you to believe me. You guys can think that I'm a sexless virgin all you want. It doesn't doesn't matter to me. It doesn't change anything. <laughs> I don't I don't need to be like I'm not like one of those dudes who's like, I'm an I'm an alpha male. I get so many bitches. Like I don't need anybody to validate me. Okay. <laughs> I know, I know the truth. I know the truth and that's all that matters. All right, we're playing the fucking video game. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Good, having fun is the main thing. If you ever want to play again in the future, feel free to come by the cat's tail. Uh, but don't expect me to play with you. Uh, I just mean this place probably has the right atmosphere. I'll definitely be back. So can you just like come here and play the the card game anytime you want or i don't really know how it works maybe when i'm bored i'm just gonna play the trading card game who knows um all right i think you should have the basics down by now i need to get back to bartending shuyun's likely been busy making this tavern more popular with his delicious cocktails fooey 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 we can't have that yeah we can't have my bar doing well we can't possibly <laughs> She's so interesting. I know the truth, and that is what matters. I know the truth, not I know the truth, you know? I know the truth. I That's all that matters. How did we end up here? Um, I don't know. I never understand. I don't know, man. We always end up on these, like, weird tangents, and I never remember how we got here. Like, earlier, do you guys remember earlier when we went and read an Amazon review about a, a cookbook um, with cum? <laughs> like, what, what is it even going on? Imagine you're just browsing the Genshin Impact category on Twitch looking for a new streamer to watch, right? And you come into my stream during one of our random instances of doing whatever the fuck that we're doing. <laughs> talking about god knows what come cookbooks and shit and imagine coming in just trying to enjoy a nice genshin stream and that's what you encounter for the first time <laughs> there's probably people who have done that they probably like walked into the stream saw what was going on and they were like nope i'm good and then just left <laughs> genshin impact vtuber insists she has sex guys bro I have so much sex bro I have the most sex possible like I have sex at least once ever <laughs> I was gonna say like once a year but then I was like that's that one's not even true that part's not even true <laughs> I, <laughs> all right well whatever I would never lie on stream that's one thing about me is that I'm honest <laughs> 
hmm, burning Mondstadt's wine industry to the ground keeps me pretty busy, you know. So if you need any more help, go bother Shuyun. Once ever. <laughs> Look, look, look. I've had sex more than once ever. I was just saying I've at least had sex once ever. <laughs> See, the problem is that I was going to say at least once per year. But then I didn't want to lie. <laughs> because there's definitely been years where I didn't have sex. <laughs> and then for some reason I was like, once ever. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> Once I enter a stream for the first time and the first thing I hear is pee counter, I knew it was going to be fun. Um, could we possibly get some context on the pee counter? <laughs> I want to know the context of the pee counter. <laughs> Should I get a pee counter for my stream? I don't really know what it would be for though. I don't, I don't pee on stream guys. I'm not like sitting here peeing. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, I'm talking to Shuyun now. Where is Shuyun? Can I talk to Shuyun? I gotta go behind the... Alright, there we go. You never pee though? No, I literally don't. Like, when I'm streaming, like, I just don't. Like, if it's a really long stream, like, if it hits, like, I don't know, more in, like, the seven hour range, like, usually I'll have to pee and I'll get up and go take a break. But a lot of my streams sort of hit, like, the five-ish hour mark. And since I, I don't drink a lot of water and since I don't have a hydrate redeem because I don't want to be forced to drink water um I don't usually have to pee during stream that much because I do that all before stream like I eat go to the bathroom you know walk around stretch my legs all of that so it's really easy for me to just get carried away for like five hours and not take a break so but it's fine since I'm not streaming for like in insane lengths of time so I can kind of get away with it <laughs> I was looking in the redeems. <laughs> no, no, I literally removed the hydrate redeem because it like sometimes I don't even have a water bottle on hand. I try to just because sometimes my mouth does get like dry from talking so much. Uh, but I don't want people to make me have to drink water. I'm like, if I want to drink water, I'll drink water. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, so I don't even have a hydrate redeem. I'm like the only streamer in the world without a hydrate redeem, I swear to God. I would hydrate... I would hydrate for like $5. You can't make me hydrate for free. <laughs> in this economy? Nah, no, nah, I'm not hydrating for free. All right. That's right, Callie. Sucrose and Paimon are TCG players now. Uh, Paimon picked it up from watching you and Sucrose. Paimon's probably shit at the game. If I correctly remember, she has, like, a disease or something like that, but I can be wrong. Oh, so does she just have to, like, go pee a lot? Honestly, even if you just, like, hydrate, like, you drink a decent amount of water, like, you're gonna have to pee, or, like, a reasonable amount. Like, there's so many reasons why you'd have to get up and pee a lot. <laughs> That's funny, though, that they, like, turned it into, like, a little running joke. Because, like, I know, like, it's probably, like you know, annoying to have to, like, take breaks repeatedly to, like, go pee or whatever. But, like, it's cute that they, like, took it and they turned it into, like, a cute little, like, running joke with the stream. I like that. I like that. That's fun. That's a good idea. Only hydrates. <laughs> only fans, but it's just, like, only hydrates. It's, like, you sign up and you pay me money and I'll take a picture of myself, like, drinking a bottle of water. <laughs> Yeah, we don't we don't drink water for free in this household. Um, iced coffee, on the other hand, I drink that all the time for free. <laughs> uh, Paimon picked it up from watching you in Sucrose. Meow. Becoming a TCG player is not as simple as that. You cannot call yourselves true TCG players until you have passed the test. What do you mean coffee isn't hydration? Because what do you think coffee is made of? Tell me how you make coffee. What do you brew coffee with? Water. Your coffee is mostly water. It's just bean flavored water if you think about it. So it's hydration. It counts as hydration, guys. Listen, I'm I'm not wrong on this. I stand by this opinion that it counts as hydration to some extent. Maybe not the same extent as just drinking pure water, but I will die on this hill. I will die on this hill, guys. I will die on the hill that coffee counts 
to some extent as hydration it is mostly water guys especially i've been drinking mostly i've just been drinking decaf coffee lately so it's literally the same as if you take one of those like i don't know what they're they're powder packages they like flavor your water it's literally the same it's literally the same as taking one of those powdered juice packages and pouring it into your water bottle except i'm just doing it with coffee flavor so like i'm hydrating i stand by it <laughs> it it's a fuck i forgot what the word is it's something that make you pee um a diuretic i think is the word you're looking for but I think that's the caffeine specifically, no? So if I'm drinking decaf coffee like I've been drinking, I, I'm i hydrating because I'm not drinking the caffeine part. So th I'm big braining it. I'm big braining it. I still get to drink my, my coffee and enjoy a delicious iced coffee, but I'm not getting like the, the effects of the caffeine, all right? Big brain here, big brain here. So I'm basically just drinking coffee flavored water, all right? With no negative effects. So uh, it's hydration is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Big brain time, bro. I'm telling you guys, I'm on some big brain shit with this. I'm like 3000 IQ. You guys don't even realize. You guys think I'm not smart or something? You guys think I, I'm not like a smart person? You're like, oh, she's a VTuber. She's stupid. Nah, I'm on I'm on like X Games mode, bro. I'm smart as shit. <laughs> yes, although to be honest, it's not that difficult. Basically, to become an official and recognized TCG player, you have to best three opponents in a duel. This sounds like too much work, honestly. Cali, smart, and sex haver? What is this, bro? Why don't you guys believe me, bro? I'm smart and I've had sex before. This is like, this is just like easy stuff. Easy stuff, guys. Come on. <laughs> you think because I'm a VTuber, I can't be smart and I can't have sex? Actually, that's pretty, pretty true most of the time, probably. Um... <laughs> So you have to win three duels against three different opponents. Meow. Meow. I don't know. Meowing's kind of fun, low key. Maybe I should have been a cat girl. Meow. The duel you just played can count towards this tally. I agree. Although I didn't get to observe the match myself, I did listen along. And from what I could hear, you both performed at a rather high level. Ooh, so now we have to only do two more opponents. That's not too bad. Same way you can hear what Prince says. A well-trained ear is a basic skill expected of anyone hoping to become a TCG master. But back to the matter at hand, Kali only needs to beat two more opponents to become an official TCG player. Ooh. That sounds like a lot of work. Should I do that today? I don't know if I want to. Sucrose, you may have lost the last duel, but don't be disheartened. I can assure you that winning three games is well within your ability. Meow. Meow. But first things first, Shuyun. Before that, our TCG newcomers should receive their free gift. Oh, I got a free gift. Let's go. I love free shit. Ah, yes, my goodness. Completely slipped my mind. I'm lucky to have Prince here to remind me. Everyone who wants to start playing Genius Invocation TCG is entitled to claim a free casket of tomes. I don't know what that is, but I like free things. Oh, Timaeus mentioned it, didn't he? It was from the light novels he's been reading. The thing that the main character found in his attic. Uh, I don't remember that. See, what happened was, you know, like, the first part of this quest where you go into, like, the little alchemy craft table, whatever it is, in Mondstadt, and, like, you know, when you go there, Sucrose is there, and it activates, like, a little dialogue. Um, I actually did that one day, like, months ago, and I don't remember any of it, so <laughs> I don't know the context that they're talking about. Oh, that's right. The soul of an ancient TCG player was trapped inside, right? So, the Casket of Tomes is actually real? <clears throat> well, actually, all card cases in Genius Invocation TCG are called Caskets of Tomes. Not only do they provide a reliable and sturdy container to store your decks, they can also sense when other people in the area are also carrying a Casket of Tomes with them. Oh, interesting. Oh, Paimon can guess what you're gonna say next. <laughs> That just reminded me of uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure when uh, I think it's uh, 
the second one joseph and he's like he's like next you'll say and then he like tells them what they're gonna say and then they say it that's what that reminded me of the reason they can sense each other is because they have the souls of ancient TCG players inside. Always taking the free stuff, even if you don't want it. Bro, I literally don't know how to turn down free stuff. Like, I, I just don't. Like, I remember when I was at university, sometimes, like, random... I don't even know what they would be. Like, random people from, I don't know, companies or places or something trying to provoke, promote, like, events or products or i don't even know what they were trying to do but they would like have tables set up at the university and they'd be like giving out like free pens and stuff like that like just stupid shit that i don't really need um but i would walk by and they would offer me free shit and i would just take it even though i don't need it like i was like yeah i love free stuff like bro <laughs> and then it would just sit in my backpack or whatever for like months and i would never touch it but i have to take free stuff you know i can't turn down free stuff that would mean an extraordinarily high number of people in history have been turned into disembodied souls as a consequence of playing card games. No, the real reason that it can sense other caskets is because it holds a nifty little mechanism invented by Sumeru scholars. That's less creepy, at least. Darn, what a letdown. Ah, yes, unfortunate there's not souls of the dead in these little caskets of the tomes or whatever they're called. Sounds like a convenient way of finding other TCG players. It does. All right, now let's see this casket of tomes already. Meow. All caskets of tomes are issued by Margaret, so you will need to see her to claim yours. Probably for the best. If Prince and I were responsible for handing them out, knowing how eager we both are to promote the game, we'd probably have dished them all out by now. <laughs> I'm just imagining them running around like all in Monsat, like, hey, do you want to play the Genius Invocation TCG? Here, take this, and just like throwing them at people. I don't know how well that would work for promoting a game. Okay, so go and see Margaret to claim your casket of tomes, use it to find another player, beat them in a duel, and then come back here. Uh, okay, where the hell is Margaret? She went out for a walk or something, I think. But even for Callie, that's only two wins in total. What about the last one? Meow! I shall choose the final contestant she must beat in order to become an official TCG player, for it must be one of comparable prowess. Damn, I don't want to actually have to try. Excellent plan, Prince. Happy dueling, both of you. Alright, this seems like a lot of work, but let's go find Margaret. And get the little free thingy. Hopefully she's not too far away. All right, where am I? Where is she? Oh, she's not far. She's 30 meters away. She didn't go on a very far walk. Like, she's literally right around the corner. Girl, if you want to go for a walk, go for a walk. Hello, you three. Has little Diona finished teaching you the rules of genius invocation? Yes, and we're professional at it, actually. It's got a hop-on marker in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank God. Ah, I see. You're here for your casket of tomes, aren't you? A very useful tool indeed. Ah, this is cute. It's like a cool little box. So this is a casket of tomes. That's right, a purpose-built case for your card deck that can even detect when someone else nearby is carrying one. Gosh, whoever invented this must have seriously disliked being alone. <laughs> That's an interesting way to put it, for sure. I wish there was a soul in there. Yeah, it would definitely be a little bit more interesting than um, it just being like a fancy invention from Sumeru. I, I think it would be like fun. There's just like a whole soul in there. What if I could like talk to the soul too? You know, you get lonely. You pull out your casket of tomes. And you're like, hey man, how's it going? And they're like, bro, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, well, even the most fun game is pretty lonely if you've got no one else to play it with. True. So I'm glad that these customers, um, TCG players, are able to congregate at the cat's tail. You're not wrong, but that's secondary. The important thing to me is the opportunity for like-minded people to come together and enjoy their favorite hobby. It creates a nice atmosphere. Anyway, now you have your caskets of tomes, it's time to find some opponents. I'm curious how this thing works. Does it just like beep when you get near somebody? 
You get your own per- personal uh, Pharaoh who helps you cheat your way through games. Yo, wouldn't that be sick? That'd be sick. But then everyone would get one. All right. In that case, I'll go find some people to play against too. Let's meet back at the cat's tail in a while. Trust in your cards. That's deep, man. Thanks. I'll do my best. All right. Um, you can edit your decks using the casket of tomes and also search for characters nearby who also possess a casket of tomes, thereby identifying opponents you can challenge. Simply open the deck menu using the casket of tomes before selecting a deck to edit it. After searching for and locating a challenger, the map will appear, allowing you to mark rival card players who also possess a casket of tomes. You can use this method to tell who you can challenge to a game of cards with ease. When you use your casket of tomes to activate the ability to search for players, players closest to you whom you have yet to defeat will be prioritized. Interesting. So should I like edit my deck? I'm pretty sure I only have like... I don't think there's anything to edit because I have like two cards. Um, let me check it out though. Mm. Oh, I can create a new deck. Um, let me see what's in this deck. You need to select a set of appropriate characters and action cards to form an effective deck. At the press of a button, you can switch over to edit your character and action cards as well, allowing you to build a deck of your own design. A deck needs to have three valid character cards and 30 valid action cards to be set as an active deck. Should any of the cards within the deck fail to meet the criteria for usability, uh, the Casket of Tomes will hint as such to you, so please take note. Interesting. Add in the cards you want by dragging them over the avatar at the top of the menu or just slotting them in, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I get the idea. You can select the card to review its key details, which allows you to understand not only its effects, but also change its appearance and see how you can obtain it. You can also add or remove cards while in the details section. Ah, okay. So I only have these three character cards so far. I guess that makes sense. Um, okay, I'll just exit then. Because I don't think... Wait, can I edit the... Deck design settings? <gasps> Whoa, wait, you can change how it looks? Wait, that's kind of cool. Um, what else can you change? So wait, how do you edit the, um... Oh, the action cards. I probably only have 30 cards, right? Yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> Thank God, because I didn't want to have to make a decision. All right, so I just have, like, the one deck. That makes sense. All right, should I go challenge somebody? All right, maybe I'll challenge somebody. And then that might be the last thing that I do before I, I call it quits for the day. Wait, how the fuck do I find somebody again? I'm stupid. Um, okay. Oh, I gotta open it and I gotta search. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I forget how to use it. Uh, search. So there's somebody at the front of Mondstadt here. Uh, okay. Let's go challenge them. Bro, I literally just got the thing. It just told me how to do it and I already forgot. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so smart and so good at the game. All right, let's challenge this guy. Aha, I see you. Bro is trying to do his job and we're like, hey, come play a card game with me. I'm sorry, is there anything I can assist the two of you with? We want to become official Genius Invocation TCG players, but we have to pass the test first, so we need to meet three other players in a duel. Our casket of tomes led us to you. I mean, you can be good at video games or be a sex lover. I can be both. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm both. I'm both. I'm both. I'm both. I am so good at games and I am such a sex haver. Those are both true about me. So um, get it right. Oh, I see. Unfortunately, I'm on duty right now, but it's time to duel. 
I see you're serious about this. Very well. As a fellow TCG player, I cannot refuse an earnest invitation to duel. Bro, these people take the, the TCG like so seriously. Oh my god, bro, bro, it's like is it this serious? Do trading card game players take these like that serious or like or what? Like is this just like exaggerated for like the game or are they really like this? She's putting it on her goal list. Become the first sex having gamer. <laughs> i hope someday that i like i like get married and shit and have like a kid and then i'll have like proof i'll have proof that i've had sex and you guys can't deny it because i'll be like i have a kid <laughs> there's like undeniable proof that i have had sex at least once <laughs> i don't i don't i don't think i'm gonna be having a, a kid anytime soon though so <laughs> That, that option is out. The other option is a sex tape, but I don't think I want to make one of those either. <laughs> I don't, those are my, I think those are my two options to like prove that I've had sex, but neither of them sounds like something I want to do right now. So <laughs> I don't know what the, what the option is. They have their own portable TCG tables. Oh, interesting. At least the second option can make you money. <laughs> Yeah, the other option just cost me a bunch of money. The kid is adopted or it's deep fakes. No, 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 no. I'll do like, um, I don't know what, like, what, like a paternity test, but it would be for like me. I, I guess it would be like a maternity test. Does that exist? I feel like you don't usually need those because like, it's like obviously your kid if you like birthed it for the most part. <laughs> Yoshiro, thank you for subscribing. Yoshiro, when are we playing Apex, by the way? We were like DMing, we were like, yo, let's play Apex. And then we, we just never did. Because <laughs> you're like actually good at Apex, I think, right? Um, me, not so much. Uh, okay, we're going to start this. All right, do I win these? Subbing to support the Genshin addiction. Thank you. <laughs> I need it. Yo, where were you when I was uh, trying to get Alhathai? <laughs> I, I, I could have used that that two dollars. <laughs> Just kidding. I try not to spend too much money on this game these days. Hmm. The fourteenth, maybe we go Valentine's Day. Oh, interesting, interesting. Yeah, I hadn't really decided what I was gonna do for Valentine's Day. I had some thoughts. I had some thoughts of like ideas and things. <laughs> but I don't know if I'm gonna follow through on those. So maybe maybe Apex. We'll see. I don't know. I think it's on a day I don't normally stream, but. I would I would be down to to play and maybe also stream, so I will think on it. I will think on it. Callie, don't you and Nix have a flag that says "Sex is temporary, gaming is forever"? Is that what it says? Look, look, listen, listen. I'm not the one who got the flag. My sister got the flag. Okay, so it doesn't apply to me. It's not my fault that she got the flag that says that. All right, just because it's in my apartment doesn't mean that it applies to me. I'm a I'm a sex haver. <laughs> so much sex guys nobody believes me when i say that probably because that's not really true <laughs> i have had sex before guys but i'm not i'm not a i don't know a giga chad um i'm not getting bitches every weekend kind of <laughs> gaming is forever fuck you nix fuck you <laughs> don't you have sex to not have no! Why does everybody always show up when I'm saying some whack shit? <laughs> I was just saying like three minutes ago, I was like, I either need to have a kid or make a sex tape in order to prove that I've had sex. <laughs> like literally everybody just appears out of the fucking woodwork just to say, come into the chat <laughs> when I'm being stupid. <laughs> Hi, Devante. <laughs> Sex enjoyer, yes, have her guys. I have so much sex, bro. Ask Nix, bro. She she shares a wall with me. She can attest to you how much sex I have. <laughs> Actually, don't ask her that because um, I don't think she'll lie for me. I don't think she. I don't think she'll lie for me. <laughs> coming to chat when you should be coming. Yo, whose chat is this? Is this Nix's chat, bro? We're getting sus in here. 
greatest first thing I've heard in the stream. Somebody somebody earlier said they were in a stream one day and they walked in and the first thing that they um saw or heard about was a pee counter. <laughs> and I had to I had to dig for context because I was like, pee counter? I was like, peeing? Is that like a, a weird like fetish thing or it was not. It was not. It was just somebody who has to pee a lot, so they had a pee counter on their stream. <laughs> New ASMR stream. <laughs> ASMR stream, but it's just me like saying such shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Don't lie for her. You ain't worth it, bestie. Bro, yo, listen. Yo, Nyx. <clears throat> um, check your check your PayPal. Check your PayPal real quick and then um come back to me here and answer the question. Um honestly, honestly. Just answer it honestly. Um, do I have a lot of sex? Can you confirm for everybody? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even pay for her money. <laughs> I don't have money to pay for to her to make her lie for me. I don't even have bribe money, guys. <laughs> Callie, why don't you tell Nix about the cum cookbook? <laughs> oh my god, wait, I think I still have that tab open. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I do, I do, I do, I do. I still have the tab. <laughs> I didn't close it. So somebody earlier mentioned this cookbook. I forget why. I don't know what the context was. Um, this is what it is. <laughs> um, and somebody sent me the link, right? Because I was curious. And I opened it up and we read... <laughs> we read this fucking review. <laughs> Bro, when I tell you I was wheezing... <laughs> I first first of all the title bro <laughs> like this whole review had me in shambles <laughs> by someone she means yeah 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 that's who it was it was wolf <laughs> I couldn't remember bro there was so much going on earlier so many people saying some whack shit that I couldn't remember who said what oh my god guys she has so much sex it's crazy how much sex she has eight times a day yeah 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 and that's like a low ball estimate see i told you i told you nix would tell you guys what was up <laughs> oh no <laughs> Zandu, thank you for the follow um i might have to question your tastes if you're following at this specific moment in time but we don't question things here <laughs> add that to your throat I'm ending the stream, bye. <laughs> I can't forget you that I'm like, what? Look, we just took a brief, a brief intermission. I don't even know how to explain this one. Um, <laughs> Yeah, Genshin Impact. What a fun game. <laughs> I just don't know how to explain that one. <laughs> I just, I just don't know. <laughs> Hey, Nyx, I was just on your throne. Need a pillow? A pillow? Wait, what kind of pillow? Like a regular pillow? She has a body pillow. Yo, if, it, if it's 2023 and you don't have a body pillow, what are you actually doing with your life, though? Because, like, you know, I feel like everybody has a body pillow at this point. As you should, bro. They're so comfortable to sleep with. I mean, if you need someone to cook with that for that one. <laughs> Guys, I told you I have so much sex. I, I have will have no problem getting the ingredients for that. Guys, I don't you, you just don't believe me. That's not my fault. Just because it's the truth and you guys refuse to accept it as the truth doesn't make it not true, guys. <laughs> I'm being cringed. Let me cook. <laughs> Is that a pun about the, the cookbook or what? I can't tell. I'm interpreting it as a pun and it's very funny. <laughs> All right, what do these cards do? Um, your current character gains one energy. Wait, that's broken. Uh, what's this one do? Choose one summon on the opposing side and destroy it. I still don't know what a summon is, so we might get rid of that one. Uh, the next time you perform switch characters, spend one less elemental die. Uh, that one's decent, maybe. The Paimon one's really good, I think. And I don't need this one. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of these two cards. She keeps a jar. <laughs> Guys, there's no cum jar, I promise you. <laughs> 
please. It's probably gone rancid at this point. I think it's called fermented. No, I can't do this, besties. Get me out. <laughs> All right, which character should I start with? Um, I feel like I just default to using Kaya first. And then I switch to one of the other two. All right, give me what I want. Could be worse. Um, we will get rid of... That was one. The jar is for the anime figurine. Why is it for the Am I missing something? Guys, I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like there's a joke that I'm not getting. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay, what is this? Oh, that's for sucrose. And then what was this one? Choose one summon on your side and grant it plus one usages. I don't know what that means. Um. Okay. So what I might do is just use this to switch one of these to cryo. And then we will use Kaya elemental skill. Yeah, get fucked, nerd. Uh, these hella trolls don't stand a chance. Bro, I'm so good at the game, bro. <laughs> this is like the easiest. The game is like the easiest mode possible. And I'm like acting like I'm good at the game. You don't know what the jar is? Guys, what is the jar? What is what is the jar? I'm a, you know what? I'm a little bit afraid to ask what the jar is. Oh no, guys, educate her on the jar. Um, you know what? I'm a little bit afraid now. Callie, do you have a trophy jar? Um, what do you mean by a trophy jar? I don't have any sort of jar for anything. Like I, I, I don't know. Should I have a jar? The only thing I used to have a jar for was like keeping change in. You know. Guys, please don't let Fritz put me in the jar. Guys, what is the jar? <laughs> Can someone tell me what the jar is? I, uh, do I even want to know? I don't even know if I want to know. All right. Um, let's see. Is there one of these that I don't need? Spend one less elemental die to switch character. All right. Let's do that one. Um... We will switch to Diluc, I guess. So, need to pay more. What? I'm confused. I don't know what just happened. Nyx probably has a jar. Is somebody going to explain what the jar is? Or am I going to have to Google it, guys? I don't think I'm going to like what I find on Google if I Google it. All right. We will use this. God, I'm so good at the game. See Bao's latest tweet? Oh, God, it's a Bao tweet? Oh, it's going to be fucked up. Oh, wait, wait. I think I saw that, actually. Wait. I think I I think I think saw it. Wait, is that what this is about? Because I'm pretty sure I saw Bao's tweet, and it was like a little jar with her little figurine in it, and there it looked like it was probably, like, moisturizer or something on it, but I... Oh. Okay, wait. Oh, I see. I think, okay. I think I'm understanding now. <laughs> I think I'm understanding now. Hello, hello. Yo, Trent, welcome, welcome. How's your week and your weekend been? Hopefully good. Gotta preserve it. <laughs> no, not the preservation, bro. Um. Okay, what should I... I'll reroll these. Come on, give me something good. All right, well, I got some pyro ones, so I guess that's the thing. I'm sorry for anyone who joins now. <laughs> Bro, I swear, somebody always joins the chat. Somebody always follows or does something when we're talking about something really sus. <laughs> like, most of the stream is totally chill and nothing wild is happening. But the moment we spend 10 minutes having, like, a really fucked up conversation, suddenly a bunch of new people appear and it's like, bro, I promise the whole stream isn't like this. It's not this bad. <laughs> or maybe it is. I don't know. I, I black out for most of the stream. You guys, you guys let me know. <laughs> All right. Um, I might just trade some shit in and turn it into pyro and just do some damage to this guy. Because, yeah. Uh, we'll do this one. 
Um, and I don't know. I don't really need this card either. Because I'm pretty sure I'm just going to win against this guy because he's bad. So I don't have to try. I'm doing amazing. Doing some Apex after I celebrated my birthday today. <gasps> it's your birthday today. Yo, happy birthday. Happy birthday. I hope you had a good birthday. Yo, Apex is fun too. Hopefully you're playing with like friends and stuff. That's always fun. I'm going to bed. See you next time. Good night. Thank you for coming by again. It's been nice having you here. Next stream, we could be like, yeah, you promised to have a kid and show us to prove you are a sex app. <laughs> I'll just like show you guys a picture of a random baby and be like, look, I had a kid, so I've had sex real and true. Look, guys, I won. I'm so good at the game. All right. Um, I think that might be where I call it quits, bro. Five hours of Genshin is like a lot of Genshin. <laughs> And I'm. This is about the time where I start to get hungry too. We'll see. I gotta check if there's anything else I have to do before I get off the game. Only once, though. You said only once. Well, like technically, if you have a kid, you can only prove that you've had sex once, right? Like, potentially, you've had sex more than once in order to have a kid, but. You can only guarantee that it's been at least once, right? So, you know, that's all that would prove to you guys. Yeah, Apex Grind has been a bit decent. Got four wins in my last six matches. Yo, that's actually really good. I feel like when I play Apex, I never win. I mean, probably because I'm trolling when I play. <laughs> and I'm always, um... When I play, I'm normally playing on stream. So I'm, like, extra trolling. Or if nothing else, even if I'm, like, trying a bit... I'm at least, like, a bit distracted. Um, okay. Look at, look at my cute outfit, though. Look at the cute little Lisa outfit. I saw somebody do a thing where they compared how much Lisa's boobs move in this outfit compared to, like, her normal one. And I'm pretty sure that they move more in the original outfit. <laughs> and I just thought that was, like, a funny comparison to make because, personally, I would have never thought to do it. Only once, though, you said. Only once. Yo, listen, listen, listen. It's all good. Alright, did I do all my daily stuff? Oh, I got an achievement! Wait, what was the... Was it for the TCG? Oh, it was! Deal eight or more points of damage in one single action, a total of one times in victorious games. That's so oddly specific. Look at how cute this is, though. Wait, I kind of want this. Why are you watching that? What? Wait, it just came up on my Twitter feed, bro. It's not like I was looking. I wasn't out searching for, you know, a comparison of Lisa's boobs in the different outfits, okay? It's not like I was searching for that. It just, I was scrolling on my Twitter timeline and it was there in front of my face. And I was like, oh, interesting. That's it, guys. It's not, it's not sus, bro. You don't even know. My, my Twitter timeline is so sus. Like, if, I'm, if I'm ever trying to show you guys something on stream that's from Twitter, I always have to open it on my second monitor first and just, like, check that there's nothing, sus like, sus going on on my Twitter timeline that's, like, you know, naked um, stuff or something. Because, like, I follow people who do, like, you know, like, post, like, not safe for work stuff and stuff sometimes, right? Like, you know, VTubers who do, like, you know, post, like, lewd arts and stuff occasionally. So I have to be careful. I have to be careful what I show from my, my Twitter on here. And also, it's kind of funny. Um, like, when I open my Twitter timeline when I'm out in public, not that I ever go outside to touch grass, but on the rare occasion that I do, like, if I'm on the bus or something, I have to be careful because you never know. You might open the, the Twitter TL and there's just a boob or something. <laughs> Not that I would care, honestly. Not that I would care. Like if somebody is looking over my shoulder at my my phone and they see a boob, like that's on them, man. <laughs> that's on them. It's not my fault. You know, I was minding my own business, just looking at a titty on the timeline, you know, like a normal person, you know, who doesn't want to look at a titty on the, on the timeline, you know, I'm valid for that. Um, uh, you know, if they see a titty because they were creeping on me, looking at my phone, that's on them. If you want, you look over my shoulder and you see a titty, you see a titty. It is what it is. 
<laughs> a little titty never killed anybody, okay? A little titty never killed nobody. Here, we'll do this. A single boob. Yeah, a single boob. Sometimes two boobs, you know? Maybe sometimes more than that, depending how many people are in the photo, you know? Um, the other day, I opened my, my TL, and there was like, um... I don't know, she was doing like a cosplay or something, but the video clip, she was in like a... I don't know what the outfit was, but like a lot of her boob, like side boob and stuff was out, and she must have been doing like a photo shoot, because there was like two people rubbing like oil on like her thighs and on like her side boob and stuff. <laughs> And like the, I don't know what the caption was, but it was something about like getting ready for like a, a cosplay photo shoot. But I just thought it was funny because like out of context, if you like look over my shoulder and all you see is just like somebody having oil rubbed on like their boobs. <laughs> like it's like nothing like really sus when you like know the context. But like if you just looked at that and saw that without like reading the tweet and you just see that on my phone, you'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, the outfit looked really good though. Like, I, I would love to see how those photos turned out because they probably looked really amazing. Like, it was a really good cosplay and she looked like really good and everything. More likely a Nyx voice recording for me. <laughs> you guys gotta remember, I follow Nyx, right? Um, and bro, the fear that I feel when she posts like some really sus like uh, audio on the TL um, and how quickly I scroll past because I want nothing to do with that. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> like, I'm just like, that's just something that I don't need. I don't need. <laughs> like, the art of, like, her VTuber and stuff is, like, whatever. Because, you know, it's, it's just art. It's whatever. But, bro, the audios, I don't need to be hearing those. <laughs> like, my, I just, I just gotta scroll past as fast as possible. <laughs> Full context is fine, but no context. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of the stuff that's on my TL um, isn't really that sus. But, like, out of context, it seems, like, really sus. So, <laughs> but luckily, I don't really care. Like, I don't really care. If I'm in public and somebody looks over my shoulder and sees an anime titty, like, they, they see an anime titty. Like, it's, it's not that serious. Um, I should use my resin, actually. I was gonna get off the game, but I might go farm something real quick. One time, one of her audios auto-played for me at work. <laughs> um, like, no headphones? We're talking, like, no headphones here? Yeah. <laughs> I work overnight with sleeping people. Oh, no. Hopefully nobody got woken up by that. <laughs> No headphones. Oh, God bless. God bless. Um, hopefully, everybody just slept through it and it was all chill. I forgot to mute my phone before work. Oh, my God. That's like... I think I don't have autoplay on, on my phone. Or I think I have it defaulted to be muted. So even if it's playing, I won't hear it unless I actively like click on it to listen. I think. I don't know what setting that is, but yeah, I think that's the way mine works. So luckily I'm never going to accidentally like do anything like that. But you know what's the worst though is, okay, where's the domain I've been farming? I think it's over here. Oh, this one. Yeah, this artifact set. I've been trying to farm this for my, uh, my wanderer. Anyways, um, the worst is those videos where like visually the video looks fine. And so you click on it because you want to see what the video is. It just looks like a normal video, whatever. And you open it and it's like moaning sounds. Like it sounds like a porno. And it's so loud. So they basically like trick you into like embarrassing yourself in public or something. I don't really know. But those ones always like, bro, I'm like, luckily I don't go anywhere or do anything. So if I ever click on one of those, it's like, it's usually not that bad. <laughs> it's just kind of like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> But like, what is the point? What is the point? Um, okay, I should probably bring my friendship farming team into here. Bye, Lisa. No, Lisa. She's friendship 10 already. I can't bring her. Um, I guess this is my friendship team. It's like two animal characters, a geo character and a dungeon character. <laughs> 
there's literally no reactions. Yo, y'all do elemental reactions. It can be me. I feel like this is going to take longer than it should. If it does, I'll just swap out one of my characters for, I don't know, a stronger character that I have. That girl moaning her brother's going to break her back. Audio made me trust no video. Wait, what? Actually, I'm afraid to ask. I always like, I'm so nosy. My default reaction when I hear anything is to just be like, what? Like, send me the link. But then I'm like, hmm. You know, sometimes not knowing is okay. Like, sometimes it's okay to, like, not know things, you know? Like, sometimes just being ignorant is a good thing. Like, not always, but sometimes. He was standing on her back. <laughs> oh, so, like, it's actually, like, completely, like, harmless, but, like, the audio makes it, like, super fucking... Oh, yeah, mm, I see. Does this, like, heal? Or does it just do damage? Wait, she heals, right? How does it work, though? I don't know how the healing works. She just wants the sauce. <laughs> the sauce, bro. I'm pretty sure Yo Yo heals, but I don't know how the healing works, so we'll just ignore it. Bro, this is taking way too long. I need to bring a stronger character. I mean, my, my Scaramouche is pretty strong, but he works a lot better if he does elemental reactions. Yeah, no, this is taking too long. I'm impatient. <laughs> I need this to take like 30 seconds or less, otherwise I feel like I'm wasting my time. Yeah, yeah, so cute though. I should build her properly. Is she a good healer? I might actually build her if she is, because I need more healers. Not the Link! Not the Link! I gotta, I gotta pull that up off stream. I don't think I can put that on stream. I feel like I'll get in trouble for that. <laughs> probably not. If it's visually okay, it's probably fine, but I don't know. Bro, this is taking so long. I'm so impatient. Yeah, no, I'm swapping out my Yao Yao for like, I don't know, Raiden or something. I can't, I can't do this. Or like Yelon or something. Raiden's probably better to be honest. <laughs> no, this is so this is so obnoxious. It's visually safer work. Ah, no, guys, we did. We've been so sus on stream today, bro. I can't pull up any more sus shit on stream. <laughs> People are gonna think that's what I'm about, bro. They're gonna be like, yo, she's sus. I'm like, no, no, this is like a pretty. We're like pretty chilly here, you know. We don't, we don't, we're not that sussy. Audio, you'll get head turns. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of video I'm talking about where like you you visually it's chill and then you open it and it's like, bro, what the fuck? Safe for work? What if I work at the slut factory or whatever? <laughs> Yo, where's this slut factory that you're working at and how do I get employed there? Whoa, wait, what the fuck? That's busted. I want to be employed at the slut factory. Watch someone come in and follow the moment it plays. <laughs> <laughs> they think this is a lewd tuber stream. I mean, I do say some sussy shit, but I would not by any means say I'm anything close to being a lewd tuber. I know this is like a like sussy, sussy jokes from time to time. Yo! Wait, who made it? Ghoul! Yomichi! Thank you for the raid! Welcome in, welcome in! Um, we were definitely not talking about anything sus. See, I'm glad I didn't pull up that video, guys. <laughs> See, look, like, this is what would have happened. This is what would have happened. They would have come into the stream and we would have been watching that TikTok and it would have been like moaning sounds or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for the stream. Welcome in. I hope you had a great stream. I feel bad because I was like going to end stream pretty soon, but um, I'm going to at least do some farming and maybe I'll hang out a little bit longer since there's some new people here. Anyways, um, welcome to the stream, guys. I know some of the raiders won't stay, so I'll introduce myself and then, you know, you guys can run away if you'd like. Uh, my name's Callie. I'm a VTuber, obviously. Uh, I stream variety, um, sometimes Genshin, sometimes Valorant, sometimes Apex. Um, I started doing some scary games recently, even though I'm a big scaredy cat. <laughs> I played Phasmophobia for the first time and I wanted to pee my pants. <laughs> it's not even that scary, but like, it's just like something like breathes down your neck out of nowhere. It's a little bit scary. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, welcome. I appreciate the raid. Uh, don't feel bad. You can leave. Hope you're well. 
<laughs> I know, but like, I don't know. If somebody like raids, I want to like hang out for like a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, give people a chance to like hang out for a bit and decide if they want to stay. Um, I do have a couple more things I'm planning to do in the game before I leave, so it's all good. Can I add you on Genshin? I'm um, AR56. I don't even know if I have room on my friends list. I've been playing the game for like two years. I mostly, I think I mostly keep my friends list for like um, content creator friends and like my mods and stuff. I can't, can't remember if my friends list is full though, so probably not. Though, I guess I, sometimes I let people join my world. I don't know if I'm doing that right now, though, because I'm just farming like this domain. Nothing exciting is happening. Fritz, thank you for gifting a sub to, to Ghoul. Fritz, you're a homie for that. All right. Yeah, we're bringing my Raiden into the domain. I was trying to use my friendship farming team, but I was getting impatient. So we're doing yeah, it yeah, with a couple of my strong characters, and then we'll just farm friendship on uh, these two. It'll be good. What is with the Dorito looking? Yo, Doritos are so good though. Um, yo, what's the best Dorito flavor though? I'm I'm torn between like I really like sweet chili heat, but like Cool Ranch, bro. Cool Ranch is also really good. They're, they're both good. And then like I don't know, man. Like the barbecue ones, I feel like are kind of underrated, but they're pretty good. But I don't, I think I don't think it makes the top two. I think it might be top three though. Doritos are nasty? Bro, what did Doritos ever do to you? They're just chips. Damn, it's not... Damn. <laughs> I've never seen somebody so, like, vividly, like, ah, Doritos are nasty. <laughs> I respect your opinion, though. You're entitled to your opinion. I respect it. You know what's good, though? Um... What I do sometimes is I'll, I'll use Doritos to make nachos. So like, you know how you like just like put like cheese and stuff on nachos? I do that, but with like, instead of the regular like tortilla chips, I just use like sweet chili heat Doritos or something. Bro, that shit is so good, guys. I recommend it so much. It's just like, I don't know. I guess like, you know how they took, um, who did it? It was like Taco Bell or something. They made like taco shells that were like Doritos or something. It's kind of like the same premise as that, but with like nachos. It's super good, guys. It's super good. The sweet chili heater cool ranch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like those are probably like the two, like the objectively, like kind of like the better flavors. I prefer veggie straws. Yo, wait. No, veggie straws are actually so good though. I don't know why they're so good. Like normally I don't buy chips that are like kind of trying to be like healthy. Um, because I'm like, bro, if I'm gonna eat chips, I'm gonna eat chips, bro. They're gonna be, like, unhealthy as fuck. Like, that's the whole point. Um, I don't even think the, the veggie chips are that healthy, honestly. I'm pretty sure they're still, like, really salty and probably not super good for you. But the, the veggie, the veggie sticks are actually super good. And you know what else is really good? I don't know if they're, like, super easy to find. Because I used to get, like, the little ones that they had at Starbucks is the, um... They're sweet potato chips. I guess you could probably make them. Honestly, I should learn how to make them because I can never find them in a store. But they're so good. Sweet potato chips are so good. Probably because I really like sweet potatoes though. So anyways, sorry, I lost my cool. Okay, I go now, I go now, I go eat. Yeah, no, go, 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 go. Honestly, I don't really expect people to stay for very long after they raid. So I usually try to get like my thank yous and like my intro out of the way right at the beginning because I know like when I raid people too, like I'm like usually hungry by the time I raid. So I'm like, I'm ready to leave bro. I'm like, hey, how's it going? Like, hope you're having a great stream. Um, here's here's my, my little community. They'll be nice to you. Bye bye. And then I go make like a grilled cheese or something. <laughs> so yeah, no, I fully expect people to raid and then like immediately leave because that's kind of what I do. I try to stay like long enough to say hi, but I'm like hungry at that point. I heard of venti straws. Venti straws. Did we say? Oh, veggie straws. We said veggie straws. I was like, wait, what were we saying? Yo, the veggie straws bussin. Now I want them. See, this is what happens. We start talking about like food stuff on stream and I end up like craving the food. Like the other day we were talking about Chicago mix, like the, the popcorn with like the cheese flavor and the caramel corn. And then like the next day I was at the store and I literally had to buy it because I couldn't stop thinking about it ever since like stream when we were talking about it. 
So I feel like now I'm gonna have to go buy the friggin' veggie sticks. It's fine. I was planning to go to the store tomorrow, so maybe I'll get some veggie sticks there. I like OG Doritos and Cool Ranch. Yo, the OG do be hidden. They're not my favorite though, but that's a me thing. Your avatar is so cute. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. I hope so. I mean, you know, I I tried to make her look cute. I mean, I didn't draw it or anything, but like when I was like commissioning people to the, draw it and stuff, like I tried to choose someone who had like a cute art style and stuff. And honestly, I literally can never shut up about how much of a good job she did. Like especially like for the price, like she did just the best job ever. I love my my model artist. She's the best. And she's so nice too. Every time I interact with her, like I go back and um, commission her for other art from time to time. Bro, she's like so nice. She's so nice. She's such a sweetie. Anyways, yeah, I literally will never shut up. I never shut up about my model artist. As soon as somebody like compliments my model and how like cute it is, I'm like, bro, let me tell you. Let me tell you about my model artist. <laughs> I feel like that's like every VTuber though. Like, I feel like we're all like super grateful to like the people who do our art because like they always just do like an amazing job and it's it's like they're like the best like you literally can't be a vtuber without artists i just fucking love artists yo remy kun thank you for the follow just make something from the gum cookbook don't bring this up again yo none of these people were here earlier um they don't know about the gum cookbook don't tell them about the gum cookbook <laughs> Guys, there's no cum cookbook, by the way. I don't know what I don't know what Wolf is talking about. I heard cookbook. <laughs> guys, guys, we're not we're not talking about this again. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> We've already brought it up twice, bro. Twice too many times. <laughs> there's no cookbook, guys. We were talking about um. A very normal cookbook with very normal recipes for very normal food. It's on, <laughs> it's on our wish list. It's not on my wish list, guys. Don't lie to people. <laughs> it's not on my wish list, guys. You can't just say whatever you want. <laughs> Everyone loves VTubers mommies. Yeah, literally, though. Like, they're the best ever. They always just do the best work. Listen, we're just hungry, bro. <laughs> then you go get the cum cookbook and you make the recipes from it. <laughs> Stop making it seem like it was something that I wanted. <laughs> I've heard about it. Oh my god. Has everybody heard about this besides me? Because today was the first that I've heard about it. I thought when my chat mentioned it that it was a joke. I, I thought it was like not a real thing, but there's like a whole Amazon link and everything. And I'm pretty sure there's like more than one cookbook, to be honest. I didn't look at the the recommended. <laughs> um, but it's a real thing, apparently. And there was like a ton of reviews on it. So apparently a lot of people have tried it either um, genuinely or as like a joke. I was about to go on there and buy it for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Guys, it's not on my wish list. I'm not going to put it on my wish list. I have no need for that i would just if i was gonna get a cookbook i would just get a normal cookbook guys <laughs> oh it's real oh it's real it is real i found that out today it is real I'm gonna be a great cooking stream. <laughs> i'm pretty sure you would get banned for doing that as a cooking stream <laughs> like i'm not in, like somebody was doing a cooking stream the other day it was like um Giri and somebody and they were cooking that I don't know what it is but it's a food and it looks like a dick basically and they were like hope we don't get banned <laughs> I forget the name of it though but you know you've probably seen it before in like videos and stuff but yeah so I'm pretty sure you can't do a cooking stream with a cum cookbook like I I don't know all the details of the Twitch TOS because I, I don't usually do anything that's like comes that close to uh being like an issue but i'm pretty sure you can't do that <laughs> a lot of people hungry for cummies bro when did we become a sus stream we're not a sus stream <laughs> exclamation lurk i was eating dinner so i'm gonna go do my dishes it was nice to meet you yeah i appreciate you like coming into the chat and saying hi 
Um, I like that you do your dishes right after you eat. That's like W. I try to do that too. I hate having like a sink full of dishes. Unfortunately, I live with somebody who leaves their dishes in the sink. <laughs> so I always end up doing all of her dishes because I can't stand the dishes in the sink. <laughs> Uh, gooey duck. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, so they were doing a cooking stream where they were making that. I have no idea what it tastes like or anything, but I'm sure it tastes good or something. I don't know. But anyways, they were doing the cooking stream with that. And then they were like, I hope we don't get banned. But I don't think you would for something like that. Just because it looks like something sus. It's still like a normal food. But I, I think if you use the cum cookbook, you're going to get banned. <laughs> Like, I just... Nah, nah. I think you'd have to do that on a different website besides Twitch. <laughs> Don't give me that look. Don't give me that look. Don't give me that look, Vera Stone, okay? We are a normal... Okay, we're new conversation topic, guys. Stop bringing up the Common Cookbook when there's new people here. We need them to think that we're, like, normal. <laughs> Says the VTuber. Like, I need people to think I'm normal. But I'm a VTuber, which implies inherently that I'm not that normal. <laughs> nobody normal becomes a VTuber. I'm pretty sure nobody normal becomes a VTuber. Like, if you're if you're normal, you just... I feel like normal people don't stream. I feel like everyone who streams is like a weirdo low-key. Like, I feel like you have to be, to some extent, a little bit of a weirdo to be a content creator. Like, just, I don't know how to explain it. But like, we're all weirdos. And I feel like streaming makes you even more weird. So even if you started out a completely normal person, I feel like over time as a streamer, you just become weird. Like streaming just makes you a weirdo. <laughs> Especially like VTubing. I feel like it's so easy to just be like your most, the most weird version of yourself if you don't have to show your face on the internet. <laughs> Like, all of the random stupid shit that you don't say out loud in your day-to-day -day life because people would be like, they know you, they know your face, they know your name. They would be like, what? And the, all those things that you keep to yourself, you can say out loud as a VTuber because, like, nobody really knows you. Like, probably they don't know your real name, probably they don't know your real face, they like definitely don't know anything about you IRL so you can just kind of say some whack shit you can say like the weird random thoughts that come to you <laughs> that you just suppress most of the time so I feel like that's why like the weirdness comes out who wants to be normal anyway yeah that's what I'm saying being normal is overrated yo being normal seems so boring like I picture like okay picture like the most normal person you can think of right they wake up at 6 a.m they go for a jog before they get ready for their nine to five office job then they go to their nine to five office job and they work their little nine to five office job in their little cubicle typing away at their computer you know maybe they talk to people at the water jug in their office space or like whatever it is that people do at their nine to five jobs i don't know it all seems very boring to me um <laughs> You know, then they come home from their little nine to five job and they do, I don't know, what do people do when they come home? Um, uh, knitting or something. I don't know. What, what normal hobbies do people have? Like someone who doesn't do video games. Oh, read a book. They read a book or something or they, they hang out with their boyfriend or they go on a date or whatever. That all just seems so boring, you know? Like, ugh. <laughs> You know? Okay, it's not really that boring, but you know, it's a little bit. This is more fun. Being being a degenerate uh, anime girl on the internet with boob physics, more fun, in my opinion. <laughs> Same to watch VTubers. Yeah, see, I feel like when I first started and I, I became a VTuber originally, I feel like I was like more normal just with like a vtuber avatar and then slowly over time i'm not even in my final form by the way but slowly over time i'm becoming more and more weird and more of like a degenerate and i i'm more becoming like a lot closer to what you think of when you think of like vtubers and like the kind of jokes and like shit that vtubers say like really unhinged like degenerate shit right uh 
<laughs> and I feel like I'm just getting like worse and worse over time. <laughs> Like, the more comfortable I get just being on the internet and being completely unhinged in public behind, like, an anime avatar, it just, like, <laughs> it just gets worse. Just gets worse and worse. They have sex on, like, Genshin players. <laughs> the fact that that didn't even cross my mind when I was describing what, like, a normal person might do in their day. <laughs> I didn't even think I even said like that they would have like a girlfriend or a boyfriend and they would go on like a date but it didn't even occur to me that they would have sex I'm too far gone guys I'm too far gone <laughs> this is what happens when you play Genshin Impact guys you forget that sex exists <laughs> I'm becoming more unhinged no literally like it's so funny to me I used to be pretty normal, I think. Like, I, like, before, I didn't really, like, I wasn't a gamer until I was in my 20s. And I didn't even know what streaming was until I was, like, 25, 24, I don't know, somewhere in there. Everything's a blur at this point, honestly. I have the worst sense of time in the world, so. Don't ask me to, like, pinpoint any specific actual timelines for anything. So, like, yeah, until, like, my early to mid-20s, like, I was, like, pretty, pretty normal. I did normal people things. And look at how far we've come, you know? Look at how far we've come. Full degeneracy. Now I fall asleep at, like, 7 in the morning. I sleep until, I don't know, 4 in the afternoon or whatever. Like, I'm just, like, a full degenerate. It's really funny, too, because, um, I used to have, like, personal Twitter accounts and stuff and, like, uh like one that I use just for like my own self like I had my friends and stuff on and I don't even use those anymore most of them are like deleted most of my personal social media is just like deleted because I don't use it and it's really funny because like obviously from my perspective the reason that I don't use them is because I use other accounts I use like my VTubing like content creator social media accounts but from the perspective of anybody who knows me IRL they probably just think I'm not on social media so they probably don't realize how fucking unhinged I am <laughs> and how like chronically online I am. <laughs> like that thought plagues me from time to time. The fact that people I know IRL probably think I'm like so normal, but I'm actually just like a fucking VTuber. Cause like most of the people I know IRL don't know I'm a VTuber. Like my sister knows, like my stepmom knows, um, my stepsister, like my family knows basically. My family knows and but like it's not like i have like a huge amount of irl friends but like bro it's not like they would know i'm a vtuber also why is my zhongli oh i gave the the staff of homa to hu tao because i was cosplaying as a a hu tao main for like five minutes <laughs> this is this is my real zhongli build with the staff of homa i was like i can't believe i gave him the battle pass weapon who am i god I fell down the VTuber rabbit hole a year ago. Only a year ago? Damn, that's crazy. Honestly, when I first started streaming on Twitch, like, I don't know that I... I didn't intend originally. My plan wasn't to be a VTuber. Like, that wasn't, like, why I started streaming on Twitch. Um, it wasn't to be a VTuber. I had... I mean, when I started streaming on Twitch, I was streaming off an iPad. <laughs> so I had no face cam, no VTuber model, no anything. And at the time, I was kind of deciding if I wanted to go, like, the face cam route or, like, the VTuber route. Um, I'm glad I went the VTuber route because I'm completely unhinged. And I think being a VTuber suits me more for being unhinged. Because if I ever wanted to get, like, a, like a job in my field, um, and if they were to ever find, like, my content online... It's a lot easier to gaslight people into believing something is not you if it doesn't have your face in it, right? So like, it, you know, they see some completely unhinged shit on the internet and it has my, my face associated with it, then it's like hard to deny that it's me. I could always say that it's like my sister, um, but I don't know how much that would work. <laughs> So I think the VTuber was better in that regard, but also in the regard of just like, it's more fun. Um, like, I, I don't know. I feel like I tend to get really self-conscious of like my appearance in general. So VTubing is, it's just easier to like kind of have fun and not worry about what you look like. 
And I think that's probably like true in general for anyone who is like YouTubing or just doesn't use a face cam is that like it's so freeing not having your face associated with it. Already blaming Nick. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. But see, this way I don't have to worry about it. It's like a non-issue because it's like, oh, this VTuber sounds a lot like you. Like, um, is this you? And I can just be like, no. And how are they going to prove? Like, they can't, they can't prove in any way, shape or form that it's me. Like, <laughs> they can say all they want that it sounds like me. But like, there's so many people that sound similar. Like I've had people send me TikToks of like random other content creators and they're like, yo, this person sounds like you. And they really do. Like there's several content creators out there and that's just from content creators. That's not even from the general population. That's just like random content creators that like people have come across and sent to me that sound almost identical to me. So like it, you can't, you can't pinpoint somebody based on their voice alone. I'm also like, I know I don't seem like I'm careful, but I am pretty careful about like the stories that I tell on stream because I don't want to say anything that's like too um, telling that like would definitely give away like who I am if somebody knew. Uh, like most of the stories I tell are like super random and super generic and that's like partially intentional. Also, I just like think of random shit, so <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Very much agreed. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes I still feel awkward that there's a camera pointed at me, even though the viewer can't see the real me. <laughs> no, why is that the most relatable thing, though? Because, like, as me too, me too. Because, um, I don't know if you use the, uh, uh, the VTube Studio app on, like, uh, an iPhone. So, like, the face tracking from the iPhone. But, like, um, the way it like tracks your face if you've ever pulled up like the camera thingy to calibrate it and it like shows like your face kind of but with like the overlay it looks really fucking weird it looks really fucking weird <laughs> and like i've been tempted to like screenshot it and like show what it looks like but it's like really weird i don't know how else to describe it besides weird but like that always like gives me like a weird most of the time I don't see it because it just automatically calibrates when it opens. But yeah, once in a while I will like calibrate it that way and it looks so fucking weird, bro. It literally looks like you're wearing like a skin mask over your own face. <laughs> it's like a clay mask over your face. So literally, it's the weirdest thing. I didn't realize it would be like that because I used to use just the, um, just a webcam. I only got like a, a newer iPhone recently. Before I had that, I had like an iPhone 8. So I just used like a shitty webcam for my face tracking. And so it was just like the, the computer version of VTube Studio where it has like that little like line thing to show like your face, which I also think looks really funny. But yeah, no, it was like really disturbing the first time I saw the one on the phone. <laughs> it just like looks really disturbing. It sounds weird. Yeah, it does sound weird. It is a little bit weird if you like look at it. Yeah. Imagine if I got a good artifact, but you know, that was, I don't have streamer luck. That's one thing about me. I don't have streamer luck. <laughs> Do you have your phone on top of your monitor or to the side? I actually have it on a little stand. Um, it kind of on my desk mat right in front of my monitor. My monitor needs to be higher, but unfortunately this is as high as it goes currently. I don't have like the little arms for the monitors. Um, someday I will. But yeah, no, it just kind of sits on the little stand in front, like sitting on my desk. So I don't know if that's like the best spot for it, but that's what I have available to me. Um, it's still way better than the webcam, no matter what. Like it's actually like infinitely better. But the only issue I have with that is since my monitor is a little bit too low, the phone blocks part of my screen. <laughs> So it's not too much of an issue, but like when I was doing Genshin quests earlier, I had to move it kind of to a different spot off to the side because it was blocking some of the dialogue. And sometimes when I'm playing Valorant, I can't see how much ammo I have left in my gun because it's in front of that. <laughs> so sometimes I have like one bullet and I have no idea. <laughs> So yeah, it's just kind of sitting right in front of in front of me here. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really have like a that good of a setup. I've been working on my setup for like the last two years, and it's so much better than when I started. I should 
I don't even know if I have a picture of the the comparison to show because like my original setup for streaming was just like a little iPad. It was just an iPad. I didn't even have a PC and then I would keep my uh, my laptop, my shitty laptop that barely worked next to it just to read Twitch chat. Like that's literally what I started with. Um, compare that to now, I have like a proper PC, nothing crazy, but good enough to run most things. And yeah, I got two monitors. I've got an iPhone for my VTuber face tracking. Like, you know, uh, you know, upgrades people, upgrades. The grind set, yeah, the grind set. It's like, if you don't have like a lot of money, like it takes like a really long time to upgrade all these things, but like, it's so rewarding to kind of look back and see how far you've come. And especially like the, like just all the stream upgrades in general, like some of it is just general like PC upgrades, but like some of the stuff that's like more specific to streaming, like the microphone that I have now, like i don't think i'll ever upgrade this microphone for like ever like it might break eventually so i guess i would replace it if that happened but i just got it so it shouldn't happen like i have a really good microphone now and that was something that i really wanted for a long time i don't know because it's like one of the things that i feel like is really important for a stream is like good audio quality you know so when he comes in your stream and you sound like you know you know the people in like um uh fps games where they sound like they're using a webcam mic and they're like eating it like it sounds like it's like inside of their mouth and it sounds like really fucking bad like you know if you come to somebody's stream and their microphone sounds like shit you know it's it's a lot harder to watch than if they have like a nice crisp microphone right so that was like one thing i really tried to prioritize as soon as i could um because when i when i first started streaming i had so i had the ipad right and I think at first I was using my like Apple headphones microphone as my microphone. <laughs> and then I think once I like streamed a couple times and I decided it was something that I wanted to like keep doing, I I think I bought like a like a $30 microphone off of Amazon or something. Like nothing crazy, but just something that would be like a little bit better than the Apple headphones microphone. <laughs> And I had that for, like, quite some time uh, until I got, like, a PC. And then I got, like, a, I don't know, it was, like, a HyperX quadcast or something. Like, a like an okay microphone. And I got, like, the little microphone stand. So then the microphone can be, like, close to your face. Like, it's supposed to be all that good shit. Yeah. But, yeah, no, it's, like, it's, like, been two years since that. Two years? I don't know. It's been, like, two-ish years, probably. I don't know. I'm, like, the worst at keeping track of when things happened, but I think it was something like that. Bro! Bro, bro, every time I'm trying to end stream... <laughs> Irish, thank you for the raid! I appreciate it! Yo, this is so cute, because I just raided you the other day, and now you get to raid me. Oh my god, thank you! I hope you had a good stream. Are you streaming Valorant? Or did you did you do something else? <laughs> I literally was trying. I was like saying I was gonna end stream earlier, and then somebody raided. So I was like, oh, I'll hang around for a little bit longer. <laughs> and then I was just finishing up what I was doing, and I was like, all right, we're gonna probably end stream soon, and then we get another raid. <laughs> Why does this always happen? It's always when I'm trying to leave, and then I'm like, oh, I should stick around for a little longer. <laughs> at this rate, bro. At this rate, I will like never leave the stream. <laughs> I can't leave ever because people just keep coming in. Anyways, thank you for the raid. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Bro, I'm... Broke? No, I'm not broke. Okay, what? Why can't I make more shit? I don't know. This game is stupid. It's a shit game. 24 hour stream. Go, go, go. Bro, there ain't no way I'm streaming for 24 hours. I would be, I would be falling asleep on stream. I'm like the biggest baby of all time. I can't do all-nighters. I try it sometimes because I have a really shit sleep schedule. So I'll fall asleep at like uh, seven in the morning or something. And so once in a while, I get it in my head that I'm going to fix my sleep schedule, right? I'm like, I'm going to fix my sleep schedule. So the way that I think I'm going to do that is to just pull an all-nighter and just stay up the whole day and then fall asleep at a reasonable time. <laughs> um... It never quite goes how I want it to go. I usually end up falling asleep in like the middle of the day 
or like sometimes if I make it through the entire day, I'm like, all right, I'm tired as shit. I'm going to fall asleep so early. No, somehow I still can't fall asleep. So I don't know. I've kind of given up for the time being on fixing my sleep schedule because yeah, it hasn't been going well for me. <laughs> sleep stream bro i don't even know how that would work as like a vtuber i guess people do do it for like their um their subathons and stuff and they just kind of put like the little the little blanket that you can get for like your vtuber they put it on them and they have like a little fireplace in the background or something but like i feel like that would be like so dull <laughs> but i guess like is it really that different with like a face cam like you're still just watching somebody sleep like regardless if you can actually see them or not like you're still just sitting there and they're just sleeping <laughs> i don't know i think it's all very funny anyways welcome welcome those of you guys who came with the raid um my name is kali i'm a vtuber i stream variety today we're doing genshin impact i don't know if you guys know what that is because if irish was playing valorant you guys probably know what valorant is i do play valorant i do stream valorant from time to time um i do a lot of things honestly it depends on my mood i I'm really just like a complete, I'm like such a chaotic little person. I'll stream Genshin Impact one day, Valorant another day, and then like Phasmophobia another day. I recently started a cult, not a real cult, um, Cult of the Lamb. I started playing Cult of the Lamb. <laughs> I should start a real cult though. That seems like something that would be fun. Um, I don't think that would be a good thing to do. Can you start a cult that's not like weird? Or is that just called like a club or like a group? I guess that would be more of like a club. I feel like if it's a cult, it's not a good thing. What? What have I started? Bro, I was just... Bro, I hate this about this game. You literally can't go anywhere without accidentally starting some fucking quest. I don't want to do a quest right now. <laughs> I already did like two quests today. That's so much. Some play YouTube videos or the words on stream or something of that sort. Yeah, but for like the whole time that you're sleeping. Like... Because I assume if you're, like, doing a stream that's long enough where you'd be asleep, you'd be asleep for, like, eight hours or something. Like, what are people going to do for eight hours? Like, <laughs> you're just going to play something on YouTube for eight hours? Or, like, I don't think you could play words on stream for eight hours unless it autoplays. But even then, like, would you really want to do that for eight hours? I don't know how it works. I've never done a stream long enough for it to be, like, important to know how to do it. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. I don't know. Last time I did a subathon, uh, it went for like 14 hours. And I was like, thank God, because I was tired. <laughs> Yo, Teddy, thank you for the follow. And Frizz, thank you for um, gifting the sub to Irish, by the way. I missed that. I must have missed that one. My notifications are a little bit weird right now. So I have to like look in a completely different area than where they normally show up. So if I miss them, I apologize. You look like Jean times God, you model, really? Interesting. That's, I've never had that one before. Somebody compared me to, oh, it was like some, something from Final Fantasy 14. Somebody compared me to the other day. I forget what it was because I don't play Final Fantasy. Um, but yeah, it, it was something in that. But yeah, Jean, Jean, Jean times gone you. That's a new one. I like that. That's definitely, I'll take that as a compliment because Ganyu and Jean are both very attractive characters. <laughs> Why am I hearing Nezum's scheme song by Mori? Um, because that is what is playing in the background right now. <laughs> I don't even know what this playlist is. I found it randomly one day. And I think it recommended it to me because I listen to a lot of like anime OPs. I listen to like a lot of VTuber songs. I listen to like K-pop and shit. And like, cause like, the name of this playlist is in, I don't know what language it is. It might be Japanese or, or something. It could be Korean. I don't know. I can't read it, but it's something like that. So I don't even know what the name of the playlist is. Cause I can't read it. Cause it's in a language. I don't know. Um, but it seems to be a lot of like, um, like songs like this, like VTuber songs songs or japanese songs and stuff like that steph your stuff is here look 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 irish rated me stuff irish rated me <laughs> everyone's here all my all my favorite hotties are here what a w i'm literally in the gym parking lot right now she goes to the gym she goes to the gym now yeah i saw that you've been going to the gym lately stuff i love that for you honestly i saw your tweet though i forget when you whenever you started going to the gym and you said you couldn't even like squat the bar <laughs> 
I was dying because I'm like, bro, I'm pretty sure the bar isn't that heavy. I don't know because it's been a little while since I've uh, gone to the gym and lifted uh, anything like that myself. <laughs> but I don't remember it being very heavy. <laughs> Anyways, you're gonna you're gonna be so strong and so in in no time stuff. You're gonna be you're gonna be bench pressing all of us in no time. <laughs> I'm gonna send you progress photos of my ass. Oh my god, I've been blessed on this day. I get progress photos of Steph's ass, bro. I'm just gonna skip through this dialogue because I don't know what quest this is, and I did not mean to start it, and I don't want to do it. I just came over here to do the um the weekly stuff, and then it was like some random quest. I don't even know which one this is. Stupid game. I shouldn't activate quests. Like, I shouldn't... This shouldn't happen. Like, if I'm just running around the map and I'm not intentionally going to do a quest, it shouldn't activate them like this. <laughs> I just can't go anywhere without accidentally activating a quest. Um, stop. I'm trying. It's like 45 pounds. Wait, the bar is 45 pounds? Why did I think it was like 15 pounds? Actually, you know what? That's not as sad then. I was thinking you could like not squat like a 15 pound bar or something. And I was like, Steph. <laughs> That's, that makes it a little bit better. That makes it a little bit better. All right, fair enough. I'm going to be strong. Okay, I go to McDonald's. Yo, you've earned it. You've earned it, queen. You went to the gym. You go get your McDonald's. I love that for you. Same happened to me recently. I activated a quest I don't want. No, I literally do this all the time. <laughs> and the problem is too, as more quests accumulate because I don't do them unless I'm streaming them. So I used to have no quests in my quest log. When I used to stream this game like more regularly, I had no quests. It was great. And then as I sort of started moving more into streaming variety, I, I don't stream Genshin even on a weekly basis anymore. Like I might stream Genshin once a month at this point. <laughs> so like the quests are coming out more often than I'm able to do them. So now I've got like this backlog of quests. So everywhere I go, there's just like a quest getting activated. It's so bad. Like, what is this? I don't even know which one this is. This might be one of the story quests. But I don't know for which character. Maybe this is Al Hatham's. I guess that would make sense, because that's the one that I just unlocked today. But um, yeah, I don't care about the uh, the matra or whatever. Who is Ilias? I don't care. Bro, please. Why is there so much dialogue in this game though? Like, I don't know. I think some people really like the quest and they really like the lore and they're like super interested in all the dialogue, but. For me, most of the time, it's a little too much. I just want to run around and swing my sword and be completely brainless when I play this game. Like, that's it. Like, I don't want to have to read and think when I play this game. Like, if I wanted to think, I would... I, I don't know what I would do. Because I don't want to think. Nothing nothing that I do ever really involves me having to think. And I, I want to keep it that way. Yeah, okay. We'll do my weekly things since the week is almost over and since I cannot leave. <laughs> this is the last time that I add more shit to my list of things to do, though. Then then we're actually going to leave. I don't care if anybody else raids. I'm going to just tell them to go fuck themselves. <laughs> I won't actually say that. I'll be, like, obviously nice to them. <laughs> But I'm not sticking around for like another another hour. I'm not doing this. Um, okay. So I need to go give people things. I, uh, I need to defeat the fungi. Okay, that works for me. I love beating up little things in this game. It's like my only joy. I love lore, but Genshin tends to do dialogue really poorly. I feel like they just do too, so much dialogue. Like, they could probably get the point across and get the information across with less dialogue. And, you know, like, it just feels so tedious going through, like, 10 minutes of dialogue at a time. Like, it's just a little bit too much for me. Yo, Riki! Riki he! Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I hope this guy's not immune to any of these elements. <laughs> oh, he is. He's immune to the electro damage, I think. <laughs> Alright, see, this is why I should probably read things. Rose got a bajillion HP. What the hell? And I can't even do damage with my Raiden. <laughs> you know what? That's on me. I should have read the thing. 
Like there's so much of it and it feels so boring. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. Like they just, I don't know. I feel like it is really interesting at its core, but like it's more interesting if like I just watch a YouTube video on it, you know? <laughs> like I could go watch somebody summarize it in a, in a three minute YouTube video rather than sit through reading it all by myself, you know? Bro, I cannot believe it's immune to my electro damage. That's my strongest character on this team. Honestly, it's my own fault for not reading. That's a skill issue on my part. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> All right, this is the lesson we've learned today. We should read things occasionally. Yeah, normally I get away with not having to read stuff. Like I can just kind of do dumb shit. But today I've learned I cannot. Bro, this should not have taken me this long. I usually do these in like two seconds. Yeah, I thought I was going to the funguses. I thought that was going to be the funguses. Fung fungi? I'm gonna be honest, I still don't know the plural of fungus. <laughs> like, it's the year 2023. I'm um, steadily approaching the age of 30 and I still do not know the plural of fungi. Um, is this here? Can I get to this? Bro, I hate this game. All right, um, what's the easiest way to get to that? This game is so ass. <laughs> I hate when I go to a teleporter and it's like underground or some shit and I'm like now I gotta run from a bajillion miles away to get to it instead. Awesome. Alright, where's those like flying things? I need to just fly around. It's okay, Callie. We don't read in this dojo. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know what? This is a safe space for our illiterate friends. If you're illiterate, this is a safe space for you. You can come here anytime because we don't read here. We could read if we wanted to, definitely, um, but we just choose not to because we don't want to. Throwback to when I could, I literally could not fight the wolf boss because my only characters were Cryo and Animal. <laughs> I feel like everyone's been there, man. I don't know what it is, but like, I remember, I don't know, was I on an alternate Genshin account? I used to have an alt Genshin account that I would play on. I haven't logged into that account in like a year or so. Um, I also used to do stuff on my sister's Genshin account. Um, I can't remember which one it was though, but I was trying to fight the wolf boss on an alternate account. And the two characters that I had that were DPS characters on that account were Ganyu and Zhao. <laughs> So you can imagine that trying to fight the wolf boss was not a good time. <laughs> it was so bad, bro. It was so bad. I had to use like physical damage and I had to like try to use my support characters to do damage. It was really... And I think I had like Amber on the team or something. Like it was really not... It was really not good. Today I learned VTubers have sex. Yo, VTubers, of course we have sex. Go, we're bro, why wouldn't we have sex? We're like really cool, interesting people that other people would definitely want to have sex with, obviously. Like, <laughs> I don't know why that's so hard for you to believe. Like, come on, it's like, come on, it's obvious that we get so many bitches and have so much sex, like real and true. Um, okay, what's this one? I better have whatever they need me to bring to them. Callie, why the fuck are you lying? I'm not lying, guys. Why don't you think VTubers have sex, bro? VTubers are just normal people. They're just normal, weird, fucked up people who pretend to be anime people on the internet. But like, even weird people can have sex, guys. <laughs> I promise you, the weirdest person you know will probably... We do think it. It's just you in particular. <laughs> guys, I, I, I have sex, bro. I have sex. I don't think you guys. I guys think I don't have sex. It's because I told you guys I don't have sex, but I was lying when I said that I don't have sex, guys. Just because I. <clears throat> anyway, fuck you guys. You guys are so mean to me. <laughs> I come in here and I get bullied, and for what? <laughs> for what, bro? <laughs> I am nothing. I am nothing but kind and nice and uh, 
other good things i don't know what are good adjectives to describe a person i, I can't think of any but i'm all of them i'm all of the the good ones <coughs> stream dead yo did my stream die it's good now i guess that's weird okay Trish trying to kick me out like damn let me live my life i'm just trying to do a couple things in genshin like damn i'll leave i'll leave don't have to be rude <laughs> like oh my god they want me off their they want me off their website so badly like bro if you want me off the website that badly just ban me jesus cat killed the stream no nothing happened i think it was just a like a twitch issue or maybe like an a, a, an obs issue i don't know nothing happened i didn't even notice the stream was dead until somebody said it like I actually did and then I saw the the notification from stream elements saying I was live and I was like bro I've been live I've been live for like six hours like what do you mean what is this stream elements but that makes sense and then I saw somebody say that it died and I was like oh unlucky all right what does this guy want chimkin nuggets oh my god don't say that because then I'm gonna want chicken nuggets guys bro I have theoretically I think enough money in my bank account that i could afford to order chicken nuggets after stream potentially so like i can't i can't be corrupted guys don't don't get me started on chicken nuggets because then i'm gonna want to eat chicken nuggets but i should i should eat something that i have in my house so that i can save money it flashed for like a single second that's weird i wonder why it did that twitch wants me out of here so badly looks like obs she dropped on my follow list also well that's weird yeah i don't know whatever it was it was only for like a brief moment so that's not too bad bro imagine the stream died and like it just it just died and i didn't notice and i sat here <laughs> talking to myself i would do that too because like i wouldn't notice at first it would take me probably a couple minutes to notice to be honest because basically i would be sitting here talking to myself you know whatever and i'd be like oh you know street you know chat's kind of quiet but it wouldn't that wouldn't strike me as weird at first you know because i'd be like you know people just sometimes are just chilling in the chat and they're just lurking so it wouldn't strike me as odd for the chat to be quiet for a while but after a while, I'd be like, okay, nobody said anything for long enough that I'm like, oh, like, am I muted? Can anybody hear me? And then eventually I would probably connect the dots that I'm like not live anymore. <laughs> I genuinely think it would take me at least five minutes to figure it out. I genuinely think I would be sitting here for five minutes talking to myself before I noticed that I wasn't live anymore. <laughs> yo welcome back yo ghoul what's up you're still here i thought you left earlier to i think you went to eat or something but yo welcome welcome nice to see you back here <laughs> so redeemed first that's a technicality bro <laughs> you're not technically the first and yet you got the first redeem so it counts I don't know how to feel about this one. You're kind of scamming the system on that one. Don't worry, you don't really get anything for being first. It's just kind of like a little flex. Why does the voices in my head so quiet all of a sudden? Yeah, literally, like I, I would just sit here. I think I might notice. Okay, I might, it wouldn't be me that notices, but what could happen before I would notice that my stream stopped and died is potentially if my sister had my stream pulled up she might notice and hear me still talking to myself in the other room so she might point it out if i was lucky but <laughs> other than that i genuinely think it would be like a five minute adventure five minutes of me talking to myself before i figured it out yeah i don't know it's weird when the voices in my head are quiet um they're normally pretty loud so uh yeah i don't care what this guy has to say Mm, that's unfortunate. Mm hmm. Uh oh. Wow. Yeah. Bro can't even beat up some hillitrills. Like, you're just weak, my guy. Cat probably fighting for her inner demon. <laughs> I will say, um, my cat doesn't turn off my PC. Um, I think maybe it's because over my PC is positioned. She can't really get on top of it and accidentally press the, the button. Um, Nyx has her PC positioned like slightly different so the cats will like go on top of it and accidentally turn it off from time to time um, So oh, yeah, that's not an issue for me fortunately But I remember one time the power went off I can't remember if it was when I was streaming or it was when my sister was streaming 
or if we were both streaming i don't know there was one time that the power just randomly went off when one of us was streaming and it was like oh what the fuck moment because like you're just like at the middle of stream and then like all of a sudden your screens are black your lights in your room are off like everything is just off and you're like how do i tell everybody that my my power went out like <laughs> it's just like a really funny thing nyx was streaming yeah i was gonna say i can't remember if it was me or her but mine was something different one day oh you know what happened to me okay yeah it was nyx that it was my sister that the power went out on her one time she was streaming and one time when i was streaming the wi-fi randomly just stopped working and i think it worked like it was off for like a couple hours it might have been scheduled maintenance that i just didn't pay attention to or know about but <laughs> yeah it was so it was so stupid because like i was just sitting here streaming and then all of a sudden like my wi-fi doesn't work and i was like that's weird because like my power was fine and it's like kind of weird it's not usual wait what is this i thought i was doing like a weekly thing this is like a whole world quest i don't want to do this that's not what i meant to do <laughs> i was like wondering why this guy was talking so much i was like bro don't i just have to just, like show up do like one thing and i'm like good to go i get my reputation thingy stupid oh you know we are keeping count i think the count is cat for next year <laughs> Oh, she has it done it too. She's really had her stream turned off by the cat four times. That's really funny. That's actually hilarious. See, I know that would happen to me if I had my um, PC like on my desk, like how people normally have it. I definitely would have to worry about that. Like, I genuinely don't know what I would do to keep my cat off of it. But I, I have it under my desk, which I know is not like the best place to have it. But that's the only place I have for it to be. So, and I mean, it works because at least I don't have to worry about my, my cat turning off my PC accidentally. So, could be worse. All right. What? It's invulnerable to geo damage. <laughs> Why are they always invulnerable to the characters that I'm using? Oh my god. I'm still going to do it. I don't even care. I'm still going to use this team because <laughs> I'm lazy and I don't want to switch teams for like a 30 second thing. Where is it? Here. All right. Yeah, she banned her cat during stream for a week. Yeah, no, it's funny because usually when she's streaming, so like she'll like kick um the there's two cats that she usually kicks out of her room. One of them's my cat and one of them's her cat. So my cat that she kicks out won't hang out in my room because she doesn't like my other cat. So she won't come into my room at all because the other cat's always in my room. So she'll go like hang out in the living room or something on her cat tree. Um, when she gets kicked out or she's the one that likes to sleep in the bathroom on the the bathroom counter So she'll do that And the other one that she kicks out is her cat And that one likes to hang out with me in my room So she'll come hang out in my bedroom on my bed while she streams But it's like really funny <laughs> Cuz like when she's getting ready for stream and she just like brings the cat into my room <laughs> She's like, here, this is yours now. And I'm like, oh, thank you for the gift. It's so funny when it happens. Bro, the stream just randomly dies and Nyx just be on her, her phone in chat, like Twitch chat. Like, my cat turned off my PC. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm sad that I've never been there when it happens. Like, I want to see. I want to see it happen in real time because I think it's funny. Okay. Bro, this is so tedious. This is why I don't do my weeklies. Bro, I haven't done my weekly bosses either. <laughs> I'm the worst Genshin player of all time. Wait. Oh, bro. I was like, why isn't my skirmish doing that much damage? I forgot I switched his weapon. I forgot I put his weapon on Lisa. <laughs> I thought I was doing shitty damage, but I was just like, oh, well, I guess I'm just bad at the game. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I'm actually the stupidest person in the world. <laughs> Jesus, I've been doing that this entire time. <laughs> I was like, why isn't my scare was doing damage? <laughs> Did nobody 
notice or did you guys just not tell me? <laughs> One time during a raid, the cat pushed the power button, but Nyx managed to cancel the PC turning off. How do you... How do you cancel it? it? I didn't know you could do that. Oh, wait, I guess you can because I know when I'm turning off my PC, a lot of the time there's still like apps open. And so it asks me if I want to confirm if I want to shut down. So maybe it was like that. That's the only thing I can think of. You robbed this man and wondered why he wasn't working for you. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'll show you the true power of my Scaramouche. <laughs> I didn't even like I didn't really think that much of it I kind of was like I felt like he wasn't doing as much damage but I just thought maybe I don't really know what I thought I just kind of was like well that sucks maybe I'm just bad at building characters unlucky <laughs> bro why is he invulnerable to electro damage I hate this game it's okay Scaramouche can carry now because he has a proper weapon instead of the level one weapon that he was running around with Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Scaramouche. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that to you. God. It was funny because her scream cut off midway. <laughs> That's so funny. I I wonder what it sounds like when I when I scream. I don't think I've actually like literally screamed into this microphone on stream. I don't think it would peak. I'm pretty sure the settings I have will keep it from peaking. But I don't know what it would sound like because I, I try not to scream on stream because I stream like pretty late, especially once we get a couple hours into stream. I'm pretty sure my neighbors are probably not degenerates and so they're probably sleeping after like 10, 11 p.m. And so I try really hard not to be like too loud during stream because obviously I would be a shitty neighbor if, you know, I just started screaming in the middle of the night. Yeah, so. But I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I got the, the heart rate monitor now, so I said I was going to play more scary games. Um, which means there's more potential for me to just randomly scream on stream. Um, I don't know if I'm that much of like a like a screamer, though. Like, I'm more of like, when I get like jump scared, I'm like, ah! Like, I make like a weird noise more than like a scream noise. Um, we'll see, though. We'll see. Maybe if I play something really scary, I'll actually scream. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, yo, not a screamer. No, I'm not really a screamer. Things don't typically make me scream. Like, I make more, like, weird noises than anything. Um, my stepmom, though, is one of those people who screams at everything. Like, even if we're, like, in a movie theater and, like, something not even scary happens, it'll be, like, a random loud noise in the movie. <laughs> and she'll, like, scream. Like, she's, like, that type uh and so it's really funny if you like i don't i don't know my my dad what he used to do is he's like okay he was like a typical like your average sort of like dad like goofy ass like you know likes to do shit like hide in like a doorway when you're walking down the hallway and like jump out and scare you type of shit and so he would do shit like that to us and he would do shit like that to my stepmom except when he does it to me i just kind of jump and i'm like ah i'm like hey don't do that you know it's not it's not as funny but when he would do it to my stepmom <laughs> she like you can literally hear her scream across like the entire <laughs> so it's actually like really funny <laughs> because her reaction is just like more exaggerated um, but yeah, no, I don't know. Maybe one of these days you guys will catch me screaming on stream. Um, somebody suggested to me to play the Mortuary Assistant, which I don't know if that's like, I, I think somebody said it was really scary, but I don't know in what way it's scary. Um, like if there's like jump scares or like what, because the most likely thing to make me scream is jump scares, like things that just happen out of nowhere and surprise me. Whereas, like, if it's just genuinely scary, I'm going to be, like, scared and I'm going to be like, Ugh, but, like, I'm probably not going to scream unless I get jump scared. So, all right. Um, I think I'm done playing this game for the day. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not playing any more Genshin Impact. <laughs> I, oh my god, I closed Genshin and the only thing I see in the background, I forgot I still had it open on my main monitor, is that fucking Amazon review. <laughs> still open on my monitor behind Genshin. I can't bro, I can't. All good though, all good. Not exactly what I meant. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> 
<laughs> I sent the clip on memes if you want to see it. Okay, yeah, I'll check that out after stream. Usually when I get like a snack or something after stream, I go through and check all the, I don't know, like the notifications and stuff I missed in the Discord. Bro, okay. I opened my email, right? Somebody has suggested me an item on Throne. What are the chances that this is the cum cook? This is going to be the cum cookbook, isn't it? If I open this, this is the fucking cum cookbook. Bro, it's the cum cookbook. <laughs> I can't do this with you guys. Let the cum cookbook go. I'm not getting the cum cookbook. <laughs> like, I have no actual use for it, guys. As funny as that would be... I don't have an actual use for it. I feel like it would just be a waste of money for somebody to spend their money on that for me. <laughs> like, I appreciate the humor of you of you suggesting it to me on my wish list, but I'm not getting I'm not getting the fucking cum cookbook, guys. <laughs> fucking Christ. I wonder if the recipes are actually any good though. Like even like whether you make them with or without like the the special sauce. I wonder if they're actually good recipes. I'm not going to get the cookbook, though. I'm not going to try it. But I'm, like, curious. If somebody ever gets the cookbook, can you guys, like, let me know if any of the recipes are actually good? If you have nice selfies. <laughs> the only people that ever come over to my place are family. So, I feel like they would think it's funny, honestly. <laughs> Like my family, my family aren't like super conservative or anything. So like, you know, like they, they know like I'm a VTuber. Like I can, I can like swear around them. I can make like sex jokes and shit. Like everything's chill. It's all good. Especially like I'm like old. So <laughs> I'm an adult, you know, so I, it'd be kind of awkward if I couldn't do those things at this point. But yeah, no, I think they would genuinely think it's funny. And then I would have to explain in a little story time, I'd have to be like, listen, listen, this is why I have that, okay? <laughs> and I think they would think it's funny, honestly. I think they would get a kick out of it. But, like, I just feel like it's, like, like, there's no, I don't know. I like, I like practical things. I like things that are practical, especially as gifts. Like, I'm a bitch who loves getting socks at Christmas. I love it. I fucking love it. So, if I were to get it, if I were to actually accept it to be on my wish list and somebody actually bought it, like the fact that I would probably never actually use it would haunt me. I would feel obligated to use it. And then I feel like that's like a, a slippery slope into some weird shit. <laughs> Mom, don't laugh at the cum cookbook. It's for the memes. <laughs> no, literally, that's what I would say. I would literally, especially since um, like they know I'm a VTuber and they know I stream, like, I could just explain exactly what happened. I'd be like, yo, it came up as a topic that somebody mentioned in my chat on stream. We looked it up. We thought it was funny. Somebody suggested it for my wish list, and then uh, that's how I got it. Like, it would be a really simple thing to explain for me. Like, you guys, <laughs> it wouldn't be really like embarrassing for me at all or anything like it would not be a problem to explain why I have it like there would be no issue there whatsoever <laughs> it'd be funnier if it was though it would be funnier if I had like a really um like conservative family and I just had kept that on like my bookshelf in my living room or something <laughs> and they come over and they're like oh what's this cookbook <laughs> and they're like what the fuck <laughs> So it would be funnier if that were the case, but unfortunately, like, it, it'd be pretty chill, honestly. So I don't even think there's any, like, there's any real value in having that cookbook, like, unironically. Also, hi. Yo, Sir Red Eye. Welcome, 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 by the way. <sighs> what should I eat? I have to decide if I want to make food after stream or if I want to spend my money ordering chicken nuggets i don't even know if mcdonald's is still open so depending on whether i can still DoorDash something that might decide it for me i also was really craving pizza the other day but you guys should be proud of me because i had self-restraint and i did not order pizza all right i i don't know i probably ate something equally as unhealthy at home but at least i saved money <laughs> nuggies nuggies no guys they're so expensive to order on doordash like i order chicken nuggets and i'll just order like a, a 10 piece chicken nugget meal 
and you know with fries and a drink whatever it comes with like you know it shouldn't be that expensive that should cost me like ten dollars maybe like fifteen dollars to get delivered bro it ends up i swear costing me like twenty dollars twenty dollars wait nix you trying to get in on the order you trying to order food with me i feel like it's cheaper if we both order <laughs> and then, then we can like split the delivery cost or something that might make it worth that might make it worth because i haven't had nuggies in like weeks i'm going through chicken nugget withdrawal guys all right i'm suffering here you know it's a hard life out here as an as an anime girl on the internet who hasn't had chicken nuggets in weeks <laughs> 20 minutes stream and she's already closing guys no it's not a 20 yo i would do that honestly bro i've seen people open up a stream to do some meme shit for like five minutes and then end stream like 20 20 minutes wouldn't even be that ridiculous to be honest <laughs> wait what time is it actually it's 2 30 wait what the fuck i streamed genshin for six and a half hours am i a psychopath am i like mentally okay who does that? What the fuck? <laughs> the the fact that I could have streamed for so much longer too because I have so many fucking quests that I haven't done. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta do more Genshin streams, guys. I'm a Genshin streamer again. We're going through a, a Genshin arc again. Um. Oh, should I change this to like just chatting? I usually don't bother, but also I know I have a tendency to get carried away. Um... And I don't want somebody to come into the the stream and be like, um, why does it say Genshin Impact? You're not playing Genshin Impact. Like, okay. <laughs> and <laughs> baked chicken, homemade. I don't have any chicken. I have to go to the grocery store. I have like um like bread. I have milk for iced coffee. I have butter. Um. Oh, I have some Chicago mix. I still have the the Chicago mix popcorn that I got. I can eat some of that as a snack too. Yeah, let's go. I forgot I had that. Um, I have some soup. <laughs> I don't. I really need to go get groceries one of these days. I've been waking up so late that like going to the grocery store, I'd have to like be walking in the dark by the time I would get home. And I'm like, eh, I don't really want to do that. So I haven't bothered, but I need to force myself to wake up earlier one day, but I didn't want to do it today because I didn't want to be like extra tired for stream. I don't know if that would have been bad because like, okay, when I'm tired, there's like two levels of tired for me. So the first level of tired is where I'm just like sleepy. Like I'm just like, you know, you can, you know, like just like cute. And I probably like mumble more than I should. And I'm like, oh, like, you know, I probably just like talk quieter and shit. And then when I'm more tired than that, I just become like a crackhead. Like you would think that I'm not tired because I seem like I have all this energy. I'm like hyper and like I'm like extra gremlin energy or something. But that's just what I'm like when I have like two hours of sleep. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Money fund. Oh my god, thank you. Wait, I can't read that and it doesn't show up in my, my notifications. Who did that? Who did that? Was it Fritz? It, I can't I can't it's too small for me to read. Bro, my notifications are all fucked up and I don't know why. <laughs> Yo, thank you though. Thank you though. I will use it for the chicken nuggy fund. Thank you. It was Fritz. Okay, I knew it. I knew it. It's always fucking Fritz. <laughs> okay, it's not always Fritz, but it's been Fritz a lot lately. Fritz has been generous to me lately, which has been very nice. Um, What a legend, Fritz. Yeah, Fritz is also the reason that I don't end up accidentally with a broken microphone one of these days. Because I tweeted the other day, I was saying how I'm, like, waiting for the day that my microphone stand just, like, breaks on me. Because, like, obviously I upgraded my microphone and I have a much better microphone now. But this bitch is heavy. It is a hefty little microphone. And the stand that I got when I had my previous microphone is shit. I'm like, this bitch is creaking. This bitch creaks when I move it. <laughs> So I've just been kind of waiting for the day where it just like breaks in the middle of stream and like drops my microphone. <laughs> and anyways, um, Fritz went and bought me the one that I had on my throne wish list, which was like super generous. And I really appreciate it because now I'm not going to accidentally end up with a broken microphone one day. 
<laughs> nuggy fun, nuggy fun, giga chad, yeah, no, absolute giga chad move if I do say so myself. Um, I'll probably have to figure out somebody to raid soon, and all of that. We'll see, we'll see. It's pretty late, so I'm not sure who's streaming right now, but there's always somebody around. And worst case, we could probably find somebody random. Um, I'll plug the socials. I don't know if anybody new is here. I know we had like some raids and stuff, which I really appreciate. People are so nice. I, I get so excited when people raid me because like, I don't know. I feel like that's such a compliment. Like you chose me. Like you probably have like so many people on your following list that are super cool people that you could have raided or like, and like you just, you chose me, you know, you chose me. You think I'm, I'm cool enough to bring, to bring people to like, I don't know. I just, I get so excited when people raid. Like it just, it just means, it means a lot to me. Um, I forget what I was talking about. <laughs> Oh, good. I choked on my own spit. <laughs> I'm actually completely unhinged. Um, what was I saying? Oh, um, yeah. I guess if there's any new people, you guys can like follow my socials, join the Discord if you want. If not, um, yeah, you know, maybe I'll never see you again. That's great. I appreciate you being here, anyways. Um, if you want to drop a follow, you can get like stream notifications, all that good shit, you know, see when I'm live next. Um, usually Mondays, Thursdays, Saturdays, 8 p.m. EST. Guys, I don't know what I'm going to stream on Monday. I, I want to do another horror game stream though. I want to do another one, but I don't know. I want to do like a group phasmophobia thing because I think that would be really funny. Uh, but I don't know when that's going to be like, that might be next week, but that might be in the future um so we'll see we'll see i need a scary game to play though even either phasmophobia if that happens or something i can play by myself because um actually i think it was fritz that did this too um the the heart rate monitor armband thing that i had on my fucking wish list <laughs> wait fritz is doing it all <laughs> anyways so i have like the heart rate monitor thing and you can connect it to stream so you know when you go into streams and they have like their heart rate displayed in like the corner i have that now so i really want to do another scary game i could also do it for valorant though <laughs> you guys can see how how fucked up my heart rate gets during valorant as well so anyway so i'm excited to try that out uh definitely gonna be sometime next week dead space is dead space a scary game I've been hearing a little bit about Dead Space, but I have no idea what it is because I haven't actually seen anybody play it and I, I don't know anything about it. I've only heard the name. Is it a scary game? And does it cost money to buy? Have an amazing rest of your night, Callie and chat. Oh, thank you, Kev. Thank you. Dead Space, 100%. Dead Space Remake. Dead Space Remastered is amazing. Okay. So wait, is this a scary game, guys? I'm assuming since you're mentioning it when I'm talking about scary games that it is. So maybe I will look into it. Wait, let me pull it up on Google. And then I'll, <laughs> I'll be forced to remember it after stream. Uh, let's see. I'll just type that into Google. And then I'll be like, what was this for again? I'll be like, oh, right. <laughs> I'm so forgetful. It's really easy for me to say on stream that I'm going to do something. And then I get off stream and I'm like, uh... Um, I also have, what is it called? Dead by Daylight? I don't know. I think that's something I'd rather play with friends, though. It seems like the kind of game that would be really fun to play with friends. So I don't know. But I do have that one. That one is an option at some point. Survival horror and a shooter. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I will look into that after stream because that sounds like it could be fun. Uh, okay. Let me take a look and see who is streaming right now all the degenerates are on <laughs> just kidding people have different time zones i feel like though a lot of the people i know that stream at this time they're actually like in a similar time zone to me but they're just like degenerates as well like they just have really shit sleep schedules um we could oh did i raid drew before I think I raided Drew before. He's playing Valorant. Um, damn, do I not know anybody playing Genshin anymore? No Genshin players? 420. <laughs> nice 420 redeem. Bro, that's like one of my favorite redeems. It's just like goofy. Because like it doesn't really do anything. 
but like it's just like a funny little redeem uh let's see i need to find more people to follow that like stream this time um i think we will raid we'll raid drew though i think we raided him before um anyways yeah he's playing valorant yay we love valorant don't we <laughs> I'm actually probably gonna play Valorant on stream next week because I miss playing Valorant. I haven't been playing it since I haven't been streaming it. All right, uh, raid 88 XP. What do we want to do for a raid message today, guys? Do we have any thoughts on our raid message, or do you just want to like default to the um, Cali raid with like an emoji over and over again? <laughs> I don't know. Last time I liked the one that we did when we were playing Cult of the Lamb, but we can't do that again because it was like cult raid and we're not we're not a cult today. We're we're normal today. Archon of cringe raid. <laughs> Wait, I like that one. That's good. I'm, let's do that. Let's do that. I like Archon of cringe. What do you mean Archon of cringe, guys? I'm not cringe. Guys, who are you calling cringe? You're cringe. Fuck you guys. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, All right. So uh whoa this is going really quickly okay never mind i'm stupid i can't read all right yeah thank you guys for coming to the stream most likely next stream will be monday 8 p.m est i haven't decided what i will be streaming yet and it might depend a little bit too because um i told Devonte i wanted to play phasmophobia again and I know Monday is a time that works for him. So I don't know if he wants to do that again this week or what. So we might do something like that. We'll see, honestly. I I don't know. I'm probably going to stream Valorant sometime next week. I don't know. It's it's up in the air. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll let you know tomorrow. <laughs> cooking Nuggy stream? Yo, we're cooking from the, uh, the Come Cookbook next week or what? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, good night, guys. Have a good rest of your weekend. And um, yeah, see you guys next time. Thank you for coming today. Mwah.